You're watching the Citizen Science Podcast, the one and only Twin Solar System podcast featuring Samuel Hoffman, along with his team of experts as they discuss the very latest information about our binary twin solar system. Welcome to the show. Okay, everybody. Hello, hello to the Citizen Science Podcast. And I'm Rebecca. And you know, I'm happy that you all are here. And uh, so far, I think it's just me that's actually here at the moment. We had a couple of people um, have some delays. So I think Jillian will be here in a moment. But otherwise, at the moment, it's just me. So hello and um, welcome again. So thank you for being here. So let's go ahead and Turn that down just a notch. Let me check on our friend Jillian. I don't see her back yet. She's finishing up her lunch, so we'll give her her time. But let's go ahead and take a peek at the comment section because I see that it is already filling up. So let's take a quick look. I talked to Sam a few minutes ago and he had to run a quick errand. So he'll be here in about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. We'll see. So everything's fine there. So let's, oh. Wow, it's Michelle first in line today. Look at that. Hi, Michelle. Good to have you. Turn that down a little bit more. It's exciting, happy music. Oh wait, here's our friend Jillian. Let's get her added up here with me. Hi, Jillian in Scotland. Hello. Hi Good there. Good to see you. Yeah, at the moment, we're, we are the panel at the moment. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, yeah. So maybe uh, we'll have some others come here shortly. So I expect that we will. Um, but let's go back oh, to the- Oh, she's waiting to get home and it's, it's really it's windy. Hey, isn't really it? Really Even for me, very busy. So, um, and Michelle says she is beyond excited. So that's awesome to hear. It is nice to get to see each other again, you know? So I'm happy too. Um, next is Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Dennis is in the house. Hi there. Good to have you. Wow, and I see that guy looks like out there. Yeah, I haven't even got a chance to look at my sky. I've been so busy today. So, but uh, here's our friend Nicole. And I sent you a link, Nicole. If you're able to join us, feel free. If you can't, that's fine. So whatever you need to do, okay. But it's it's been out, it's sent to you, okay. And look who's here, guys. It's our friend Gray Guy. I'm always happy when I see Gray Guy. I don't know what it is. I just, I, he makes me happy. So good to see you, Gray Guy. And oh my goodness, it's Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Good to have you here today. Um, he says he loves this channel and he looks forward to the podcast from the Netherlands. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. I love it how we have people from all over. You know, we really truly do it's pretty nice how we all can connect this easily too so good good to see you and glad you're here and next in line it's our friend esther i i recognize esther because um i met her recently on the nibiru africa group and she is excited she even says it here um she's new to this information and she's eager to learn more and to become a more avid sky watcher so I told her that I'm here to help. So I'm, I'm glad you're here, Esther, because we have a lot of good information to share. You will learn a lot today. I know you will. Um, let's see. And then next is T. Racy. Hey, T. Racy. Always good to see you too. Yes, I'm looking forward to another great show too. I'm with you. I have so much to share. I've made so many new clips to uh, talk about. So there's so much going on too. I the, thought that you're one with the airplanes. I had never seen one with the airplanes. And then a friend asked the yeah. other night, um, uh, and and I could give her that, and I was so excited. I thought, oh my word, you've got it all. Yeah, so that's, that's a question we get often. Is like, well, what about the airplanes? You know, and I'm like, well, mm. they're actually the planets are still far, far farther away than any airplane can fly. Um, and so I made a video about that. And Jillian shared it with somebody that had that question. So I, I can share that later in the show too, but just to show that oh. even when you're up in an airplane, the planets are visible and they're way far, far away still. And you got glasses for the eclipse. Yes. <laughs> I'll probably not even get to see it, but you know, I'm, I'm just in case. Yeah. Yeah. I ordered some, I get them tomorrow. 
Yeah. I just want to yeah. even see just a wee bit of it on. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So. But I don't know. I, I, it's um, it's actually going to be at five to eight p.m. here. So. Right. Right. What are our chances? But I don't know. You know. Well, I, I'll cross my fingers for you. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know what I'll see even. But I'm in ninety-five percent totality area tulsa oklahoma so i expect it will get darker you know i don't know what to expect but the weather guy says um we should see um decent clear skies not not so cloudy so we'll see but um next in line is a facebook user hello hello i'm not sure who it is but i'm happy you are here if you want to reveal who you are you can go to streamyard.com facebook and it prompts you for a one-time approval to, you know, release your identity to StreamYard if you want to reveal your name, or you can just type it in the comments, either way. But good to see you. And let's see, where did we leave off at? Mm -hmm. Let's see, Esther, boy, there's so many comments. That's great. Yeah, I haven't actually set ah. up my phones yet because- Yeah. Hi, it's Egg. Been, it's just been a mental weather day. I got that stuff done so fast because um, I could see on my weather app and then I suddenly got uh, a SEPA alert. That's the flood alert. Yeah. And I thought, Ugh, I don't like the sound of that. And then another friend said, oh, no, the, the wind's really pumping where he's at. So... Right. Yeah. I have a wind advisor here where I'm at. He said it's, it's coming your way. So I thought, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, hang on, Jillian. Um, but Egg is here and she's getting over oh, yeah. the recent earthquake in New York. Um, I understand that they all got a quite a shake yesterday. I, I have oh, a video wow. that we'll look it? at. Oh, yeah. Geez. We'll watch a video shortly. But it was quite noticeable. I asked um, our friend Katie Joe in New Jersey if she felt it, you know, and then I saw the videos coming in. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure she felt it. It was, it was quite obvious that there was an earthquake in New York. So I'm glad it wasn't any worse than that. So good to have you, Egg. Good to see you. Um, Sabrina is here and she is excited. Everyone's in the chat and yes, I'm well. I hope you all are well too. So good to see you, Sabrina. And oh, good. I always look forward to seeing Alex in Germany. Good to see you. I have Hi, um, a couple of your videos saved to share today. So I'm going to look forward to having that here shortly. I'll, I'll show it sooner versus later because I know I don't know what time it is. I'm guessing it's what time is it there, Jillian? It's it, evening, it's I guess. Past, it's 10 past 7 at night. But you okay, so it's not too, too late. late. Good. I never know with, with people across the world what time, you know, I try to accommodate. Uh oh. Samuel says he's backstage. He's waiting. I see that now. Let me get these guys. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Sam, that was fast. Oh, yeah. I, I knew it was only going to be about five minutes, you know. That's quick. Well, good job. I, you said I, that. I, and I'm like, oh, five minutes. Well, we'll see. But, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, you know, I, I, I've been sitting here for a few minutes, actually. Um, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't hear you beat. And I see. No, you were you were busy another... reading. You were reading the comments. I know. Oh, no, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, but good to see you, Alex. And let's go ahead and bring in our next co-host because I see another person in the waiting room. Um, it's our friend Rocket Man. Hey, Rocket Man. Hey, Rocket Man. Hey. Hi, Sam. Hi, everybody. Hello. Good to Hello. see you. Good. 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 Yeah, I'm, I'm stumbling over my own. I'm stumbling over my own time schedule today, so, you know. Yep. Oh, right, right. I know. Me too. It's like the day is just flying, flying I by. I, I, so, I, 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 like, like, I really want him to sleep in. Right. I, I don't even have time to sleep. That's how it feels some days, you know, so here I am. But um, I see a Facebook user says, love you, mom. And I have a feeling <laughs> that's my oldest son, Thomas. So, yeah, so good to see you, Thomas. And I'm sure his wife, Rachel, is there nearby, prob probably. So where you see one, you see them both. So they have a, the best marriage you could ask for, seriously. So I'm thankful and grateful so, for that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was I wondering where I could send pictures to. Who's that? 
me. I wondered where I could send pictures to. I just, oh, I'm please. running just to catch up as well. Yeah, just send them to me on Messenger. If you're, yeah, anybody that's, you know, friends with me on Messenger, you're free to message pictures okay, to me I'll, there. Okay, I'll send them now to you where you just said, sent me my link. Yeah, okay. perfect. And if you do have pictures, um, there's the email address also. Sky picks for Sam. So send me your pics. We still have uh, pictures from the last show that we didn't get to share because I had those technical problems. But otherwise, I think I'm mostly caught up on that. So go ahead. I really had a wild visitor today. We're at nine o'clock in the morning when I was gone for the pardon me for the trolley for the other house. I have to go down and fetch laundry, and yeah. I was doing good time today. And as I came back up, these pictures, I cannot believe what I saw. Huh. Anyway, so it's I'll Margaret. send them to you and you can okay. I think dissect that them. I've never seen anything like this in my head. I've seen like lots of pictures here. Okay, I'll be on the lookout. And it looks like that was Margaret it. that was trying to uh, say hi earlier. So I don't know why sometimes it does that. Even if you have done the confirmation, I know Katie Joe has that sometimes happen so hopefully i've that got a huge problem with my one phone it just keeps on my new one as well i want to send the pictures and i have to reset it over and over and over again i don't know but i do know that let there be light is here hi let there be hello. light yes 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 hi. hello everyone hello. good to have you perfect and Mm -hmm. This might be Alex. I'm not sure, but we have another person. It says 812. It probably is Alex. Yes. So that's not too late. That, I just try to accommodate, you know, everybody wherever they're located. So, and that catches us all up, everybody, on our current listeners. So thank you Yay. all for being here. So how are you doing, Sam? I haven't talked to you in a few days. Uh, we, uh, I'm doing fine. Uh, the girls and I yeah. went to town yesterday and uh and did errands and i got some paint uh the colors that were had dried up so i can start the paintings and uh oh etc cetera, okay. et cetera. and i tried to get nice. hold of my internet company and i'm still can't call these people which is weird uh yeah hmm. I, they, I you know every time i call they say that it, we're not calling within business hours but i've called monday through friday now so i'm kind of wondering what you know if yeah. you didn't have anybody there to actually answer the phone there's some stuff okay. going on with the companies, I guess. Some sort of new cable leasing changes that have just happened. So I'm still trying to yeah. figure out whether or not I'm going to have internet before you know it. Uh, we'll see what goes on. Now, I haven't gotten anything in the mail from the company per se, but I have all these other companies calling me saying, when you, when your service changes, and I went, huh? So we'll see what's happening. I don't, I, I don't right. know what CenturyLink is up to, so I'm trying to call them and find out. Say, hey, Sam, uh, I, I ordered your laptop. It's on the way. It should be here Tuesday. And me and Rebecca have been talking. So I got a la your laptop and I got a nice little black mouse. Uh, Great. Wonderful. And uh, so sh and as soon as it gets here, um, we're going to set it up. And um, me and Rebecca are going to make sure that you have everything you need on it. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Yeah. I ship, ship it out. Right. Yeah, let's get closer. Can't wait. I know, I know. I'm excited. Can't We're wait. gonna make sure it's all set up and yeah. simple and ready to go. And Easy. you know, all you have to yeah. do is turn it on and take off. No, I'm ready. excited for the lab coat too, because you know, I mean, maybe we can do a little, some little side stuff. I, I don't know fully yet how crazy I want to go on that. I'm still pondering the details in my own mind, but uh, as to how silly I want to get. But anyway, the, we, that's all details in the future. We'll work on that. When, right, it, when the time right. arises, that's we coming. have plans. We have so, okay, that's my storm photo content. sent to you, Rebecca. Okay, we, we, I'll be on the lookout. We oh, got a whole. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh that's right. I, I got to order your Led Zeppelin T-shirt. Oh, I have. I have quite a few of those, so it's not no, mandatory. This but, was, no, this was a but nice that one was so good. Uh, I know. Uh, I agree. Uh, yeah, Is yeah. anybody else ready for the eclipse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. glasses on their way. I should get them tomorrow. Uh, speaking so of I the eclipse and, and all of that, uh, uh, in the North or yeah, in the Atlantic Ocean this week, 
there have been a series of well over five. Now, I have not looked today, so there could be more aftershocks in the mid-Atlantic rift, uh, which is where the Atlantic Ocean is spreading apart, which is why Africa and North America are separating away from each other because they used to be joined. Um, in that movement, uh, th that is probably what related to the earthquake in New Jersey. <coughs> no, I'm coughing. Uh, yeah, uh, guys. Yeah, yeah, um, there. I, I saw get there. Um, what's going on is they have had they've had yesterday by five p.m. they had had nineteen aftershocks, and that is Good not Lord. the news. Yeah, that's not making the news. And they had a they had a three point a four point oh <laughs> three five and a bunch of ones and twos. I haven't checked it today because I I was uh behind the times today, uh, and I will do it later. But um, this could be related to the transitory uh, coming alignment as well, which is, you know, the, the eclipse. And so and after seeing that, I was like, ooh, this is adding a little more credi credibility to the, the Nostradamus thing and, and the, you know, the, uh, the solar eclipse according to uh, 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 the Bible and all of this. And so, you know, I... I, I, again, I will uh, reiterate to folks that we've got a couple of days. Do get a couple of little extra supplies on hand just in case. Uh, extra water or whatever, a little extra food, you know, uh, two bags of cookies instead of one. Um, so, you know, I, I'm highly excited to see what happens. I am i don't believe everything I've been told. Uh, so, but it, it is, it is worth paying attention to. And like I said, if you have the opportunity to take the day off and your children are being excused from school, I would recommend that everybody does stay home and, uh, stay together. And if you're going to drive across the country, I wouldn't recommend doing that because then you're not home. Mm -hmm. So not only that, and I've been, of course, watching the cloud cover that they're talking about that will occur. And it does look like the Texas, uh, Oklahoma, Arkansas area may be encased in clouds. And then there might be a corridor somewhere be between Ohio and Chicago. Uh, did anybody see the storms uh, that hit Ohio and uh, Kentucky and everything this week? Did you guys see that? I have some clips of the current weather. So we'll show that now, here now, in now a remember, moment. Now remember, the reason I'm bringing it up is because I was warning everybody ahead of time that the next day, Monday and Tuesday, or excuse me, uh, 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 yeah, what? Okay, it was last this last week, um, like Tuesday or stuff. That 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 central location would be over the top of Ohio, and look what's happening to Ohio. They're yeah. flooding. They've got some serious river flooding going on there, and it's just now cresting. So the, the, it took several days for all that water to go anywhere. And Montana, had, water, yeah. yeah, we've been getting rain from the south. Usually our weather comes from the west, and we've been getting straight up rain from the south. And we are very wet right now, and we needed every drop of it. But I'm, I'm happy we got it. But I was briefly actually worried about rivers rising too high because we got a lot of rain. So that's a good thing. But then, you know, we're used to uh, spring runoff here and flooding anyway in Montana. And we haven't had that for many years. So... It's all good but anyway so that's the catch up uh that that huge storm that went through so uh much went on yeah yeah and then uh, uh china got hit again uh we talked mm -hmm. about france flooding and burgundy and all of that and and uh yeah we're, we're seeing extreme worldwide weather guys it's 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 a whole new ball game and we're all in deep doo-doo yeah i got a weather i got a sepa alert on my phone today they actually phoned up to say um Maury, Speyside and Nairn were all under flood alert and when I went past the river on the way home you could see that that water was rushing it's rained non-stop here for six days yeah and that's the first yeah, that, time we that, saw that, the sun I've heard that that rotational low that I expected to go out to sea has stalled over the top of uh uh maine and newfoundland and is not moving out to sea like i expected it's stalled and stopped and so that's interesting and that's that same low that came in uh from from alaska and ran down all the way down to california along the pacific coast and now that low is stable or oh, believe it or not over just partially over the corner of the u.s and just off the atlantic there off the atlantic seaboard 
So they're having a kind of a nor'easter going on there, and then they got snow heavy and heavy. We got a bunch of really nice uh, snow in, in the Sapphire Mountains, which is south uh, east of me. And so it's really pretty out today. Um, and the jet stream is hugely wide, and it's literally going over the entire United States. It's that wide. And that's coming from a section of two different sources, one from Alaska and one from straight off the Pacific. And I believe we are watching the beginnings of the change in the throws of El Nino to La Nina because there is a jet stream pattern that is embarking into the face of the El Nino and pushing a La Nina effect the opposite on the western shore of South America. And somebody needs a cough drop already. Can you hear me? Not me. Not me. Yeah. We need, yeah, I need to share the cough drops. Pass them yeah, around. There you I guess. Go. There, take a cough drop. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say hi to Brendan. Oh, uh, we have a second. Brendan's here. So good to see you, Brendan. And my friend Thomas. Always good to see Thomas as well. And Thomas is asking about, um, and you know, I'm fond of the name Thomas. I'm fond of that name because that's my oldest son's name. So every time I see that name, I, catches my attention so but he is asking about cern about being turned on the same day as the eclipse what do you think about that guys hmm? any thoughts on cern about the timing of cern you know firing up on the same day as the eclipse uh what do you think i don't know people think they're trying to open a portal they're trying to let something um in. Well, they, they, well, that's not what they you would use that for. The, the CERN is okay. a marker where you send something, a particle uh, from one place to another faster than the speed of light, etc. cetera. Um, there would be a connective. I don't know why they would turn it on on that day particularly. It might be just pre-scheduled. But then again, they are sending rockets up to uh, NASA, which is odd. Um, now, there, it, the only thing that I could come up with as far as the rockets go is that during the time of totality, when the moon is actually blocking out the sunlight, is their, their best opportunity for cor coronasphere studies, where they can actually study the, the output and the dynamics of the magnetosphere of the sun and coronasphere and the coronal mass uh, uh, surrounding halo around it that's the best chance for them to see that when, when it's all the rest of the lights being blocked out so that i i assume that's for the rockets but as far as as turning on the cern um i it's suspicious yeah it's, it's, it's I, I feel yeah, like they're it, kind it, of maybe playing into the conspiracy theory people I, you know i feel like they may be doing that as a i don't know but that's how they do things. Well, uh, well, it'll short out on them again, mm -hmm. and then they'll now watch. They'll say that they had to that they had to cancel the test. <laughs> so we'll see. Say something we'll see. crashed. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah. Oh, well, most of the time lately, every time they've been turning it on, it's been shorting out. One time they blamed a weasel chewing wires, and that's not. I don't think that's what's really going on because if you send something faster than the speed of light, you're sending something ahead in time. And I think they're shutting their machine off, and then things or particles are returning. And they don't have containment of the returning particles. I've noticed that on their containment models. And it's like, whoa, are you guys playing with shit that you shouldn't be playing with? You know, like right. Pandora's box and, you know, the time-space continuum and all of that crap. And I, I don't have, of course, enough technical knowledge to, to make that call. But I kind of think they're playing with shit they shouldn't be playing with. But Yeah. I don't no. know much about it either, but I it's well, it's a little I, freaky I agree. to be sending a particle around a track at you know this immense amount of uh, speed and using all this electricity and magnets to make it go faster and faster and faster and faster, and then it vanishes out of their containment chamber, and then it comes back in and crashes into other protons in other dimensions. Now that they have proven that they've sent it somewhere, and it our proton ran into other protons, which knocked those protons into our sublight speed return chamber. And that was freaky because they didn't contain the, the reaction because it actually it broke outside of their reactor re, or their containment reactor. 
and they showed the models of it, and I saw particles actually going outside the reactor in the model. The computer showed it. And I don't know how they read that, but that's how I read it. Now, I'm not, of course, qualified. I don't work for them. But um, I, I, I see them as playing with something they shouldn't be playing with unless there's a really much larger scheme of what's going on. I, I have my uh, suspicions as to what, but uh, I, I think it's a little weird that they would be doing it on that day. Um, now, the electrical occurrence in the Earth is also fragmented and changed during an eclipse, which is why I also say that there is the possibility of a gravitational, pardon the expression, because I don't, I don't standardly believe in gravity per se, because gravity is part of other things occurring, not just gravity. Uh, it's part of the electrical reaction yeah. between all of that. And so um, because of the electrical aspects of it, they could be doing a test to see if something is different during, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I'd be, it's odd. I just see it as odd timing. That's all. That's the best I can answer. Right, right, right. Just wait and see, I guess, you know? Yeah. Just wait and see what happens. Yeah. Not much we can, can do about it. Hey, I've got something for you, you know, Rebecca. Yes. What's going on? Gay dreamers. Are you he serious? He he did. He, he, <laughs> sound, he sounds excited. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue the conversation. Wow. And he's he's on vacation right now, and that's why he. Yeah. Has, you, you were right. He, he just hasn't. He hasn't he's been busy. So, yeah. So, so he sounds exciting and, and uh, excited. That's pretty neat. And He's I'll a nice guy. I mean, from what yeah. I can tell, I mean, he'll I've been help, for years. He'll help us get it going real fast. Right. Yeah. We we have a a uh, uh, we know somebody who has a channel on YouTube called J Dreamers, and he does. I, I love his channel. I've watched him for years. <laughs> and we were just talking. Rocket Man and I were talking about. Um, his yeah. setup for his live streaming and everything and how cool it looks. Yeah. So Rocket Man, uh, we, you know, thought to message him, Rocket Man messaged him. And then I chimed in and said, we would love, you know, to have your assistance and um, helping us, you know, get things set up. Cause apparently he knows uh, what he's doing and it looks nice. So yeah, um, yeah well, it's awesome. He's, he's using uh, Streamlabs. He's using yeah. the same tool we're using. So. So, so he can it, get it going it, quickly. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, he already perfect. knows. He, he can probably get it going in, in no time. And that's what yeah. we're looking for, to get, right. get you off, off of this duck, right. duck, 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 what is it? The the stream yard. Stream yard. Stream yard. Stream yeah, yard. get yeah. off of this, this goofy, well, clunky thing. And it's, it served its purpose for a while. But yeah, yeah. apparently Streamlabs is a way more um, edgy and cool and has way more features. And I'm excited to, yeah. you know, get it going and see what yeah. all we can do, so, what our so options are. Uh, and I'm, I'm, while we're talking, let's yeah, go, go ahead and give the update because I have sure. a, a short little video we can <laughs> go But for there's, it. you know, at the moment, it, it changes every time <laughs> I work on it, it changes, okay? You know, but at the moment, that's this is what it looks like as of this morning, um, you know, but Yeah, I got some uh, of our podcasts yeah, loaded. Nice. There's there's the first 12 podcasts. Yeah, They're all loaded and ready to go. And then we're going to have a row for my videos that I make. We're going to have a row for Samuel's uh, videos and clips. And then we're going to have a row for Jesus and his videos. And then all of the movies that are being added. So, and... All these movies are going to be included in yeah. the site. More coming today, too. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. You're adding more every day. Yeah, yeah. I got the gods, got the gods of Egypt out there. Uh, yeah. So so all those movies are free. And, uh, go have at it. Uh, the, the, beekeeper, right. the beekeeper is really good. And, 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 and also that one, Land of Bad. Oh, that is so good. Let's see. Let's pull up that site again. The the. So I'm curious. Um, at what point? You you said that eventually it will just be citizenscienceproject.com. Yeah. Is that right. 
Yep, okay. Yeah, I'm going to work on that now. I'm going to work on that uh, yeah, this weekend. Yeah, that's coming. I just okay. haven't had time, so I'll I know. do that. I'll, yeah, I'll Don't do that worry. today. I'll do it today. Yeah. And it's going to be easy flip-flop. You know? It'll make it easier, right, and for people. And yeah. you know what else will be easier is when we get the app going. We're going to have an app on the Google Play Store um, that will make it more functional for, you know, Android phones and tablets. Yeah. Um, you know, right now it's a little disfigured, but yeah. once we get the app going. It but but you but but what's great is that now you know what to do to get it going. To get the okay. app going. Yeah. I'll figure you, it out. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, I did see what you told me. Uh -huh. You talked about it and you know right. that we need the artwork and the content and, and all that. And so, you know, I'll but work you're, on that. you're getting good mm -hmm. with a uh, movie. You're like, like you're doing awesome. Like Thanks. You're, you're, you're fast. <laughs> oh, good. Well, thank you. Thanks. I, you know, I've been kind of tinkering around at every, all the different options and, yeah, and over and time good. I'll be keeping it updated as we yeah. go along. Yeah, yeah. We're going to keep fresh information on the yeah. site. So you're doing that's great. exciting. You're doing well, great. you are too. You are too. So thank you for all that you're doing no, as always. No, no, seriously. So yeah, I won't, I'm excited. Um, let's see. Okay. So that's going along. <laughs> well, each, I, I'm sure each week it'll just be more and more. I know it will be. Yeah. Every um, day, every day something new. Right. Right. So be sure and, Go get registered, you know, yeah. so that way you'll be notified, you know, yeah. when we actually go live with everything. Yeah, so. register. We've got a plan out there for two ninety nine a month. Please sign up. Uh, it's working now, uh, so all the monies will go into Rebecca's uh, account and uh, in, to to help support the project and and our efforts and, and our cause and and so yeah, please right. go out there and and, and sign up. And, and and register um you know there's going to be a lot more coming and it's going to be coming soon oh, yeah and we're going to have um you know we'll, we'll have different exclusive um content we're going to have movie nights group yeah. movie nights where we can you know get together meet together at a certain time and um experience whatever i, I think the thunderbolts project might be a good one for our first yeah. for our first round maybe yeah. what do you think sam well, yeah, that's literally. Um, uh -huh. I, I like the way that that they start the the video out, and they actually gather you to the possibility that uh, our planets are not static, and it has not always been just this. And they, and then it also introduces the larger, lengthier cycle of the passing planets possibility. Now they don't go into detail of the binary solar system. But they give you a full explanation of the possibility therein, and I I was very very enthusiastic about that since day one that I ever saw that there, and of course they are also dealing with the electric universe, and which is you know one is the same connected uh, uh, premise, the whole premise is based on that, and the fact that they're there means that and they and they're putting out good work on a, like on a month you know the Thunderbolts project per se themselves, and they're putting out really good work. And they're well, they're like one small footstep across into into going into a larger world where the new science is going to come forward, and that is also part of what what we are here to do, is to inform and let people know that there is more to science than 1880 Heisenberg uh, uh, Commission information that we're unfortunately still running on to this day and teaching in colleges and stuff like this. And, you know, there's, like I've said many times before, there's been numerous, numerous really brilliant scientists that have completely debunked Einstein for half of it. You know, I'm not going to say all of his work because there was a good portion of his work was good. But they debunked him in so many ways. And I, I wonder why they never became famous because they should have been. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like, I, I should have gotten some uh, accreditation for my work, but what had what happened to me is I was slapped with, you know, the 30-year non and then put on a shelf and hidden. And so I wonder how many other people are out there that that's happened to as well over time in history and memoriam or whatever you want to call it. But uh, so this is a good thing. We have to, we have to change people's beliefs in the fact that the science, our science that we run off of is so old and so antiquated and so untaught properly. And I'm amazed that, you know, 
uh, that they're still uh, paying colleges to do this. Now, there's probably a whole bunch of professors out there that are really mad at me right now for just saying that. But there is so much more. And, of course, we have to look the, all the way down to our education system as well because we're medicating children to fit and function in the classroom when we know that isn't right either. And yet um, all of that stuff is still going on. And, and I, I don't think we recognize intellect. I don't think that we are focusing on the right uh, uh, student raising and i do believe in a montessori education where you allow the student to to research and study the things that interest them right. now granted there has to be some information in that you know like certain topics in school that you may not be interested in that you do need to learn uh, but some of that but i i think that they should actually further uh intellect and the special people a little bit more than they do rather than pay attention to color collegiate and scholastic uh, professors who have a piece of paper on the wall but don't have necessarily the intelligence to back up Is Emma what they're teaching. You should, uh, if you're on the phone there, recommend you should mute. I can mute him. Let me get there. There. Yeah, I, don't you think though, Sam, I mean, the, their curriculum is handed to these professors. They maybe well, can't yeah. step outside of that. Right. They're, you know, right. they have to present what they're right. given. Yeah, and that's, and that's, that, that's on purpose. Well, you know, uh, what the hell they call it? Uh, what was that? The, 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 the co common core math that they introduced to school. Yeah. I looked at that and I saw, you know, and I, I've done massive equations. And I looked at that and I thought, you're full of shit. Why are you making me do this four different ways? It, I, I saw it as an extreme insult. Mm -hmm. It's like, why, when I can do it one way, the way I see fit, and then that should be the answer, and I should be congratulated for that and given a grade on that, not on four different ways to do the same equation. Now, okay, I can see, I can see the theory behind it to give you multiple points of view. But to me, school was a... Uh, prison camp and anyone who has a prison camp attitude is not going to want to have to jump through four hoops when one was already bad enough and that's true you know and and I, common cord to me does not seem like a teaching tool it seems like more of a shutdown tool and it, it's 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 not pleasant i i looked at it i could figure it out yeah but, I mean, it took me four times as long to do one equation when I could have come up with the answer and moved on. Yeah. I, no, I, I, I missed, time. you know, learning that with my kids. You know, my kids well, were yeah. grown by then. So I, didn't I, really I never had them. algebra yeah. either. Algebra wasn't even taught in schools until I was literally graduating. And then only, you know, certain math students got to go to those classes. Because, you know, I, I was good at math, but I wasn't good at math either but i i can't i never could say oh i'm bad at math i just didn't like it it wasn't you know it's like <laughs> typing class right, i didn't right. like typing struggle. class either but i was no good at it i i'm a horrible i still you know i, I still hunt and peck with with two or three or six fingers but i type <laughs> really fast but not the yeah. way that they wanted me to learn it and you know i i had yeah. to arrange my own um, because i am occasionally dyslexic and I do, you know, I, my, my left brain takes over and I type with my left hand before my right. And so I inter, in, in, interpose letters all the time. And my dyslexia is also my gift. And, and my, the way I think is different than everybody else. And I think I should have been nurtured in that rather than, uh, you know, gotten in trouble for it. Now, granted, I did get booted out of every school I went to. Because people, I you know, I make some people uncomfortable, and <laughs> you know, we all know that. Um, I hope. Um, yeah. Anyway, I digress off topic, but uh, I, no, I, I, we, I, I think that we have to uh, open up the possibility that what we know as science is not the truth, and and uh, the evidence of that is the fact that these planets are here, and uh, we should have been told they know this is going on. Um, I don't agree with them, but I'm not saying overthrow them because of it. I'm sure there's a, they have their reasons, 
I don't agree with all of them, and I don't think all of them are for our benefit. Yeah. So. I, I think they make it complicated on purpose, you know. Well, it's a dilemma for the ages because look where yeah. we are in, in our in our world right now. We have, you know, we're 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 arguing with ourselves over ending war. We don't want to have war, and the and the whole idea with this Ukraine thing and Russia and deciding it's okay that they can invade a country who is a sovereign breakaway country, even nonetheless. But that's not the issue. They don't have the right to come in and tell that country how to live and way we're taking you back because you used to belong to us. Well, in that in that in that same thing, we got the Philippines for the United States. We should have this, 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 and this. But we let all of that go. I don't necessarily agree with empire ship, but I feel if people do die in a war and you do take that country as your country possession, fifty percent of me says, Well, we should keep it. So I, I'm on the fence on that one. But I mean we did give back, we gave back the Philippines, we gave, you know, and a couple other areas of land and stuff and, and 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 even russia has stated that they want alaska back and you know they're going to prepare to take it if we don't give it to them and, and uh, putin's made a lot of threats which are spooky uh, and that's a dictatorship and that's kind of a sad thing that we have still going on in our day but we're at we're at the transition where we're, we're starting to hopefully grow up enough to realize that war is not the answer Although overpopulation is not the answer either, and the millions and millions of people that died in World War One and, and during World War Two have drastically affected the outcome of the overall tide of mankind. So, I mean, how do you weigh all of this stuff? It's a, it's a big brain spinner. So we have to sort of like accept the way things are and try to make the best out of what we have, rather than bitch about it and go against it or break it or ruin it for our own not necessarily wise choices but I, I just wish everybody would get along and actually work things out rather than uh, being aggressive and causing serious issues and we need to grow and we need to realize that we need to grow and, and be reminded that we don't know everything and it's time to change and that's what the big message of the week is even you know we put out that uh, the pleiadian message and i hope everybody goes to rebecca's youtube page Nibber Followers Anonymous, and there's a uh, particular posting. It's a Pleiadian message uh, on that, which is out of the norm. Uh, she, it's in the middle of the show. As you scroll over, it's a couple of down by now. Uh, and look that up. And do please do view that um, because it is a very strong message. It is the overall message going back over 300,000 years as to what mostly happened. Uh, the version of this is not entirely, I don't find it 100% accurate, but there are, there are some political intonations in the whoever wrote this uh, from a, their point of view. Uh, the Pleiadians per se are not warlike and I do not see them as jealous or uh, vindictive toward the other races. So, and there was a touch of that in, in that video. So do not take the prejudices that it will hand you, but take the information that it does hand you because it's very accurate. And that's why I begged to have that posted because uh, yeah. Jillian had reminded me of that. Uh, and I had lost the link to that video long ago on a couple of different computers. And I'd literally forgotten it. And then I saw it again recently. And it was perfect timing. Source was handing it back to me again, going, here, Sam, you need to remember this stuff. And I heard it again and again and again. I've listened to it about five times in the last couple of days. And it is yeah, so... It's a special message. It is yeah, so it's the first that one. everyone... Yeah. Now it's you have to take one. into right. You have to take into account who the, the, the Pleiadians are pointing out. There are certain people on this planet that are here to warn you out there and wake you up. And we might know somebody who does that. So you never know. I well, you I know. sort of. I was We're, sort of hinting and bragging and. You know, I because that is basically my that's, that's why I told you the other day. This is my job. Right. This is I am here to change things. And I, I know it. I absolutely know it for a fact inside me that because A, I was told B, I have experienced it and grown into this. And there's a really cool part where they're talking about uh, and I, I should have written down the time so I could have given the example. But right in the early part of the of the video. After they get off the matrix part, you, that's a metaphor. Don't take it too seriously, but the metaphor is correct. 
uh, uh, with Neo uh, and Matrix link part on the beginning of the thing. But she's talking in the middle of the Pleiadian message, and she she's talking about uh, the 2010 ascension, where one day you're sitting here doing something, and all of a sudden everything changes for you. And you get this bombardment of volumes of information that connects to your old source information that is already inside of each of us. We don't have to seek any new information. The information is inside us. We have to learn how to open that up and, and listen to it, which is how I use the skills that I use. Because I listen, because I've been taught by myself to listen because... Um, I trust who and what I see and feel and and I've given examples to my friends uh, out there that I do have these abilities by you know talking ahead of time and and telling and you know speaking to Jillian and telling him what she had for lunch and and you know where, where her father's ashes were and there's a few other things but anyway and this is of course my, my friends know that I'm not talking out my backside I'm good at this and this of course I mean uh, 10 years worth of uh, drawings of the planets and knowing the planets and knowing the binary solar system and all of this really does exist and it's happening right now and it's really cool and everybody should get on board with this but um the the whole, the whole point of the pleiadian message is, is it's giving you a background that that human knowledge has avoided uh telling you and they sent that message and this is highly accurate from what the story that i directly got from an off-world source so uh, that's why i was prompting that it be promoted and played because it's a very yeah. very close rendition to the truth and now There's, we can go back yeah the, no it, it, I, I was gonna say I, i'm also trying to get it added to the new platform I, I worked on it last night and kept running into a technical issue so i'm working with rocket man on getting that squared yeah, away I mean, we, we don't so know we'll get it there right or whatever yeah I, you know, um, I I don't understand those laws. I'd have to actually start. Yeah, I know. I think it's on. okay, but right. Me too. Me too. Well, you know, so. I, sharing their message undoctored, I think, I think that they, you'd think that they would want that. I, everything I on YouTube has been copied. It seems like, you know, the majority of things we yeah. see is a copy of a copy of a copy. You know, it's like, I don't know how you go about that. So, but uh, I want to just get caught up on who has joined us. You know, since we've been visiting and um, uh, where was it? Here she is, my friend Desiree. I got to say hi to my friend Desiree. She's hi, Desiree. Uh, like a personal friend of mine and I haven't got to see her in a minute. So I hope that she makes it to Tulsa soon. They live about uh, 45 mm -hmm. minutes away from me. But um, yeah. you better send me some pictures, you guys, so I can show them. But. I but, uh, you know the mood that is going on lately right now there's an energy in the air right before yeah. the, the the eclipse that is so changing. Have, uh, it is I, wow you know there's something whoa, something's going on here i mean i'm enjoying it i don't know about everybody else um also sorry but, i don't want to interrupt you but i want to get we have another um co-host in the waiting room and i want to get them brought in here too okay. um it's I don't want to say hi to Thunder. We got all kinds of things happening at the same time. But hi, Thunder. Good to see you. Good, uh, good, good. Rocket Man apparently got a busy on the phone, I see. He did. He had to exit. So, okay. yeah, he's got later, work Rocket to do. Man. So he'll be back next show. So, and Experimental is here. Good to see you, Experimental. Hi, good, Experimental. good. I'm glad you're and, here. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring Nicole. Hi, Nicole. How are you? Hi, Nicole. Hello, everyone. I am well. How are you guys? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm finally just able to relax now. I've had a, like you, I've had a busy, busy day too. Yeah, so. I, I haven't slowed down yet either. I, you, now that you just said I get to relax, I went, oh, cool. I can do it. <laughs> yeah, what's all that right. I, I, can I, get, mean, yeah. I can get comfortable in my chair. Okay. All right. Squishy. Right. I re, re, you know, wiggle the butt and get comfortable in my chair. Here and now. No, I was just relax. trying to get all my. Well, my animals in and and it's really really windy so trying to shut the windows because it's it's actually getting really cold so yeah i, I looked nah. at your weather you're getting you're getting arctic weather from canada right now oh, and yeah and it is uh there it is swooping down it's actually raising temperature in the mid-atlantic but that's not too warm right now either and then it is running directly up over the uk so you're going to have high winds you're, the jet no, stream is right over jet streams over yeah. the top of you 
Yeah, and I watch it's, it's everybody's right weather. In this north window. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, in Rebecca's area today, uh, there is uh, red flag warnings for uh -huh. uh, Nebraska, what Kansas, Nebraska? and Oklahoma. And they, they are doing fire danger warnings for Nebraska yeah. and Kansas in case of fire. It's very breaking windy. Out, and they would have a very bad fire scenario. Right. Um, apparently, they're pretty dry, if that's the case. Uh, you've been getting some moisture. And, Nicole, you're going to have a bunch of rain and snow tonight, tomorrow, and the next day. There's a new yeah, big yeah. Arctic glass coming down. Uh, and it right. will hit, She's in Colorado. It's going to hit and it's going to yeah. come down over the top of Montana tonight and then go all the way into Colorado by tomorrow morning or the next day. I didn't see the timeline on that. But and then there's going to be a new bow storm that's going to go through uh, the middle of the United States again and then start heading toward the northeast yeah. as it's been lately. What um, I'm not familiar with a, the term bow storm. Is that another um, new it's word? A, well, you just you know, like cup your hand into a into a semi scene. Sure. It's this but big it, rounded. It's not a straight line storm, but it's a bow. From right. The, from the, so is is that a SAM meteorology term, or is that yeah, like a? That's, that's a SAM. Yeah, it's it'll. Okay, it's, that's a SAMism. It's a, okay, okay. It's a it's a front. It's a big rounded front that is going to encompass three gotcha. states all at the same time, literally from I Iowa all the way down to Arkansas. And yeah, so we, we all know boat. that map. On, yeah, yeah. It, you've painted a perfect visual for everyone. We all know the, the, the map, and we've seen that weather map, and I've seen that bow weather system as you're discussing, and, right. and, and now we can one. all know exactly what it is. But yeah, well, what, perfect the, visual. The, the freaky <laughs> stuff that's going on is the wind comes off uh, uh, either out of Montana mm -hmm. Mm. And of course, our our weather has been coming from the south because it, it it's doing these deep trop dives, and then they and on the dive the low can get cut off and break free of the overall flow. That's called a cut off low. But now it's going to go and it's going to dump a new low in on us through over Montana tonight, and our temperature is going to drop, and then it's going to um. shove all the way down into the stuff that's coming in off of California, and it's going to mix over Colorado and Nevada in Utah and Wyoming, and it's going to be snow and cold and rain and wet. And then when it gets into the plains and the flat areas out of Colorado and drops in altitude, it's going to increase these high wind speeds. Uh, and mm. then that rounded bow area of the push coming in from the west is going to meet the moisture that's already in the middle of the U.S. Now, uh, the Gulf of Mexico is not protruding a whole bunch of moisture this time but we'll still see freak storms and some maybe some drier lightning but with less rain but it's also going to be another another event we're going to have storm after storm after storm just like this all spring and they're going to get more volatile i mean god look what happened to china wow and they got nailed again on the second i believe it was of april and another freak straight line literal hurricane force wind freak storm with gorilla hail and all of that and that's the only thing that may not happen this time this week with us is the gorilla hail even though there might be smaller hail because less moisture in the atmosphere so is it true gorilla that, hail um, lightning hit the statue of liberty yeah i'm sure i'm sure what about egg's comment here a question uh she says she would love to hear what you have to say about the energy that is happening that so many people are feeling like, you know, people are feeling this energetical, you know, I, I, and I also noticed in comments, um, a lot of people are talking about headaches. I had a headache a couple of days ago. So I, you know. Well, that's, that's, that's lunar when, when at, um, at two's moon or, um, the Satham's yellow moon goes over the top of us. There is a there is a lunar tidal effect. It affects the water in our brains as well. So you could now depending on where the the headache is located. That of course, if it's a tension headache or if it's an electrical headache, electrical will be more like your temples or the top of your head. If you get a, a dead center one, that's usually a stress related. If it's the back of your neck, it's a stress related. There's there's many different types of headaches. But yeah, uh, this planetary effect and and alignment of the moon. 
and the center focal is which you know it's coming and that means you know that there are thread electrical occurrences involved not just gravitational and this is why i don't i'm not a huge gravity fan i always say gravitational electrical occurrence connective thread connections and we've seen that with the with the light towers where the light illuminates up into the space and that's where the ions are being pulled out of earth by a larger body and then of course the discharge of electrical discharging between the planets where we get struck by the light and all of that energy and electricity is now in our planet and in our air and in our Schumann resonance and our electrical particle bouncing around within our atmosphere because our magnetosphere also holds things inside as well as keeps things out uh so uh yeah the, uh there's a there's a lot of but not only that and if we go biblically if we if we take into account that this is a culmination of thousands of years worth of of knowing that all of this is coming that will add to the electrical energy and the cosmic energy and the religious energy and people's uh, e even they're just being nervous about it will add to the energy so you know we too are little batteries and we put off um mm -hmm. we do mass movements just mm -hmm. like herds of animals and so if the herd is edgy or uh, empowered or or spirited uh th the rest of us will feel it as well yeah and we're it's, magnets right sam our heart yeah, is yeah we're, we're little is we're like you know c battery or d batteries those big old-fashioned d batteries you know the big tall That's things why you see them in the the tv shows hmm. that are honestly false really they don't show you real stuff in the medical shows not even Whatever that show was, everyone's favorite, whatever the heck that thing was with Patrick, whatever. Anyways, they will shock the heart, you know, and it's not to, you know, like it's to, to stop and restart and change the rhythm. But that's why they use those because they're also, they're, they're, the heart is the biggest magnet we have in our body. Yep. Uh, before and we, we, have, get we have iron in, the, in our blood and so that's metallic. And those yeah, Sam, thanks for bringing that up. Um, I wanted to say that the last time we were all speaking, I find the very, I, I've i always loved space, right? I love to watch the sky. I would be like fourth grade, they'd tell, the, they'd, the teacher would send you out when you first start learning about astronomy, third grade, fourth grade, to, and look for these things in the sky. Well, in Colorado, in, in the winter sky, when you're looking for Orion, it is freaking freezing cold used to be it used to be 60s 70s in february April, march april april march is our snowiest month and we didn't get much snow at all um that's not normal that's not normal so if you've moved to colorado recently these are not normal this is not snowbird weather place this is that that's arizona that's not colorado so it's cold so i would be out there like nine years old all by myself staring up in the sky looking at orion watching it and just and i can't believe that people today have no idea what Arcturus is. I, I am, you know, or, or what the major stars are, the fixed stars or the royal stars. Uh, anyways, the saddest thing about the star. Cassiopeia, Perseus. Uh, uh, yeah, those are all constellations, absolutely. Um, the, yeah, yeah, the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. And also well, known I, as I the can't Big believe Bear, that people Bear. haven't even talked about how the, uh, the, the, the Milky Way has moved. And where it yes. used to be and, and the angle that we used to see at it and this is why i bring back the information to people and this all goes all the way back to the uh, symbols in the alien skies thunderbolts project stuff um we are, we're, we're moving and it's not static and, and everything isn't no. always the same and our solar system is actually moving which is part of the mayan calendar as well uh we are we started as of 2012 we started heading upward through the galactic plane from the lower plane underneath the bot in the bottom area of our galaxy and then we go up through the center which is the center of the magnetosphere the strong wave properties of the center of the magnetosphere which is where we currently are in which is why the milky way looks different because our out view of the milky way is changed because we are moving not that it is moving and Sam, we would you also agree the top of it. Go ahead. would you also agree that uh with this movement and placement in space 
uh, also has come along with a, a movement in placement in our evolution, i.e. like we're elevating as a, as a consciousness from a consciousness level. Well, we are where going the wrong way. Coming more the, electrical, the electrical response at the center of the galaxy has a higher planed electrical dispersal pattern, which is all going through all of us. And we started entering that in 2012 and then 2015, 16, 17, 18 was when, when the strong wave property started playing out. And that is when everybody started having all of this breakout disorders where they were uncomfortable. We had the mass shootings. We had people doing stupid things to, to, to innocent people all around the world and wars and meanness and evil and this, this improper playing of our brains where, oh boy, everything in the house, just the lights just flashed weird. Um, I just had an electrical jolt from somewhere. I hope that wasn't me. Um, so uh, when all that and everybody was freaking out and they were uncomfortable, they didn't know what the hell was going on. And now we've actually sort of gotten to a plateau where hopefully people are becoming a little stronger, a little more comfortable, a little less uh, driven by these illnesses that we can't understand why, including uh, the tingling of the feet and, and you know, neur neuropathy. Oh and uh all of these other syndromes that that they you know science hasn't got an answer for and that they're just chalking people up as being hypochondriacs but that's not what's happening sensitive people are feeling all of this shit and it's real all of it and, all of and it um, that is all of it and you a pill for, for 47 dollars and make money off of it so you, you can't go there with you have to do you have to do your own new new age medicine you have to you have to you have to ground. You have to realize that this is exterior. It's not. It's not you. You're not sick. The world is sick right now, and we're transitioning. And the trick is that we just got to get through the transition, and don't get yeah. dragged down the toilet or don't get ripped up to the sky. Um, that's too. Oh, there, my light just flashed again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we might have a lightning storm coming. I. I, I you well, know, you sound had... fine. Good. Good. You mean I'm not like the middle part of the day was actually warmer than the first part of the day. I wonder if it's going to be like that for you guys as well, because it was cold in the morning when the storm was on. But by the time I had finished taking the other stuff down, it was at about half past one. And when I walked back up the road, it was blue outside and, and warm. It was 16 degrees and that wind started. And now, of course, it's... Well, that's a weird like, shot. Yeah, there's well, so many weird shots like I'm, this. I'm curious. Okay, so Wendy has a question about the tan asteroid, and that's what I was wondering, if that's what this is. Um, the markings, know, say, it's, the markings say. say it's lead asteroid. Those, those okay. stripes say lead asteroid, yeah. which is, I said, that's why... How old is this shot? A, um, if it's recent, Wow um Let's and that's the, the texas cube is behind it yeah because that's two objects there yeah oh there's a couple there's a ships there's ones there's like a whole bunch of little things my light there again well. yeah. my electricity just hopped again wow. yeah it was it's recent uh, it was it shared again. an hour ago um from a yeah. okay, member in canada Okay, in Canada. All right. Well, no, that looks like the lead asteroid, which is very strange to be that far left mm -hmm. right now. Currently, mm -hmm. it could okay. be the red asteroid, but I. But what about the stuff all around it? I mean, are you um, sure? behind it, um, behind it, it appears to be the Texas cube with the side orb above the sun, and those little oh, straight those... little white things are ships. Okay. Those little, oh, cool. those little triangular glitches. There's three or four right. of them that I see in it. All the little dots could be ships quite easily as well. Speaking of, those have been filling my skies. In fact, I was driving. I couldn't get a picture or video of it, but I was watching uh, an orb-shaped cloud that was fairly low to the ground, and I really wanted to, but driving, not safe. So I watched it, and all of a sudden, as I kept watching this, looking at the road, watching, looking at the road, I got stopped at a light. Not fat, not long enough to actually get my camera out and take a picture, but I saw a perfect triangle uh, pointed down, and it was appeared right on it. And I was like, "Oh, oh, I see that!" And then 
-hmm. before I got to the next light and could take a picture or anything, it like morphed real quickly. It's like as soon as you see it, it's like oh, we've been spotted, cloak, you know. But it was close, but they're all over my skies. Um, the closer oh, yeah. there, we get there, to the eclipse, there the are hundreds, more and more hundreds. active. Yeah, there's and a lot about the eclipse. Um, astrologically speaking, I do believe there was a question about it, but uh, astrologically speaking, um, they're clearing events. They they connect things, whatever we've been confused about. Also, Mercury is in retrograde, um, which usually brings things back up for review. And so not as I mean, like you might even feel it, the shadow period where you suddenly develop a, a like a hole in your lip where you spill everything for like the first two weeks and then boom, it goes retrograde. Uh, and then and you're typing the and it's H-T-E, even though you've typed it T-H-E for 40 years or whatever, right? Um, all these things go with Mercury, but the eclipses are clearing. They're clearing, they clear away confusion, uh, they connect things for us. So this could be affecting us all the way from not just the eclipse we just had two weeks ago, but to the eclipse that was also the great American eclipse, the other great American eclipse in August of 2017. So it's very interesting. Um, by the way, before we get any further, and I, and I'm, I don't interrupt or interject, hi, everyone. Hi, hey, everybody in the chat, all of the platforms. I apologize for my tardiness. I have teenagers, and be, with the show being moved back or up an hour, it hits at noon my time and yep. that's usually if you've had a teenager yeah. or remember being a teenager that's that's the hangriest time in their day that's and what just happened to me i i was well, late yeah. today too. i was like five minutes late i had to actually i was i was here right before the show but i had to actually run to the store during the oh, start of the show and i was i was here five minutes afterwards but yeah i was a faux pas oh my god i was late oh yeah. forgive me. God, i was I gonna didn't. say um i'm planning on switching it back Next Saturday, we're going to go back to the oh. 2 p.m. Central. Um, it's, it's better for me, too. Um, the lunch awesome. the lunch time is, I have things going on here, people to feed sure. and things as well. Sure. So we're going to Cats, switch it animals, back. everybody it's, to it feed. Is. You know. I, I don't, you know, you wouldn't think one hour makes that big of a difference, but it, it does. It means exactly. getting in the door and actually feeding myself and getting my work yes. uniform off and yes. the dog so, to the park. Yeah. Next Sweet. Saturday, so we're back to with that no, I, I'm going to go with uh -huh. this either lead asteroid. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean uh -huh. to change the subject back. I apologize. Uh, yeah, well, we, I want to get back to Wendy's question, too. Okay, okay. Yeah. About that. She says, why yes, do yes. you think they are tracking a different object of the same title? Why are they suppressing this Apophis? It, yeah, I, I wonder why they handed the name Apophis to that one asteroid that yeah. is coming back. Um, uh -huh. What's APEP got to do with it as well? It's a different name to ask. Oh, um, like well, a, imagine that you're a guy I mean, that you work for that you work for the government, but you don't know about the Nibiru group, and you realize that you know there's an asteroid that is going to come remarkably close to Earth, and you know that you know you know some of the maybe you watched the the Gods of Egypt movie recently, and, and oh, let's call it a pop. So, or it's an intentional distraction that we're waiting for a pop to happen when it's already happening. Uh, that's like everybody in well, I'm not gonna, excuse me, yank that back. A large portion of people are still anticipating the arrival of Nibiru. The ones that do believe, but they didn't believe that it was here already and has been for a decade. Mm -hmm. So um, th there's always there's always them not knowing and not always being in charge of everything in, when it comes to a conspiracy. Uh, you sometimes just have to add random dumb luck to the government and not everybody there knows about the binary system it's high information only and your average person in the government depending on their their grade status does not know about this so right. if you keep that in mind then you're not gonna you know you're not gonna sling that big parenthesis a parenthesis they out there are trying to do it to us that'll give you a little more middle of the road so you can be informed rather than just in brand is is the tan asteroid um electromagnetically associated with atu or yuri or oh, it's yuri. yeah it's it's uh yuri. it's merging out of the lower base cloud of yuri it's actually semi-facially exposed 
and then we know there's a bunch of material in between behind it in the cloud material of the base cloud below Uri. And then in the shadowed area underneath at the bottom of Uri, remember it's a gas giant. There's all that other stuff we talked about in the past that is mythologically spooky. So um, yeah, it, it comes out and this is part of the tan asteroid. That's part of it because it's part of the Salamander asteroid group. It, we see it as a semi-submerged group of objects that are hanging off the side of Uri that it looks like a lizard or a salamander holding onto the side of the ball. It's partially embedded into the atmosphere, but partially out. And that and we've seen it over and over and over and over again. And that's why it became called the Salamander Asteroid Group. Because we know it's there, yeah. but it's partially right. submerged in the atmosphere base of Uri. Right. It does. It does have that that shape. You know, for the longest time, I didn't understand why you called it that until you explained it. And I'm like, after you said that, then, yes, I do see, you know, the, the shape of a. And, it, and at certain angled views, when the light shines on it, even the tan asteroid can appear to be a winged dragon. And we've got many of those pictures going back. And in, and right. even in 2020, 2021, there was some unbelievably luminescent pictures of this. You know, I mean, it looked like a winged dragon or a worm coming in with both wings spread out flat and different than the facial illumination I was priorly referring to where it does look like the dragon. Because the wing... In, in some shots, the wings actually hug the side of Uri, but in these recent photos, it, it's farther apart and separated of Uri, and then it's the 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 wings on the group of uh, asteroids look like this, like a plane wing where it's flat and coming straight at us or at an angle, uh, which has been different from some of the older sightings. So the whole the whole thing has changed and yet it's the same but it's now putting off these unbelievably really cool uh cloud patterns but now compared to 2022 and 2020 now they're coming right over the top of us again at the beginning of the 180 day cycle where those previous captures were in the middle or the end of the cycle so they were in a different placement etc i mean it, it changes over time but i mean this is a really unbelievably cool pattern and very looming and dangerous looking and it could be entirely dangerous um so uh it, it bears paying attention to but let's try not to fear it hi lauren and thank you for uh congratulating us yeah today is our this show is our 50 show. shows and then the next oh. the next day after it's the eclipse so Quite momentous. Two days, yeah, right. Yeah, I know, but fifty. We won't I mean, forget what a, it. Like a hazy city. Congratulations! What a ride. Yeah, that's what a awesome. Ride. Right. I mean, really, I know, I know. congratulations, Rebecca. That's huge. Thank that's you. huge. I well, mean, I you, wow, that's awesome. On the extreme, if if uh, shit does hit the fan on on uh, uh, Eclipse Day, uh, oh, which I, I doubt, but it's possible. Um, yes, yeah. uh, and you know, and, and biblically speaking, there's a whole lot to this. And I, I went through some of the math, and I, you know, I, I mean, I took a deep dive into the swimming pool of religion this last three weeks now, and I'm still studying. I haven't, I haven't stopped. And the math behind this, and the the celestial math, is intriguing as hell. And you kind of go, wow. There is something to this. So, and and again, we're going, and then the, the earthquake yesterday, or the 19 earthquakes yesterday in New Jersey alone. Wow. And yeah. then there were five or six, and I have not checked today what's going on in the, in, the, in, the, in the rift. Uh, I haven't checked into the into what's going on in, in the rift in the Atlantic, but it is the Atlantic rift is really active right now. And that all goes all the way up to Iceland and what's going on there and their volcanic stream has changed as well and i'm watching that every day so go ahead and play this okay here's what's going on i have people over on TikTok asking well what about the earthquake so let's yeah there's so far yesterday by 5 p.m there were 19 aftershocks that they that they're not 19. Uh, after, 
yeah, that was by 5 p.m. yesterday. I have not seen uh, a, an update since, and I'm going to go and look into it myself. I could do that right now while we're playing this. Wow, that's a lot. Breaking I tried to see uh, the earthquake if buildings were... Oh... Again, these are things that are not necessarily something that we're used to at all. Shame, look at the poor cats. They're really upset. Yeah, animals sense those. Shake. They sense it before. That caused a morning shock to most of the northeast. The epicenter of a look, see, did you see the dog? He moved before it even started moving. Miles west of New York yeah. City in Lebanon, yeah. New Jersey. I've never felt an earthquake, so... It was a little scary. It was a little weird. That near record earthquake felt from New England to New okay. York and much of the Mid-Atlantic. People in at least 10 states and even right here yeah. in the nation's capital experienced some shaking. The aftershocks are still coming tonight with the governor of New Jersey warning they're still on high alert. The 4.8 magnitude quake's epicenter was located and I have 35 miles west of New York City. We have more problems for a troubled Earthquake. Yep, We're we having an earthquake. Do you have an update, Sam? Yeah, um, well, I'll, I'll wait till this is done. Can you imagine? Like, <laughs> I didn't make that happen again. So now we know. That's wow. that sound I said that it's like a table sliding. That's yes, what happened that here does, at our yeah. house. Is this an earthquake? Yo, I have an earthquake. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Yo, <laughs> am I in an earthquake? Wow. Oh, um, my house is shaking. Yeah. It's been a little more active than they're letting us know, boys and girls. Put the razors down. Put the trimmer down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't make the dude bald, man. <laughs> yeah, don't don't nick him. Cut an ear. Hey, look, the dog's like, what the wow. heck? And then it starts shaking. Animals will yeah, see it, feel it before. They mm -hmm. feel it before it even happens. Your cats or your dogs start freaking out? Yeah. Could be a couple of things, especially oh, nervous, but... Okay. Sam, did you do any his uh, homework oh, on I... how long ago the the last earthquakes of this size were to hit New York? Uh, uh, city, yeah, New yeah, I did. I looked into the past. Uh, yeah, the, in the 1800s and the 1700s were the last major serious ones. Uh, did you know, Rebecca, that in your area alone, whoops, uh, you have 31 earthquakes in Oklahoma alone this week? I had no idea. Okay. I haven't tracked those. Uh, if you track, I haven't, yeah, that, yeah, I know. I haven't, I don't know what happened here, but there's water coming out of this building. After the earthquake happened, pipe. like it's a pipeline. Yeah. There's yeah, this uh, pipe, man. Yeah. I'm looking at the okay. earthquake report and I'm doing an, uh, an overview from the week. There were nine earthquakes, well, uh, let me correction, six earthquakes in Missouri right at the dead center of the New Madrid. Uh, they were yeah. all small 1.9, 1.6, 2.4, 2.1, 2.5, 1.0. And that's in right in bottom area of Missouri, right next to Arkansas. And one was actually in Tennessee, but that's just across the river. Now in South Carolina and in Georgia, there have been six. And they're all low magnitude. 2.3 was the highest. 
And as of to date, as of the last uh, update on the USGS that I'm staring at, there have been uh, 30 earthquakes in the New Jersey spot alone. So this is a serious cluster quake event. And they're not telling me. Now, not in the Atlantic, it, the Atlantic Rift, which is the largest fracture in the nearby plate, because this is in the middle of the North American plate, so it shouldn't. It's the, uh, I got it written down here. Um, it is the uh, Ramapo Fault Zone. It is a folding, buckling area from the pressures of the Atlantic Ocean coming in from the east and pushing inward on the plate overall. This is the Ramapo or whatever, Ram, Ramapo, Ramapo fault line. And that whole area is a turning, bending of the plate uh, that has to do with the origins of the Great Lakes and everything. And this is a very old rock scenario. So the dispersal of the wave pattern of the jolt that runs through this old rock, being as cold up there, it's also a harder, more intense jolt where Californias are a little more liquid and wavy because of the temperature variant in the rock itself. And California rock is a lot uh, younger and not as hard and dense and granite-like, whereas in northeast United States, that's mostly granite. So that their quakes are much more intense and they spread across a greater distance and range. So there have been 30 uh, in, uh, in that fault line. Plus, farther down the fault lines, you get into South Carolina, North Carolina. Hmm. And uh, that's part of that bending folding. So there's direct uh, uh, tectonic plate movement coming from the the atlantic rift zone so and this could be this could be yeah. tidally related to the uh to the uh uh the eclipse coming this could be related I, I and oh boy hey, hey looking looking uh, 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 uh puerto rico has had a whole, whole bunch 44 surrounding puerto rico alone right at their fault line so that's the bottom corner of that fault of the North American right. rift zone. And that's also equilaterally directly adjacent from the North Mid Atlantic Ridge 5.0 that happened on the 4th. And then on the 4th also, there was a 5.1, a few, maybe 500, 600 miles to the south off of Venezuela, straight across at the Mid Atlantic Rift fracture. And then Yucatan has had a bunch. And then, of course, California, Washington State, and Montana and Idaho have had a whole bunch that they have not been sharing. My area alone uh -oh, has been an earthquake. Uh, my area alone has been 61 earthquakes. Wow. Um, can you hear me now? Busy. Yeah. Yes, yes. I can. just did it for okay. a little bit, but yeah. That might be me clicking from... Site to site. I was going to say also, it may have been what Tracy saw, but I saw a clip. I'm trying to get it real quick after I made our earthquake video. But um, there's a news well, channel that's, that's calling Monday's eclipse. They said it is a um, eclipse earthquake. Did you see that? Let me get hmm. it real quick so you all can see what I'm. Well, uh, Nostradamus about. talked about it. Uh, saying mass earthquakes on that occurrence. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Revelations talks about it, and I believe it's discussed in Matthew 24 and a few other places. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe it's Matthew 24 in the Bible. Um, I did a bunch of homework on it, and, there, and, you know, it's entirely possible something big is coming. I mean, look what's going on geologically. It is unusual. We've had 61 yeah. earthquakes in Montana alone this week. How about Sweden? Do we know of Sweden to have a lot of earthquakes? I mean, I'm seeing a 2.4 hitting Sweden yesterday. Well, I don't. Plus one in the Norwegian Sea, the Azores, which is 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 not out of out of normal for them. But also Hawaii's had at least a dozen. Chile's had a bunch. 
Yeah, um, well, yeah, there and the earth. Well, you know, look at the seven point one last week in 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 uh, the Java region. Argentina. They, they had huge, huge quakes this week, in 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 Asia, Southern Asia, in the in the Malaysian area. Sorry, I just had to go and chase my it's garden awesome. furniture. Five point six hit Tonga yesterday. Yeah, and right. Tonga is that underwater. It's near right. that underwater. Um, I right. Know that uh, the, well, that okay, guys, the, pre the pressure cooker is on because these planets are excruciatingly close to us. Uh, this, you know, if they, if 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 the Bible was laid out in a language that could be understood at the times, and then rewritten mm -hmm. for modern man, we wouldn't write it correctly in our current uh, mode of language. And uh, the that's why I looked into the math behind all of this and, and the, the geologic and, and astrological math behind all of these, uh, the counting of the sixth seal and all of this. And it was like, wow, mm -hmm. it's, it was fascinating. And I'm not a, I'm not a guy that dives into numerology. I, I, I've had a lot of friends, oh, the numbers mean this, this, and I gotta go, yeah, okay, whatever. Excuse me. Sorry, were you talking about numerology? There's another one called Gematria as well, isn't there? Move me to, yeah. I like both of those, yeah. Yeah, um, I, I'm not a, I, I've never been a huge language. numerologist fan. I take it into account, but I, I'm, it's not something I'm going to swear by as gospel. So, sure, sure. Um, Astrology, uh, you know, I would. And, and I, I, I sooner believe in my tarot cards than I do the numerology. Um, yeah, then there's so, Gematria. I mean, that one's different, well, isn't yeah. it? Well, and, yeah, and this, you know, yeah. the, 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 the time factor laid down could be easily figured by a higher race uh that could actually hand this information to man and given as uh uh biblical uh, information to be written down as gospel pardon i was searching for a better word than the gospels but uh mm -hmm. as credible information and it could be laid out in the bible accordingly for a warning of the and and, and misconstrued through uh lord transition Including like the, what that what happened to symbols of an alien sky where where you know Nibiru was referred to as as uh, the red planet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, there's cetera. so many things still say red planet. I uh -huh. find it very irritating because well, we've been you got to remember about that Imaru, Okay, that and I believe that comes from the early sightings of Imaru, which is a big red gas giant which is so large that the entire solar system was hiding behind it they didn't really they didn't see it per se they were seeing small shit compared to emeru and it's red brown and that's the the gas giant that holds the two stars as an electron cluster and once you understand uh subatomic chem chemistry and atoms and that it, it all fits but it separately of the orbit model that we've all been taught by einstein we go around on a dinner plate then it doesn't fit but once you take into account that we're an atomic structure, we're not we're not just rocks floating around that gathered around. Oh, okay, this star grabbed that rock, and this star grabbed that sorry. rock. Am, am, am I panning oh, out? Oh, okay. Uh, I thought you were talking to me. Um, <laughs> uh, so it, you know, you have to take into account that that some of this information uh, that they have picked up is semi accurate, but then through some guy's assumption has a tendency to carry weight and then people believe that rather than the truth or the facts hmm. and so we have to we have to change those facts and, and remind people that you know what the information that we're being handed is incorrect for several reasons and one of them is intentional anyway I digress. okay yeah i don't know why i keep hearing my one of my videos playing but i don't see it anywhere so but oh, I was going to show you that cool. little clip real quick. You're being haunted. There's all sorts of weird know, electrical like, things Where's it coming on? from? Uh, yeah, my truck tailgate opened by itself last night. <laughs> we got out and we were walking into the, the the house and before I even hit the garage door button, all of a sudden we heard this, you know, the sound of it opening up. Where did Rebecca go? <laughs> <laughs> um, she and maybe had to bug out itself. to put that and thing I, off. Sometimes oh, yeah. you have to reboot. Oh, maybe. I'm constantly uh -huh. having to reboot everything. Oh, um, Jillian, Jillian, you you are talking uh -huh. really loud. Uh -huh. Oh, it's, it's you 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 could talk a, just a hair quieter, please. 
Um, no, I wasn't maybe talking like if you go I, to your settings, you can put your microphone settings. You can actually tell it to auto auto change your volume. It's weird. It seems like it when Sam tried it, it was keeping him super super quiet. But I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Rebecca. Uh, Sam was just commenting Here. that welcome back. Good to have <laughs> you, the host. Um, <laughs> Hi, uh, Sam was commenting. Yeah, Jillian's that, coming uh, across really loud. I it just seems like it was oh. actually painful. Oh, yeah, she yeah. can yeah. adjust that. I don't know if I can or yeah. not. Yeah, I know she can. You can you, uh, she can do it by going into settings. Uh huh. Yeah, there should be a settings that little audio. Clip real quick. I'll get this out of the road. Yeah, in in streamyard. I, I just thought it was peculiar. Quick in 140 years, John. Look at all that. And it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse from earthquake coming up on Monday. This different boss was telling us it's going to be a transformative experience. Oh. Uh, for anybody who is okay, in the okay. area of he, he is, he is, uh, He's subject to the, the religious doctrine. We have the il eclipse earthquake coming so he has gotten that information and he believes too that the new madrid which is by the way active uh you know we talked about that just a minute ago there there's been six or seven earthquakes dead center of the new madrid they're all small but they're not even that didn't even make the news so uh yeah yeah you know and, and I, the more i see with each passing day and then the vibe that i'm feeling and the change in the energy level and what's weird and all of this is like yes. wow um I mean, I'm, 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 media, I'm looking forward to it fox news doesn't usually get religious so oh, you know. oh yeah oh yes they do those guys are bought and sold oh. down the down the bible belt in unbelievable. Okay. Oh, I've not heard him go religious. Um, I absolutely I will not watch Fox News. Period, because they are yeah. not news. They are they are Fox. Remember the Inquirer, or the or the Sun Times. Sure. Years ago, mm -hmm. on the you know on the stand mm -hmm. as you're getting out of the grocery yeah, store, the National Inquirer, and yeah. they put out what they call the news. But that's what Fox does. They don't put out news. Yeah, they put out hype. That bad, Sam. I don't know that it's that bad. Yes, it is. I watch worldwide news, and I I see excerpts of Fox all the time. And if see, I don't watch any news. Uh, no. so. uh, it, maybe that. I mean, if, the, if they're excerpts, what, what if they're not exactly specifically like? What if they're modified? You know, I'm not. I'm uh, just saying. Be, saying uh, Fox happy. News doesn't even put out decent weather. I can't even I cannot even accredit them as being fair and accurate about the weather report, let alone I don't think politics. any of them are. Honestly. I mean I unbelievable what Fox the, 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 the platform that Fox and, and I I'm sorry, I have to stand up for what I believe in. You can be mad at me all you want. Fox News no, is horrible. Not. Horrible. It's I'm, it's, I'm, it's a I'm disservice not, to mankind. It either. really is. I find so, all of the MSM ones to be the same way. All of them. Well, yeah, you know, even and I, I'll even yell at NBC right now. They've gone Jillian go? a, a little askew from reality as well. Um, uh, ABC is tolerable. No, CBS, is, uh, they've always They're been all... sort of. I had a video to share. Another anyway, video. Yes, I, I, I watch. I watch BBC. I watch. You know, Al Jazeera. I watch. It's one uh, of our commenters it, uh, said we the Brits have a certain name for BBC, and it wasn't very kind. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, I believe it was David Grease. I think it is who had commented. I'd have to go back and watch the last show, but um, it was something not like that. It was kind of like not, you know, like you feel about Fox. It kind of sounds like the Brits kind of feel that way about the BBC. Well, I, I take everybody. <laughs> you know, I, I, I even watch Australian news, and you know, they're yeah. they've got. The Australians are absolutely, um, they don't care what you think. They don't, they do not have in them the slightest remorse ah. for anything that comes out of their mouth and, and politically correct does not exist in their society. And Daddy if they see boy, something, God. they say something. So, uh, you know, it, you have to take the culture into account too. I even watch Chinese news and HK and Japanese news. I watch it all the time. Al Jazeera. So, yeah. yeah, well, Al Jazeera is uh, uh, is Israeli. I mean, 
Right, right. So, but they do seem to, I mean, if you go onto YouTube, I'm not saying believe every YouTube video you watch. I'm no, saying no. that if you go onto YouTube, you'll find all kinds of, I mean, most all, even all of the American broadcasting, not, not NBC, ABC, all of them all seem to, CBS, they all put that stuff on YouTube as well. So if you want to find a, a huge amount of news, you could look for it on YouTube as well, um, and find all kinds of different channels. And that's where that's and, where I get most of my is, is YouTube. You know, public. so we right. don't ever want to count on one source, right? And yeah, I'm, but I, you know, I just, I just, I just, when it comes and, to Fox, I their credibility is really, really suspect. I, you know, I watch yeah, let, I watch course. some of it, but I generically would not watch them as. My only source, absolutely not. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I don't think anyone should ever keep one source. Um, and mm -hmm. yeah, but um, about the stars, just really quickly, I think the so the stars. I gotta get this high. I have like this burning no, no, desire okay, to get this floor. last comment out. The refrigerator. Hold on, go. All right, but he's not gonna be here to hear. But that's okay. No, I can't <laughs> hear. He can hear. Oh, you can hear it. You can hear. I don't know. We can't see. So. Um, about stars, I find what so, is so incredibly sad about the stars is for them to, we're made of stardust, right? We have iron in our blood. Um, I don't make enough iron, I, I don't know. I occasionally will become anemic, right? So I have to, I have to add more iron into my diet. Um, Anyway, uh, you bruise easy like a peach if you don't, uh, you know, if you become anemic. It's not a good thing. You don't want that. Uh, and, right. and you don't clot very well. But um, we have iron in our blood and we're made of stardust, right? Well, how do we know that? Well, the death of a star begins when they start forming and producing iron and it becomes so heavy. It's the heaviest element that they can make. And it they end up becoming too heavy because all of the iron falls back to the center of their masses, right? So um, that's the death of a star. That's the beginning of the death of the star is when they start producing iron. And here we are made of the stars and i just think it's the saddest part if i'm being sentimental about the stars and space and all but well they have now now that they've got the new telescope up there mm -hmm. they have Which discovered one? uh oh god what the Recall name, it. It's name is sorry don't put you on the spot no worries it's it's not the hubble it's the new one and i, I the new you know, new one in names I, I a week from now i'll remember it. um chandra one from india right no, the one that we put up. Um, we put, okay. Uh, our, our scientists are discovering that they have found some some galaxies that don't conform to what the understood human premise of the galaxies were. And the Big right. Bang. They have, they're have. now, let's just, okay. we'll, we'll, I'll make it easy. They're blowing the Big Bang Theory the hell out of the water. And they mm, have just... Right, believe so? Well, they're, they're finding um, that A, the universe is not expanding equally there's an area mm -hmm. of space where it's not expanding to in a complete circle like they assumed which blows some of their math figures away and then they've also found out now that there are galaxies that are far far older than ours and they were under the assumption that all the galaxies were the same age and they're not and we've got proof of that all the way back from hubble watching galaxies being formed in front of us you know, the finger of God and all of that producing solar systems out the tip of it. And, and he's forming, you know, uh, uh, cloud nebulas and stuff, all forming new stars and new galaxies and solar or it's not galaxies, new solar systems and all of this. So right before our very eyes, and that was all the way back, going back to Hubble. And they should have known better right there. But they weren't connecting the dots and they're still not connecting the dots. And unfortunately, we're paying a bunch of people money for really crappy science. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm not hey, there back. Hi, hi. and, uh, you know, they, they could have paid me better and, and maybe I'd yeah. be there to help rather than them telling me all or nothing. Either I kiss their ass or I'm going to be in trouble. And yeah. that was what I think uh, is wrong with the government for, for an example, because yes, I was an arrogant little 17 year old, but they could have respected me a little differently as well. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, not every teenager is 
I mean, we all know that teenagers think they know better and they know everything and we know nothing because we're like two decades or more older than them. And but I guess, you know, and, and there are the exceptions and the prodigies. I wasn't ready and, for it yet either. And they could have they could have, you know. But yeah, yeah. Very, very different. You don't have to treat them like a snot nosed punk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And while well, you're yeah, screaming uh, at me wasn't wise. Yeah, right now, uh, James Webb Space Telescope yeah, is the one. the one I believe you're speaking of. It was right, put right. up and uh, launched in 2021. Yeah, and we're learning new things, and they've even found a, 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 a galaxy that's separate of the others, and it's in this dark spot by itself, and it's kind of mysteriously looks almost like an eye by itself, away from the other galaxies. And there's billions, billions, and billions of galaxies. And if, if humans want to place that in their brain right about now, that's going to expand uh, the, the size of the universe in your own mind, which is part of what we're about to embrace with this new stage we're, that we're mounting into when we go into the sixth stage, which we are in, mm -hmm. and which started like a year or so or two ago or however, I have to actually go back and look it up. But we are in a new age, and this is part of the transition. This is part of what we talked about at the beginning of the show, where we are going to change everything. And we seek that people expand their knowledge of the solar system and the universe. Now, hello, look at that passing planet that's sitting right in front of us at nightfall. Yeah, I got to yes. step away just for a minute, okay? Okay, okay. Look at that. Uh, what we're looking at, people, is everything under those clouds, that big rounded area, is a passing planet. And it's now illuminating yes. on the bottom. The sun is not in the picture anymore. The sun is down. Oh, and I have a I have a retraction from last week's show. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have Rebecca, um, some of uh, Jesus's videos last week. We we showed a picture, and I made a comment, and then I watched it again after the show, and I was wrong. Um, I said it was Nepesi, but there's actually Nepesi and Saru were in the in the shot. And I did need to retract that because I caught myself in a mistake. And I, I make them. And this is a planet. Most likely, we probably just are witnessing capacity. And this would be at Unatu's moon coming in like this. As they roll away from us, which is weird. So weird to me how the transition and changes keep changing. And it's it's sunset, or is this sunrise? Because it appears the sun is getting higher. Or or did we change? No, we didn't change films. Weird, see? Mm -hmm. I'm almost here. I almost know what the hell I'm talking. About. <laughs> like it's spreading out. Look at it. It's been that yeah, kind of you're over that past planet one way or day, morning or night, whenever the hell it is. There's a planet. The entire upper half is planet, if not many planets, going right by us regularly. We never used to have skies like this, ever. Ah, uh, cumulus nimbus. Wow, look at that. What's the highest flight? I mean, the highest that planes, commercial airlines go at. Uh, commercial runs anywhere from 35 to 45,000 feet, depending on where they're going. If it's an intercontinental flight, they go to 30, 35,000. If they're going to go around and, you know, fly all the way to Hawaii or fly all the way to Japan, then they're going to go up higher. And that way uh, they save fuel on the rounding of the Earth, especially if, it's, if the Earth is turning underneath them. So, uh, because 60,000 is really high up. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't. Uh, that's military range. Any higher than that, you don't want to go above sixty-five thousand feet because then you got to wear oxygen. You know, you you're like way up there in the in the stratosphere, and rules change in your body. You know, G forces and lack of oxygen and all of that's not 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 fun. This is probably a base cloud coming in, and I see it's going in backwards now. And the question is, where's the planet? Is it in the upper left here? Or is it in the dead center in front of us, that dark, dark blue? Mm -hmm. yeah, and the light center. is coming from, I'm looking for a fast shadow, and I'm not finding it weird. I got distracted. Panel. I was looking at Irene Bencomo's question. Uh, yeah, I was looking Nicole, at someone as well. Mm -hmm. Nicole, do you have a little man standing behind you? A little statue? 
Ken. LOL. I could could help it looking for Barbie. I'm not sure. I like the move Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I actually I have not even, seen it. Uh, my, I, yeah, my spouse didn't want me to watch it at all. And he's, you know, because um, I mean, I get what he's saying. If you watch it, um, Barbie is all about Barbie. You know, it's Barbie and Ken, right? And so the movie plays on that. And, and um, like Barbie's like always having the perfect day. And Ken only has a good day if Barbie says hello to him. And ah. so I think that's why wow. my spouse was so heavily against us watching it whatsoever. But I'm like, whatever. I, I understood that. Uh, one of my uh, friends said, well, you know, I have a daughter and I actually cried at the movie because uh, oh <laughs> the movie has a woman that has a daughter and she's around 14, which is right around my kid's age at the time. And and the, they're too old for toys, too young for boys. And so they stop kind of playing with their toys. But there's a Barbie in there that's like, uh, I forget what it called like psycho barbie or crazy barbie um but it's like oh this someone played too hard with her and they like she's always in the splits because you know you're, you're like you can rip the barbie legs off accidentally um but they do the splits and you can cut their hair and barbie that's got you know the the basement i think it's basement barbie um has all this crazy haircut and everything but but yeah and there's even a, a kin song and he's like i'm just kin <laughs> and he's questioning whether or not he's supposed to be you know live a life of blonde virginity and stuff and i don't know it's a catchy tune but i was walking i, I sing it because i was singing it and i just think it's just the cutest little thing but um the mom is sad because the little girl is no longer a little girl the bar she doesn't even play with the barbies and it's a great movie it really is it's cute it's it's really not demeaning to men i mean if you think of it as fiction and barbie is a toy um it's great but yeah i actually got my my sixth grader uh, my son he came home one day mom do you know what song was stuck in my head i was humming i'm just ken mom <laughs> so uh oh <laughs> I was Cultural so, yeah. icon with more moral yeah. uh, interpretations. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Spooky. So, and well, they even go to the real world and yeah, they experience yeah. that. So, um, it's crazy. Well, you know, you know there are very few movies being sent right now. So I guess we'll have to do, do with what we have. Wow. Nice video that whatever just went over the top of us. Yeah. I don't have any, I don't have a little statue behind me on my right. I do have my medicine drum case, and it's got a raven on it. Of course, I don't know if that's what you're seeing, Irene, but, um, and I've got some tarot cards sitting next Maybe to me. Maybe it's in the glass behind you. Mm -hmm. Well, it's covered. I don't, I don't know, but yeah. Isn't that fun? There's a new sound. Ah, oh, that's the little singing bowl. Oh, oh okay. While we're watching the video, you know, but we have this classical music already playing, and that's that better. So we'll just listen uh, to that. Bismarck is one of Rebecca's favorite webcams. Ooh, I can see why. Well, she must have got caught up in something. We are so organized today. We are. Hey, that's okay. Hey, now let's have some grace, right? Uh, uh, I wasn't well, complaining. I was, I was poor making Alan. a Alan. He was. He was hungry. Oh, you I were joking about it. Ah, yeah, I was kidding. Oh, well, yeah, it's okay. okay. It's okay. You gotta so, take care of the significant other. Gotta right, take care of that right. SO, you know, right? I know, I know. I tell him, I was like, if you want to see me, you have to watch me on YouTube or something. <laughs> you can know, I'm in the next room. You know? Make, make time right. between the hours of seven and one. Or seven and one, yeah. Right, right. Oh, wow. My gosh. I, oh, I play single parent on Saturdays because the spouse works all day, mm -hmm. open to close. So um, if they need something, they're coming to me. So I totally understand. And welcome right. back. Thank you. Yeah. I was hoping I'd get back before it ended we still have plenty of time so good yeah yeah this is right you're right sam this that's one of my favorites i don't know i want one of those cams but i need that view to go along with it i don't have that so yeah we were just watching yeah, your favorite weather cam 
If yeah. only we had the uh, the uh, the money to do all that we would like to do. Well, well perhaps no. we'll find a way someday. Well, I, was you know, say, I um, think it's in baby steps. I think, I mean, I believe we'll get there, Sam. Uh, you okay, know, well, really, but I think in baby steps. We can't time just will get tell. There. You know, we're going to continue to do the science, and then that is yeah. the, yes, absolutely. Uh, that is the thing for uh, you know our Facebook folks and our members and our our TikTok friends and our YouTube friends. And remember, everybody out there, like, subscribe, hit that notification button so that you find out when we are on automatically or when Rebecca posts another one of her magnificent videos. Oh, and hopefully thanks. within time, I'll be able to add to the score a little bit more again because we've yes. been suffering. And that, of course, that has to do with whether or not I find a way to upload better. So time will tell. I was uh, going to we'll say, see. right, you're going to have new equipment soon. And well, that does not long, necessarily I mean, we're create mean you. You, you know, I may video. not be able to upload uh, from here again, and I might have to get, seek a, another way to do so. Like, you right. know, I'll, I'll go to a coffee shop and upload it <laughs> uh, with a laptop. Still have those? And, and, yeah, <laughs> Do I, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I, do they uh, have those anywhere? I don't know. Uh, yeah. We have we have Liquid Planet. <laughs> we have a couple of different Liquid Planets, so uh, I think they they have an internet uh, really? inner facility. You know, where I can. Yeah get their password or rent it or whatever that you you I do mean. there because i've never done that because i've never had a laptop to do that with right. so I, and I let's also right. pray that i don't kill it right away um most coffee shops do that so yeah. all, all week long i answered the phone and i would pick up a phone that was fully charged and i would st stick it to the side of my head and it went beep and it was dead right there and it happened uh -oh. uh, like five times this week alone and there's nothing wrong with the battery because the battery in the phone is new and I have two different phones, and so I'm always keeping one on the charger and one next to me. And I they, I had the full one sitting there and just pulled it off the charger an hour earlier, and it was fully charged. And I turned it on, answered the phone, and stuck to the side of my head, and it just died. Drained the battery completely right there on the spot. So that How happened. Do you do that? How do I do it all the time to everything? Okay. You know, I touch, sometimes I touch electron. I touched uh, Renee's brand new iPhone and killed it and then she had to send it back to the factory. How did I do that? I don't know. I touched it. All I did was I don't turn know it. I said hi to Kitty Jo. I see she's joined us. I'm sorry if hi, we've Kitty missed jo. anyone who's joined. Hey everybody. Hi. Yes. Let me go back and see who I've missed. It's like oh, a rainy day show almost. We're a little bit, you know, caught up in the rain. Right. Well, I think we all are, I think, you know, and I have uh, a clip I'll okay. show next about the, you know, about the eclipse. I know we went over that a little bit, but I still have, you know, some clips to share on that. Okay, go ahead, by all and, means. Um, now, I'm really, really, really looking forward to <laughs> two days from now mm -hmm. at uh, noon my time. And Audrey, Audrey wants me to fix Alan's lunch beforehand. I, I know you're right. Um, and normally I do. Thinking? It wasn't. I had. It was a late start. I had a late start, but I, I mean, I'm feeling like hot, and it wasn't done yet. So well, I feel that's a little okay. I mean, like, too. like here's your yeah. fast barbecue sandwich. Yeah. So, sure, but I mean, like, yeah, I, I'm it's, gonna be I like, feel. don't tell me what to do. That's my response. <laughs> you know, like I'm an adult. Come on. It's, it's, <laughs> I know she means no. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's my I usual response. Don't earlier. tell me what to do. <laughs> about you know that hour change is i don't know why it was kind of a hard to work with you know so i feel like now, we already well, lost I mean, one in daylight savings time as it was you know yeah oh All my right, gosh right, yes yes too. like it takes me two weeks to get over that like i run behind for an hour for like a week or two and then every eclipse every full moon every new moon like those all impact me i'm like sorry it was a new moon sorry it was i wasn't sleeping <laughs> Do you guys experience that at all? Do you sleep at all during those? Yeah. Yeah. I never noticed uh, these kind of things before, but now you actually notice them. What's that? These shapes? No. Or not the, sleeping during the, the, the full moon, new moon? I mean, we're mostly water and it pulls on the oceans and the tides. Of course, it's going to pull on us and pull on. I mean, you know. And it's weird how it works out astrologically too. 
but it does. Yeah, it's all connected. Everything, everything is connected. Nothing is separate from astrology yes. all the way down to the ages and Egyptian magic and you name it. It's all part right. of a reality that has been segmented partially away from the facts mm -hmm. and, and people don't realize how truly powerful partially. they are and partially how unfortunate Come on. Our, our education has been very limited in so many ways. Yes, uh, on purpose. Yeah, well, you know, well, a lot of, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe some of our viewers don't even know that there is such a thing called mystery schools. I'm sure a lot of them do, but the mystery schools all contain all of the hidden esoteric occult, meaning hidden knowledge. Yeah, there are that, lots of those. You know, I mean, you, you hear people say, <laughs> I even saw a post about a rosary being of the bad kind of rosary come on people uh but uh numerology astrology all of these things being um uh very bad very like just poor taste and just fake and it's because Evil. it's high knowledge that is so accurate and true it's why they censor the information it's why they um you know why rebecca has been worried about losing the channel you know because of silly copyright claims that I mean, were that even goes totally to the, the false. Masons. you go you go but to the masons or knowledge. the illuminos or you or yes. or the knights templar or right. or uh Which even have been the painted and cast in a wrong light by the way the, the hasidic jews have kept they're their evil. magic uh, away from modern history and they only teach it to their 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 upper students and they're Correct. you know the Jewish yes. magic and the it's Kabbalah and all of that it's hidden knowledge and so we're trying to share that bring that knowledge out and share that and yep. and yep. Um, they all use it that's the other thing they all use uh, astrology the kings the rulers of all ancient past and time and they've all had astrologers on their in their court on their 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 guides their teams so i mean they don't want you to have it and here we are bringing this information to you because as sam says we care about you all we well we're trying to breach humanity. we're trying to breach that the, the division between mysticism religion and avoid politics but uh, current events of the world of scenario in science and we have researched all of this stuff and cross-referenced it and, and you know got into edgar casey and nostradamus and the bible and you name it and uh he was not communing with demons yeah, I just want to yeah. Say well, well guys, demons that. also that's an invention <laughs> demons are an invention of the roman catholic right. church and that is their way to describe aliens. So, you, you know, you, you once you go across that little boundary of, oh, this is scary shit and I don't dare go there. And what will the church say? The moment you can free yourself of that and, and actually enter the levels of science and old information prior to the church, you, you develop new skills and you learn more. And then before you know it, yeah. you're off into a whole new larger world. Don't limit yourself. We are, if you limit yourself, you can't expand a, a, like a parachute. Um, being closed, it doesn't work. It doesn't function like your mind. It's got to be open. But sorry, go go for that. Go ahead, Rebecca. You were going to say something. No, uh, I was just going to interject that this is a video from Alexander Waltz. Okay. Just so everybody knows exactly. while y'all are Great. talking. Other than, that, other than that, that's all I had to say. So yeah, uh, he's our friend cool. in Germany, you guys. Yeah, he's an and always. He does wonderful work. Stuff. He yes, really yes. does. I'm a fan. Yeah. Now, did we so. see this the other day, Rebecca? I do not remember. It, I don't remember. It looks the same either. as what we saw the other day from him. Oh, you do have a good memory if that's the case. I, wow. This is how it looked for me, though, a couple of days ago. I need to share There's that thing. There's the video. pan asteroid right there. It was really and good. Then, and then that that little cloud white cloud area there on the left is the base cloud of nepesity there is the bottom of uh nepesity right there and then that's the lead a weird no that's the satam's yellow moon there's the lead asteroid straight up weird no no there's the lead asteroid just about <laughs> the yeah uh, you know i'm correcting myself so what the hell is it's that about tell. It's hard to tell. What is that above the lead everywhere. In other words, uh, he's filming all kinds of shit above his oh. head. 
<laughs> I see a, oh, I see a square. Right oh, yeah. There. That, right there in there. the middle. What's that? I do it's see a there. cube right above the sun, directly above. Yeah. Uh, well, there's but all there's that stuff is up there. It's it. getting really hard to tell what you're looking at unless That's you're actually. That'll be extra it. things as well, isn't it, Sam? Yeah, there's a lot of new asteroids, and they're all a lot bigger. Right. Like. And we. And this is why we started cataloging them, and I forgot to get hold of Leandra to ask her what the one she wanted named was. Oops. And, uh, yeah, there's so much going on overhead. That that literally looks like the bottom of Nepesity. And somewhere right in there would be Satham's Yellow Moon, supposedly. I you, Wow. Are they right and up he's on over, it? And he's over where in Germany? Yes. Okay, I got to try and fit that in the head at the, you know, at the same time. Because they're, you know, they are, uh, they have a different view than we do. There is definitely a cube in, in part of that shot that we just witnessed. Yeah, look at that. Uh, those almost look like skeleton skulls up there. One, two, three. Weird. Little pareidolia yeah. going off there, but um, that could quite easily be the skull asteroid right there. Sure, it looks like on the it left. Too. Yeah, it's either that yeah. round. round yeah, shape. that that that's probably the tan asteroid. Uh -huh. Look at the pock marks on it too. I know it really that's stands out, doesn't it? Close up, oh close God. up of it. Let's go back to that a second. The way he was. You know, um, adjusting the lighting really made it stand hmm. out. See it's that really guy right there? That. Yeah, dead center right there top the would left. be like the asteroid. Yeah. And over there on the left, that dark wow. area is probably the tan asteroid. And right crossing there. in the white is probably the spiral asteroid. And then, therefore, the red asteroid should be just above the sun there. And then, hopefully, just a little bit to the right uh, will be the asteroid. Right, followed by Satham Shallow Moon farther right, and then it's Satham and Nibiru farther right. That yeah, look at that. Weird. Look at that edge. You're looking at the pock marks of the face of the tan asteroid, and we've never seen that before. Now it's Why now he moved the camera and it's not his camera time. or if he's got a camera. Look at that. He's he's got uh, professional equipment and uh, knowledge. You know what I mean? I mean he knows a lot about photography. Is the uh -huh. Reaper, he knows what he's doing. Is the Reaper in this shot directly right here? Because that's where we saw the Reaper last week was in front of the Dan asteroid. And the Reaper is not the Skull asteroid. And that could be that black shadowy area dead center just below the Skull asteroid there. And I did a drawing. I just haven't posted it yet. I've been highly distracted away from the computer because of the kids yesterday. So I did not get it posted. But I did do... A drawing of the cloud pattern of the Reaper in front of the Pan Asteroid. Oh, it's sitting in front of me. I just haven't posted it yet. Well, I think we should mention how how um, how lucky we are to have Mr. Waltz with us, Mr. Alexander Waltz with us, to That's share right. his good, good material. expertise and material and right. professional knowledge and, and equipment and, and, and work with us. So thank you. Thank right, you Look very at much. those dots. Look at the facial right. dotting on that. Yeah, look at them. And that right there would be the Reaper in front of it. Look See the that. white cloud right dead center right there? there. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. And his sigh is raised. Yeah, look at that. Erky, stop. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about all the people that would just not even glance at the sky, let alone oh, think of anything other than... Just oh, look, out. there's a bird. There's a bird up there. I see yeah, a bird. Yeah, look at that. It was perfectly cradling that. I, what, see that? Yeah, that's probably. Those, those white, the, white clouds exactly. are like hugging, you know, this big, dark blue object behind it. And yeah. there's a small blue object in front. Right there. Yeah, there are asteroids galore going over right over. And we are in the 180 day cycle. So it is, you know, it's game time. And we are in deep doo-doo. 
And I, I think our weather is reflecting it directly. I think our planetary issues, I think our, our geologic issues are all connected. And then you're going to add, we're going to add this eclipse on top of it, which is, whoo, here we go. Um, I, I do think it is um, categorically a time marker uh, because I have looked into the religious aspects of it. I've looked into Nostradamus. I've looked into Edgar Cayce. Uh, and other sources, and uh, like the Fox News guy said, the uh, the eclipse earthquake. Um, I I do give yeah. that a level of merit, yeah. and plus we've seen ge geologically this week with New Jersey and and the Atlantic Rift and yeah. Montana, sixty one earthquakes in Montana this week. Wow. Wow. How, how, what was the biggest one? I did. Uh, we were looking at the ones and twos because they they didn't come up on my first search, and then I, I had to change the parameters to include all uh, earthquakes. But uh, they were one point twos. Now remember that the USGS we believe has downgraded all earthquakes by at least a factor of one, uh, and they are expecting some severe ones this year. Oh, and, I, and we they've also announced the hurricane projections for this year. And they've tripled from normal. Uh, so they're expecting 23 hurricanes instead of uh, seven. And they're expecting uh, seven to ten major ones. So, uh, and, and of course, the El Nino, El Nino La Nina transition is going to be unheard of because that usually doesn't happen that fast, the transition between, but apparently it's already started. So, and you know, we are seeing, and, and, and the reports coming in from around the world, weather-wise, just unbelievable, unheard of weather that, you know, sideways winds and people losing their homes and their cars and their villages and some really drastic crap happening worldwide, which unfortunately is not making the news. And you got to go out and look for it. And there are storms like we have never seen before in our entire lives. And so this is, you know, this has raised, you know, Sam's personal uh, DEF CON ratio my rating for defcon we are in more trouble than we were a month ago and this year is weird and everything's happening early and twice as powerful and i do have to warn people about that and i hope people listen and i and i do thank you if you do and i thank you even if you have a, an issue with my opinion uh because at least then you're free thinking so that's important and oh God, here we are, our 50th show. Holy cow. Necessity. Again, congratulations. Thank That's incredible. That's awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's all because it was all Sam's idea, you know, to begin with, of course. Yeah. And him, you know, just bringing it up. And I don't know how many months, Sam, do you remember? Probably at least six months to a year. I just yeah, was I, talking I, about know, doing I, it. I and he was like, you can do this and you can do that. And I'm like sitting there yeah. going, what? Um, no, I can't. At the time, I just had a cell phone. I didn't have a laptop. And he, you know, instigated donations for me to be able to get the laptop. You know, awesome. so that's, it's, it's just perfectly fell into place, though, looking back after, yeah. you know, 50 shows. I can see now it was meant to be no matter what because it's fallen into place. And then Rocket Man, you know, finding... You know, this, the show, right, when it, he, he watched from the very get-go. He was watching, you know, so that, that takes it well, on let, a different Let's all hope that we can, you know, continue to grow and, and, and go right. up. And, and But the main thing, right. regardless of what happens, the main thing is that we keep doing the science. Of course. And that's what we're here for. And, you know, we're, we're uh, <laughs> going to focus on Facebook members and uh, their reports. And Absolutely. I kind of, I kind of. I won't change. Uh, well, I, yeah, I, I kind of goofed wow, up this week. I, curve. You see I was dealing with bills and things this week and, and store and all that and, and banking. And mm -hmm. so I wasn't as good as I should have been this week, but I will get back to it immediately and, and do my work, my homework. And I got I did take the big deep dive into the homework and spent less time on Facebook. I will admit to that. And uh, I've been in my living room doing a lot of YouTubing through a lot of religious material. And there is so many opinions out there, and I, I tried to listen to as many people as I could tolerate. And there were some I couldn't tolerate, so. Look at that. We are in a very a strange time, ladies and gentlemen. Just Excuse me, Jillian? 
There's a lot of Bible verses getting thrown about just now because of the eclipse. Right, but right. I've seen earlier in the thread here they were talking about Luke 21, 26. But the the cauldron also talked about in these days when people's hearts and minds would fail them and things like that. And uh, you did. You went in there and adjusted your sound, didn't you? Yeah. Now you need to turn it up just a hair. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, what it's I hard to hear you. Was put it now on now it's hard to hear you. Yeah. Well, uh, go back and reset the, the. Go back and reset it. You can do it without. I don't think you have to leave to do that. Uh, just get. Go back to your settings and, and get. Do it manual and raise it to like 160, 170. But when I was in there, it was only at 142. Well, then raise it to 120. All right. Let's see if we can figure that one out. Uh, and, and the only reason I mentioned it because you were bombing in here and it was loud. It was actually, it was actually. It, it wasn't. It, it's this tablet. There's something else. going on with it. Right. Well, you were sitting, then everybody else is. That's all. Hmm. And, you know, but anyway. Now now you're just a little quiet. And we're, I can hear you, but it, it's effort. Look at that illuminated object up in there. You think it's you know, like I don't. I don't think people notice stuff like that. Um, uh, no, that illuminated moon. object in the front of you know, it, yeah, it, yeah, and then as there's moon uh, in front of an asteroid, the and there's an asteroid at the yeah. bottom of that that thing that looks sort of like a nose and an eye and a mouth uh, on a turtle or something. That is an asteroid, and it is probably the spiral asteroid from the facial and the so, size. What about? the band that's going all across the sky you know there's that horizontal that's band the three straight yes. lines what puts off three yeah. straight lines and hangs out underneath that moon. moon yeah those are the that's the tra eddy trail of the texas cube and they put off right. three straight lines hmm. man that's an awesome video <laughs> what got my uh, my attention is when I saw the curve going completely across the sky. I mean, you see yep. it. Bottom of Atu, definite, Atu's definition. moon. That's and awesome. Yuri's in the, in the wow, far left behind is. and dark, and that's why the whole area is dark. And I need to make a video with this. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. I, and we've got drawings going back many, many years. And, the, and the, the crazy thing about it, and that's what to this day blows me away. We, we are in uh, three days, we are going to be 14 years old. And we've been screaming this to the inhabitants of planet Earth for 14 years. People, come on. Uh, you have to realize that what was is no longer. And new things are happening. New science. We are stepping forward. We are proving the things that are being hidden from you on purpose, maybe. Um, maybe it's because they don't know and they're too stupid. And I would hate to say I, I apologize. I don't mean to be rude or crude. But maybe they're uninformed and maybe the secret is being kept by only a few. And that to me is a crime against humanity in my opinion. Uh, but that's only in my opinion. Um, we have to, we all have to get and step forward and realize that this is real and happening and because we've got 14 years of proof. And it right. can't be ignored. Um, at what point does it turn 15 years? Oh, that, that would be April 9th saying? next year. April 9th next year. Okay. All right. I knew it was getting Remember I, Well, I, I, I started publicly talking in 2010. And then within the uh, first few months, I formed Montana Skywatcher. I was, of course, talking on my personal page on Facebook a little bit, minute. And I would mention to people that, you know, I, I saw some really cool shit. And and then uh, a bunch of people asked me, well, why don't, you know, why don't you share this information with people? And I was thinking at the same time, well, we had to we had to get a, a centralized place where everybody could send their, their sky pictures from around the world. Because I wanted to see what their skies looked like as well as my own. And that way I would have a cross reference of what I was seeing and get other people on board to and everything i was looking up was weeks and months and years old 
on YouTube and I couldn't find anything current. And so I figured, okay, I'll run Montana Skywatcher and everybody can send me their current pictures from their house. And then I can see and compare to what I saw today outside and the rest is history. And here we are. Because I knew I was seeing them. And I, and again, uh, the, 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 the monthly site drawing is going to come out on the 15th. And I'm going to have to add uh, Amel Saru and Nana this time because they were visible and I did Ooh. see them. So I'll, nice. I'll show you them and where they are. And drawing will allow it. And got it. You know, I have to try to take that into account. And, I, I, and oh, by the way, now that you're back, Rebecca yeah i i had a, a recap from the from the 4 to 24 show last week's show the the uh oh, the last yeah? one on tuesday okay. uh, we were looking at jesus's material and i called it one of his shots in the pesky, and we were talking about the illumination after sunset and the bottom illumination was this real bright white and then there was that cloud where he was talking about the smoke but in actuality i watched the show again and i realized it wasn't just necessity but it was the white hmm. area below it was Saru, behind the Okay, let me find and it. I let was, me see if I, can I had get to, it. I had to uh, correct myself because on the last on on the, on the show I was wrong. Not only was it necessity, but Saru was visible in that as well, which matches that sighting that Terry uh, gave us. Yeah, that one's it. Let me yeah. get it a bigger. Right. That's. Right, and the, the bluish yeah. area and the clouded area is necessity, but the white area behind it, and you can see the real sky over and only on the sliver in the right hand corner. Yeah, so that white I'm area behind it, it is the bottom of planet Saru, and I didn't catch that last time. And I and then I saw it the other day as I watched the show the next day, and I went, Oh, hey, because there, there's that straight little wispy line dead center in the front of Saru as well. And Sarah always has that thin band at the bottom, and then her base cloud. And I went ah, right there. It's Saru. That's why it's that bright compared to the blue area, which is necessity. Okay, I'm. I made it bigger. We're gonna pull it back up in a second, and we'll watch it okay. full screen. Yeah, I, I had to correct that because I caught myself in an error. I, I want to see the Saru part. That's what I want to look at. Well, that that you know uh, that video that but, Terry. Uh, Wade shared uh, on about a yeah, week and a half yeah. ago. That was oh, I saw I that. I just, that I just, I just loved every second of it. It was like, I oh, there it is. Mean. You can't argue with it. You know, the red sky and and then the bright planetary light, green, blue, and and mm -hmm. illumination. It's like, and then I'll there's the that in cloud that matches my drawings, and I just went, oh my god, that is Saru. Because we've been waiting, reminisce. we've been waiting six months to see. Her. We, we knew oh, you're doing the robot thing. She was back there. Oh, sorry. Now, pretty bad. Wow. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. talking about, uh, the, um, yeah, I was talking about planetary stuff, which is the technical, and then a minute kind of falls apart. Mute me. And so, um, there yeah. Okay, here it is, guys. I really am getting there. Okay, we'll be back. I, I'm going to go ch check the other room and see if anybody's okay. using me. Yeah, maybe they're up to gaming or something. Yeah, never know. Never know. There. Let me investigate this. But there's that band again we were just talking about. We just saw in Alexander's video yeah a very same yeah. thing you know so again we we're seeing how um all this replication of the clouds and we know so clouds that little tiny slither of cloud under there means saru maybe that's yeah i guess that's what okay, he's talking my internet. about yeah that little sliver my internet uh, got a that. little jostly there even the girls were cut off too. Um, yeah, the uh, white area behind at the horizon is Saru. The blue uh, with the rounded in front of us is wow. Nepesi. Sure enough. And uh, we had been seeing what I was saying when I got cut off. We had been seeing the illumination of Saru behind 
fury behind opacity and everything for months and we kept waiting and kept waiting and then that 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 stuff that terry sent in uh it was an instant answer it was like ta -da, there it is wonderful so um and that's what i got cut off over uh, so and, i i didn't know that saru could go like more above us i thought it was always more to the left of our sun well yeah but it is um because this shot the actual sunset is in the right hand side of this you're seeing the illumination yeah. of the bottom of saru because it's so bright uh, after, after wow, sunset what okay i see sunset's over to the right it's already and barely see the real sky it's that orange little brown thing on the bottom corner there that's right. the real sky and the rest is not we have two planets in this and i had to correct that i'm glad you told me that because well I, I caught myself in a mistake and i'm sure there's more that i've made that i didn't catch but um yeah when i do catch myself i like to write it down in a note and then i and i remind everybody out there that i made a mistake and and i do like right. to correct and that way our trolls I mean, our peanut gallery. Um, Not that they would oh, know he, he's otherwise. So full of it, man. He's full of it. He lied and he told you people shit wrong and, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, What are those three little I was just looking at those. Uh -huh. That could easily be the big three. Remember that yeah. uh, orbiting under the front of Nepesity is three asteroids. Yes, look at them. And that could easily be the big three. One, two, three, fading into view as they angle around the bottom area and then change into shadow. They also look like... She looks like a hand, too. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I know, like a little little hand with three fingers, I guess. Wow. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you know, I, I could That's almost go off the deep end into the metaphysical crap that I know that's happening right now. And uh, that's why... That's what, seriously why I had to post, post that P80 and that because it's so, it is so accurate. There is so much more going on in entity-wise, even around Earth than Earthlings know, than we humans know, and that I, I see glimpses of. I, you know, I'm, I'm tapped into some of it. I don't know all of it, thank God. I mean, already what I know scares the crap out of me, and... Uh, I've, I've met one too many. Well, I can't say that lady without, you know, uh, jinxing the whole thing. Um, I have met, uncomfortably met other races, and I'm sure I will yet meet more um, because apparently I have something to do with this equation, which is also part of why I'm bringing up the Pleiadian message because I am directly related. This is, this is part of my job is to have you folks out there. Please go to Rebecca's YouTube site. Uh, Nibiru Followers Anonymous, and look up the Pleiadian message that I begged both Nicole and Rebecca this last week to post and get a copy of for everyone, because it is important that you understand the story behind the information I don't talk about, uh, the stuff that happened before, way, way long ago, and, and the, the, the control of Earth and how all of that changed to uh, create what we are today humans the human race and this is part of the wake-up call uh from the people of light uh to bring us oh i got, got body goosebumps here i go we um to open people up into the celestial changes that are taking place right now as we speak and most of us who are here today listening or will be listening in the future are part of that as well and your role is to become enlightened and wake up to this message and it is time for you to hear it and that is why on the seven days before seven using the number numerology which i'm not a huge fan of but do take account into uh seven days before prior to the eclipse i announced that it is time for everybody to wake up and learn this information and i ask that you please go and view the video in its entirety, please. And if you don't, I'll right, be mad. Yeah, no, I'm only kidding. Um, I, I won't no, be mad. it's the very first video on my channel. So it's, you can't miss it. It's the very first awesome. one. And so, if you wanted to, you could incorporate some of that minutes long. 
you, you could actually yeah. take a small clip of that first video where where you know, two minutes of, of the first part where the lady uh -huh. is giving you the Palladian message that it's so strong and so important that you want that me to get it if you'd See, like it's really beautiful that little yeah. bit it's really beautiful yeah. Yeah. And hi, yeah, crazy can... Peach. you, you I, could yeah, actually crazy's here you guys. So. if you can skip past the 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 matrix part and just start yeah. and run like two talking. minutes of it uh, okay that beautiful music point. and it shows you all the the space stuff yeah right. and and okay. it's, it's, it's a really it. prominently important video and if you are right. here searching for more information you are here because this is part of you as well i'm not going to hand out that you are a serious light worker but i will hand out that you are part of the equation and part of the transition of the future of things to come I, I i know for a fact of my job because i i've been handed it and i argued with it for a very long time and anybody that knows me personally well they can laugh all they want but i I have come to the conclusion through numerous demonstrations of many different things that have led me to absolutely understand exactly what this message is, is telling us. And this is why it's very important right now. We are going to step across a threshold on the 8th. And uh, whether bad things happen notably or not, we are stepping across a marker in time and that is important to to note and 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 you have to choose now what you want to do with that if you ignore it then you're silly but i i think everyone out there who listens and believes should take this as a very serious day of transition yes you know i was going to ask sam actually we i mean we do talk occasionally about uh, the anunnaki and that they come back to collect resources and that's part of why this cycle occurs and that it regenerates the earth to produce those um resources commodities, uh, right. commodities you've don't have to go here because I know it's not comfortable talk for you but I was just going to ask if you want oh, to I'm answer. comfortable with it it's just risky based on what I see going on in my sky and how many things are in there and how much more active it becomes nearing the eclipse I was just wondering if perhaps that's collection day eclipse day just no I, I was under the assumption they would have long ago had this done by now because the commodities mm, that okay. they are talking about collecting are very cumbersome and they have to do it manually and that means they have to have their workers and their affiliation members connect with our people the the people who are in the secret Got it. knowledge group that are part of the transfer because we're voluntarily handing this to them but because we have no choice because their factions are over the top of us and if they chose to invade it, it would be far worse than us just giving them what they want I mean, it, we, we don't own Earth. We stopped owning Earth a long time ago. And I, and I could go into the negatives, but you don't want me to. Um, I mean, uh, if I told you all the stuff I know, the old uh, saying comes to mind that it would turn your hair snow white overnight. And well, I, mean, I have met... I do. <laughs> yeah, I've actually thought about it myself, about actually uh, letting my hair stay gray, because I, I keep jumping between blonde and gray which is weird although my photo, hairline is photo bleaching, huh? no no it's oh. uh it's it's the cosmos doing me um gotcha. i get younger i get older i get younger i get older i, I i've got some mm -hmm. shit going on here where actually i yeah, you know maybe i'm still alive because they want me to and i should have died a long time yeah, ago but we could, that's about eight other stories yes you know and uh, i'm here doing my job till it kills me uh, right. and I don't know if Maybe I'm gonna be <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be here long enough to see it come to fruition but I was directly told that I do survive a good portion of the turmoil and I, I, I don't throw that, that out yeah. I, I don't tell people that often but that that is what I was told to be honest and I, now tomorrow I'm gonna regret telling you this <laughs> uh, yeah like you do I that every do. week 
every every week you're like i said too much that last show I, yeah well i am i'm you know, gonna, you know i'm un unfortunately it. through practice i'm a very excruciatingly private person and i don't even have visitors in my home very often I mean, it's rare um uh so and then every time i do a show i try to be as open and honest as i possibly can and loving and metaphysically uh me i'm doing my job because my job i don't get to choose my job my job is here and that came from other lifetimes prior to me and i i even remember when that happened and i i can't go into great detail because that's another show entirely um and you know uh uh, uh reincarnation etc so um i know my job i know where i am i know what's going on above us i see it i feel it i know shit that i don't even dare tell you guys and i've been exposed to this for well over 44 years now and what i've had this? great excuse me wow it's uh, yours it's like jillian. original wow. and modified yeah this is what jillian sent me awesome is she there oh okay all right. all right i was briefly lost on what we were talking about uh, uh, what people are talking about we are looking at uh this is okay Pat, the sun is behind us to the left this is atu atu's moon with a vertical asteroid going away from us and in front at the bottom uh close to the horizon is the texas cube and then you've got the red asteroid in the middle upper and then you've got the spiral asteroid is dead center at the bottom of the front cloud Jeez. and of course the cube is right there at, at, at the bottom closest to the house that dark on the left that's picture the cube. yeah that's the texas cube is behind the asteroids and the asteroids run orbit in front of the Texas cube and they hide under Atu's moon. And they're vertically orbiting Atu's moon in this out view. And I've got a drawing where sometimes I show the, the orbitation on the left, sometimes I show it vertically, and sometimes I show it on the right. And that's that comparative that I've used a drawing for many, many years now. Yeah, that one the, that goes left, right, middle. Yeah, with the three different models, correct. It just was so weird today. It just yeah, suddenly yeah. was you, uh, there. You and saw the Texas cube and all. And, and there's a vibe that goes along with it. When the Texas cube is visible, you can feel it. You can, I, I, I it's like I, it's like I know there's like 10,000 people walking around inside that cube. And when it I say was people, weird, it was at nine o'clock in the morning. And I thought, but, that's just. Weird. When I say people, I don't mean of our race. There are off-worlders inside that very large, very large cube squared ship that we have sighted for, well, God, the Texas Cube got here in 2015. You do the math. Were they collecting something here today? Nine years. Um, I, I really believe that they're more over here for a show of force. And also, now we, we have to, if we take the Pleiadian message, it is um it's an international visitation and when i say international i mean intergalactic, intergalactic within our galaxy uh this is uh this the transition of electrical behavior of these planets and all of this that's going on and the proximity and our solar system going through the uh the galactic plane and this magnetic power of the the uh, powerful center of the the magnetosphere of the galaxy not only uh, elevates us it also adds to them as well and so this is the, you know it's like they came over here to uh the bottom of of uh, oklahoma to watch the the eclipse it's like there we have a visitation of this great event that is happening in humankind and the opening of the sixth seal and they're all here for all of that including the gathering of the commodities and you know, it's this big huge celebration sort of thing where there's multiple it factions actually here. feels like a celebration if you think you know the, the, yeah, the, point, the you like you said, there's this incredible view. feeling just now and and you just feel it yeah it's like is, what i'm saying it's a cosmic event it's a cosmic marker this is a serious now unfortunately um the opening of the sixth steel needs a little bit of research and you will find it is not necessarily a good time 
Yeah, yeah and, and it does bring on the supposable return of Jesus, but that is after a time of, of hardship prior. And so we are then stepping is that into, a thousand years going to start, Sam? No, no, that, yeah. Well, the, if any time you read the thing and they say a thousand years to whom? To whom? We, we just went through a 2,000-year process where our upgrade has been generation after generation after generation to get where we are today. But to them, it was only a, a series of decades, in their opinion. In the elder races that live thousands and thousands of years, it's a short period of time to them. But it took generations for us to get where we are today to step across this sixth seal or this stage into the sixth age according to the mayan calendar so you have to you have to factionally look at their point of view rather than ours and yes. it's like it, it really a, feels different it really does feel like yeah there's something like really drastic the up, I feel. something uh you know I'm, I'm reminded of you know the fifth dimension this is the dawning of the you know <laughs> age of aquaria you know and we we had that vibe in the 70s we uh we, we we were starting that in the 70s with the hippie movement and it was it was it was a mandatory step forward to opening the access of the liberal heart of who we are to become and now those people the flower children are elderly and wise and hopefully are leading and teaching mm. my generation say hi to david my david's here y'all from the who? Hello. Hello. So you were talking yeah. about reincarnation and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, there's so much going on you wouldn't believe. It's so cool. I think that I mean, video you is said ready. in one of your posts, um, elation. Yep. Oh, hey, we got the backup channel. Oh, there's cosmic okay. elation going on right now. I there is the so word. much electricity in the air that I can feel mm -hmm. it in my hands and my feet. Yeah, because somebody asked me to ask you. What did you mean by that post? And I didn't remember until now. And then I thought, oh yeah, I better ask okay. him. Well, that. okay. If you if you if you know about the galaxies and if you know about life forms and entities and you feel them outside of your realm and you feel more, I feel I feel the planet, I feel the people, I feel my friends, I feel I feel you guys. I know stuff about you guys that you don't want me to know, and. Um, <laughs> the level of elation that I'm, 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 I'm like I'm on a surfboard on the perfect wave, and it's just like, wow, look at this shit! It's just amazing, and and it's it's all it's, it, it is stressful, but it, it there's it's more elation at watching all of this unfold and knowing what I know, and and it's and source is constantly talking to me and handing me these little tidbits, these these epiphanies. And you, you just get to the point where you're going, I'm either going insane or this is really cool, you know. And that's yeah. where I, I will type. Rather than try to, you know, sound like an idiot or a duck quacking, I, I will just post the one <laughs> word, elation. I, I am in elation nice. at this stage watching all of this happen. So there you go. The people that, that asked me to ask you, they <laughs> So let's think on that then, all of us. Uh, like really that's really our homework, really. I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's oh, yeah, better uh, than everyone's going. Oh my God, it's the uh, okay. eclipse, not apocalypse. The, the secret to what's going on right now is all you guys got to do is just grab hold and go. <laughs> this is the coolest shit that ever happened, and then you run yeah. with it. And no matter what anybody tells you, don't listen. Grab your piece uh, of it. It's yours. What you understand, the magic that you have gained from this journey is yours learn keep um, it enjoy it hi david and uh, sam irene has a challenge for you can you tell oh. her and us what she made for dinner today oh my oh. god I, I, it's a pasta uh irene uh, is that correct a pasta with something added to it uh, so are we talking red sauce or white sauce alfredo <laughs> no I, I can't smell it but my my first i'm going to run off my first inclination was i saw i i saw pasta, like a, okay. a pasta with peas and some other things added to it maybe a bow tie. sauce 
uh, it might be a you one toss. Pasta? I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, the shape of the pasta, you know, the shape of the pasta. Uh, I would have to be spending <laughs> a few more minutes with with looking. Okay, in the so floor it's or pasta. Let's see. Let's see. She hasn't commented back, but uh, I do it's see cool. um, all, like a all kinds of folks out there saying all kinds of things. And, yeah, and, and I don't David test Greg well. Says, I don't. I really don't. It says it's his me either. It's his actually. Uh, Andy, Andy Andy Pulper, um, it's for his example. generation too. What was that saying? And, Andy Pull asked me that same question. I was totally dead wrong. So I, you know. Oh, every, every well, once I in a while, I goof up. Uh, yeah, I, my first thought was pasta feeling... with some sort of a casserole or something. Nice. Well, I'm just waiting for her to get back to it. Uh -huh. No worries, yeah. no worries. Um, and I, I'm cokeless anyway, nice. so I'm going to go get another Coke. I'll be right back. Don't leave us hanging, okay, Irene. Yeah. The answer right. lies in the next episode. <laughs> right. Okay. Says, and I... It's like white rice and ground breaking. I'm not sure what that part is about. Maybe it's like ground a beef. type. Ground beef. Yeah. Ground, beef. ground beef. Yeah. Yeah. Were there peas in there, Irene? Yeah. He was talking about maybe some peas. Were there peas in? I mean, and he did see that he was going to go with a white sauce. So, I mean, he's got That's carbs right. and white and, you know, so. Hey, Andrea Adams. Yeah, the first thing I saw was like a, a, a bow tie kind of like pasta. I don't know why. I was throwing bow tie out for you, but it was rice. It was rice and either Beef or hmm. <laughs> not sure. Well, you know, uh, yeah, I, I didn't smell it. I really didn't. And that's usually Yeah, how it and it was on the fly. And that's usually and, that's usually and how it works is like uh what happened with Yvonne like a week ago. I was talking to him for a period of a few minutes. And then out of the blue I got this intensely strong, very overboiled coffee smell. <laughs> and I knew it wasn't my house because I hadn't made coffee. And it was not possible within my home. And I asked him, I said, I mean, why am I smelling that? And for a brief second there, I was actually standing in his living room, including light change in my in my awareness. And so it's not an app for fried sweet potato, no peas, but black olives, raisins. Wow. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. Well, because you weren't supposed to be guessing anyways. It was yeah, clairvoyant. Okay. And you're now, if I would have sat there and talked to her for a few minutes, maybe I would have smelled sweet potatoes because I absolutely I'm detest sure. sweet potatoes. I apologize. I don't eat them. That is the one food that. I absolutely eat. I have that video. Do you that. want to watch the Pleiadian yes. in a minute? Yeah, All yeah. Right. Let's, 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 let's go back to the... The topic of the of the show today is like <laughs> what people have for lunch. World. Okay. Hey, we are here. Citizen Science Project <laughs> is here to change how people look at this because it's been 14 years, dang it. Yeah. Not next year, this year. 14 years this year? Yep. In three days. Three days. I love this. There are multitudes of cultures and societies that exist throughout the vastness of space. And these societies and cultures have been on and off this planet from the very beginning. It is not just that we, the Pleiadians, have come to assist. We are only one grouping from one star system. There are many Important. who have journeyed here for many reasons. Mm -hmm. The majority of the extraterrestrials are here for your upliftment, though there are also those who are here for other reasons. Commodities. We give our version of things only to bring you into higher consciousness. We do not wish to say that this version and only this version is how it is. This whole teaching is designed with a great purpose in mind. And the stories that we tell you are set up to take you to a higher plane of consciousness. That is our intention. And mine. You are magnificent beings, members of the family of light, and you come to Earth at this time on assignment to create a shift, to make a change, to assist in the transition. You were told before you came here that there would be much assistance and that at different junctures of your development, 
different entities would present themselves upon the planet in different capacities to trigger you, fire you Which up, happened and to me. you, not to do it for you. We are one of those triggers, a catalyst. When you hear the name Pleiadians, you feel a connection because we are assisting you in bringing your own information, your own knowing forward. You yourself chose to be here. You are on assignment to bring memory forward and to bring the value of human existence back to the forefront of creation. You are in needed. each of us. You have been in training for this assignment for lifetimes, and you did not come unprepared. All that you already need to know inside you is inside of you, and it is your task to remember your training. This is not a lifetime when you are going to be taught new information. As we said before, this is the lifetime when you are going to remember what you already know, and we are just and here that to remind is you of the it. Key. That is part of our it is journey. time to remember what you already know that is inside you. Wiccan believe is called the tap on the shoulder. And this is the opening. This is the time. That you reach into what you already know, which is already inside you. You're already prepared for this. And I have, I, Jillian, how many years have I been telling people this? I know since when I first started in 2017. At least 14 years and three days. We, uh, we all, and, and I, I, I've had all of this inside me since I was a child and I've known it and I've traveled along with the asteroids and I've seen them in my dreams and I draw them for you guys. And I have tried to be as plainly evident and generically me, Facebook user Samuel Hoffman. And yet at the same time, I've also tried to warn people or inform that I am not average Joe Facebook. And I'm not trying to brag about that, but I was sought out by more than one faction, including the U.S. government. And I was told, absolutely, I could not tell you folks. So when, when my time was over, I stepped up and I put my nerds on the, chalk, the chopping block. And I, I went against post-traumatic stress disorder, where, like I've talked about, where I would actually throw a towel over my shoulders. I would sweat so profusely just trying to talk about this because of the threats that I were given that I spent 30 years not even dare uttering to anyone ever because the, the ramifications were so strong and I know the ability of the U.S. Whoops. Uh, I know of the ability of the factions that are not in my favor. Observing. Can come, they, they can do. They, they, they have the ability to do these threats. Right. And once you realize that, you just absolutely shut the hell up, period. And you realize there's no way you can do anything about it. You can't buck the system. You can't fight the system. So I went to the end of my term. And after my non-disclosure agreement ended, I said, damn it, I'm going to say something. Because I knew all the way in back in 1980 that everyone had the right to know this information. And I don't doubt my opinion. Because I'm a member of the human race. I live here, too. And I... You know, I never believed at the beginning of this that what I had discovered was so unbelievably undiscoverable. I didn't realize that everybody didn't know what I knew. And and right. when they when the government gave me my IQ rating and my my psyche val uh, and came back to me and handed me, you know, here's this about you and you, yeah, 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 and you're this. And then they immediately spun that on me and said, well, we don't believe you and you arrogant little bastard. And they, they got mad at me over it, which happens because some people get mad at me uh, because of who I am and what and how I carry myself. And it's not being arrogant. What it is, it's just me knowing. And I know things. I know things about people. I can look into people and I can look into their inner child. And that's admitting far too much. But I know what scares you just by looking at you. Hmm. You included Nicole. I saw the eye jump. Hmm. <laughs> That's, well, it's well. Yeah, I know who you are, and and I know who Rebecca is, and I know who Jillian is, and I know who people I talk to are. And I'm not trying to brag on that, 
it, to me, it's it's because I'm just I'm human that. and I love and I see them. I see you, Namaste. I see your light. I see those things that caused your light. I see some of your hesitations. I see your your words, your demeanor, your stature, your stance, your your shoulders. I see your shoelaces, Sherlock Holmes. I see the shoes you wear, the clothes you wear. I see the color. I see whether or not you have a cat, because the you know on your lapel there's a little tiny white hair and, and whatever. And I, I I go through all of that. That's me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, dust, 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 dust. Including the the wonderful purple flannel that you're wearing today, Nicole. Very very nice, white, timely choice. Uh, purple is an excellent color. Excellent. Anyway, the point with it is, is um, you know, and I'm not trying to brag about this, but I am trying to hand out or purvey uh, uh, that there is a very serious, timely message, and I am a messenger. That that is my job, and if you don't listen to me right now, you're very foolish. And hopefully, hopefully, my last 14 years and getting connecting with Rebecca and Jillian and Nicole and everyone out there and Irene and you name it, everybody in, in Elemental and everybody that's watching us today. And I'm, I'm on full screen, so I can't see the comments. But anyway, um, I'll come back. Um, my, my, my entire message is, is that I hope you people listen to me, please, because I do this because of my concern. Um, uh, Robert S. Harrington. Okay, there we go. Uh, Audrey, thank you. Um, yeah, Harrington used my paper. But anyway, um, I, 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 I'm desperately trying to get you guys to listen to me. And I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm special. Listen to me. Oh, I'm special. Listening to, listen to me. What I'm trying to say is, oh, my God, please listen, because I care so much that I believe and I know that you guys need this information. And we have to step forward. We can't, we can't get wiped out by what's coming. And I know what's coming. So is, I'm pleading with you to listen. I'm not telling you to listen. Listen, I'm asking you to. I'm begging you to. Please listen to me. I'm only doing this because, I, you know, I don't even count anymore personally. I mean, I've already, you know, tomorrow if I die, I've done my job. And, you know, my kids will be fine. Everything's going to be okay no matter what. No matter what, we'll all take our place in history. But if you don't listen to me now... It, you may not get some of the steps that you desperately are here for. There are other people besides me. I'm not the only one. There are many like me. And they too were visited by off-worlders who have been raised up. And that was part of the Pleiadian message that, that it, it's in you now. You already have that which everything you need. But you, you volunteered to be here for this. You're all here at the right time. Right. Now we just mm -hmm. step forward and we do not absolutely do not let anyone come in between what we've gathered our gathering our collective mm -hmm. our family our group don't listen to the naysayers don't let the pardon the expression assholes get you just don't because what you know inside of you and i'm not saying me i'm saying you what you know inside of you is the greatest gift of all time and we waited for this for our entire lifetime and we are here now and it's unfolding on in front of us right now right. i mean no matter what video channel you pop onto or what you play if it's um, metaphysical in any way usually they start off with this is uh you know the this time, this is the time. It's in, unlike any other time. It's you're here now for a reason. And source has you know. provided your placement. Source leads right. all of, and this is why I, I send a lot of music to a lot of people all the time. And the mm -hmm. really crazy thing about it is, I'll be talking to people, and then source hands me this next song, and it fits perfectly over and over and over and over again and i can't argue with it any longer and it's literally like it, i you know spent the last 20 minutes searching for one song that fit and it's not the way it is it just keeps providing for me and this this is right. sort of like you know come on and take a free ride because it just plays it's like somebody else is like there's a dj in the sky handing me this information and it's just freaking cool and this is how I do my drawings as well. I'll sit down at the table and I'll clear my mind and I'll go, what do I know? And I do the drawings 
and everybody over the last decade knows how that has come out right. it's it's so accurate that we can't argue with it not even me i don't even know how i do it and yet i do it and that's source source right. a larger rebecca you're muted darn it please Hate your turn to talk. Ooh, Rebecca, speak. Sorry, 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 Please. sorry. No, I mean, I, but that just got to be the best part, you know, whenever you see like one of the comparisons that I make and then you see how accurate it is, you know, it's just got to be a rewarding. Oh, yeah, know, that is elation. I mean, I'm going, oh, my God, how the hell did I do that? And look, here I am. I'm right again. And, and, and that has that's part of that predominant sway tidal flow that just washes me off my feet. And I have no cho choice but to get, you know, washed up on shore in the sand and the and the and the logs and the, you know, the driftwood, and go, oh, wow, it's right, you know. I mean, and I I've had no choice in this because this is all part of the thing, the 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 you know the the people of light and my choice and and how I, okay, now, and this crossed my mind, but not today, but the last time I watched that video, was like I I got met by a pleiadian who is from the future and they, they they talk about that in that video please watch all of that video um and i was upgraded and now it's my turn to upgrade you guys and that's why and some of you may have noticed that in connection with sam the more you have contact with me the more your life has changed and i'm not trying to brag i am trying to point out information that we know is happening and state of fact yeah oh, well, you know, thank you only you can call it a fact i i would be bragging if i did well it's a fact i spoke with sam and um <clears throat> we had no real prior con conversation or anything it was just over messenger and uh, i mentioned that someone i had worked with in the past i didn't find to be highly ethical and um he responded that she was still learning <clears throat> this was a metaphysical teacher and um he also then sent me the link to a youtube video which is a music video which is the exact same song that this metaphysical practitioner had sent to me before we worked together one of the first times we worked together and it, it was the exact same song and i don't even know if sam was familiar with that song I and he actually I commented know. oh where is that I didn't even that's I didn't even yeah so um but yes um I don't feel that yeah, Sam is bragging yeah it, it, it's almost it's like the Truman Show it's like I've got a it above. it's like somebody hands me the information right. to share with you and I'm I am I'm connected but I'm also disconnected and the source kind of works mm -hmm. through me mm -hmm. and if you go back to the the video and and please do watch the entire video not just what we showed you right. Uh, it's sort of it, it's it's like I don't a I don't have to work at it. It's just automatic, and it just yeah. comes. And this is what I share. This is what I see. And you know, and and I try to be honest as possible about it. And I I don't know everything, but I do know many things ahead of time. And I know things that are coming way ahead of time, um, many years ahead of Earth history now uh and so i'm and i have to limit that information there are rules i can't share too much and you can see that we do have a sort of a uh oh god how would you we have a, a governing force above us that we don't right. have control over when i give out too much information they let us know and we don't know who that I is but we know that it is they they mess with the sound they make sam sound like a robot none of us can hear or it's all choppy and and whoever um yeah but the factions of, yes the, if it's something sensitive or no. uh, top secret uh they will then make it so that um, yeah all of a sudden you know it's like it's like somebody standing there watching with their finger on the button going what's he going to say next like you know, the buzzer <laughs> Like the FCC when someone cusses on live TV. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, we have examples that there are uh, external forces at play here. So uh, Absolutely. 
in many ways, many different ways, good and bad. And so um, I'm hoping that people do actually um, uh, respect my opinion. Uh, and, and the fact that we're on our 50th, 50th, 50 50th show. Oh, my God. And that comes after unfounded, unfounded copyright claims. But they were unfounded. Um, yeah, right, true. right. Yeah, that in, worked in our in favor the after all. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we had, so, we had negative. Uh, we had some dark T-shirts from the video uh, coming after us, whether earthbound faction or exterior uh, extraterrestrial mm -hmm. faction, we don't know. But we've had some intervention that was messing with us. Uh, the moment that we started doing this, and, and I had to coach uh, uh, Rebecca and say, well, we're not going to let the assholes get us down and we have to continue our days in the future in that same manner keeping that in mind as well because there's more coming not more assholes oh, sorry. yeah we we're gonna have to deal with some more assholes jillian i'm sorry but we will well it's like really? the song i shared last week or um on the last podcast i had gotten that message about the lightning striking again that song and you know so yeah, and, and we talked, uh, you know, remember with Jesus, and he, he's going through uncomfortable, right? emotional, yeah. uh, uh, what they would call hopelessness. And those are there, so those forces are speak. working against us. And they don't, they don't want the information. They don't want the transition. They want everybody mm -hmm. to remain right. non elevated in their heart, in the lowercase harmonic, disconnected from the, from the overall cause of what's really going on in the universe. And all these other races want us to elevate up to right. the the new the new standard that they live currently. Uh, so there are factions on both sides that we are um, apparently getting notice of, and we're good on one hand, bad on the other. Um, and we I've known about this you know most of my life that there are factions out to get me and stop me from what I want to do, and I'm not going to do that because. Uh, Indigo's never <laughs> sell out. We can't. It's not possible. We no. cannot sell out. We won't sell out. It's just, it's not probable. So right. you can go have another donut, jelly, get another jelly donut and some more Starbucks and enjoy right. the show. Because ultimate protection, divinely protected, source protected. Um, Correct. And you know, if you've Thank had you multiple run ins, you know, if there's some kind of proverbial target on you um and god and is I, on our side yeah and uh, it's why i drive a big old giant f-150 with big tires because the last vehicle that ran into me bounced off <laughs> so hey, you literally have to pay the gas bill, so i guess that's off. okay i mean you yeah have to pay it's not i'm not commuting two hours one way every single day oh, yeah. anymore so i've i've earned that gas hog darn it yeah, I was commuting 45 miles uh, to work and 45 miles back every day, and I was driving a Fiat at the time and had a four-cylinder. It got great gas mileage, but yeah, I can see it. I mean, it's, yeah, but um, not very protective, and um, yeah, so that's that's why. But uh, you know, what, what's really cool is that you know everybody here is on the greatest freaking adventure of all time, and they're all special in their own right. If you take the time to listen to us. And everybody who is a co-host here are a whole bunch of wonderful, well-earned celebrities. And I hope you all respect them because each of these people have earned their place and in ways that I could never honor them well enough to say thank you. Uh, and so let's just keep going, you guys. Let's just keep doing the do. And we're going to keep working no matter what happens. And, and if we screw up, we apologize. If we, if yes. we don't. Welcome to the ride, you know, because it's all for you that we do this. And thank you for correcting yourself, Sam, because that that points out, um, you know, that uh, I mean, I make mistakes all the time. We're human. We can make mistakes. We have to have grace for that. But if you're not getting a, a retraction or a correction statement um, uh, and chances are we all make mistakes, then that that should maybe make you question something because we but sam's come on said hey i was wrong i made a mistake um let's let's rehash this get the right information out there yeah, so, we, we, we all have so to go to you. the pythagoras school of of uh of yes. humility and sure. go, eat that slice of humble pie 
Yep. I have a question. I have a question. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. 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 No, it's just that this week seemed really, really <sighs> frantic and busy, but really electric as well. And I don't know Is if other people. Yeah, find it, you find it very exhausting because it it, it yeah. feels like hot and and your whole body is like ill. Okay. Just like. What if something really dire is about to happen? Well, do we want to put that out there? And what if? What if that? The is? problem is, Sam. I had a dream that made me. This is why I've been like trying to get oh, to Saturday oh. to talk to you yeah. about it. But now I don't even know if I want to. But well, um, we have to take it, into account it the was possibility. Dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. Uh, well, we have to take into account the possibility that something is about to happen. Now, I'm not we saying do. panic. And I'm not saying charge Don't up manage. your credit card. Or no, 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 no. Nothing to be panic about. It's just that it's just um, like, you know how we're I talking constantly the about them, them being up there. And you said, okay, that was the cube in the one picture. Um, we we can absorb the their ships and and other beings and and that there's a whole other life going on up there, out there, right. than what we've been taught about but other people don't like, see out there as as star mm -hmm. trek and star wars like mm -hmm. like we do we can just process right. it because we're like verging on ready to understand these things other people are not but what i'm saying is i had a dream that i usually get these dreams and then i see the thing in the sky and mm -hmm. it really freaks me out when I see it in the sky mm -hmm. after I've seen well, it should it, it should freak you out because everybody has to take a step you, you you can't and we were talking about jesus how he was uncomfortable we have to clear the shelf of some of these negatives and the only way to do that is to actually experience them you can't yeah. you can't reimagine how many of turns, the problem like ties in with how they're saying oh and mankind's brain and everything's going to fail him and his mind and his spirit it's not that it's because it's affecting us electrically we will see things it's almost like our brains are computers that are processing yeah information that it's picking up that it doesn't understand it's picked up this information and that's no. one of the stages we all have to go through and that's also spoken of in that video as well you have to go through mm -hmm. the chakra tower development and each one of them can be enlightening but also uncomfortable we have to, we have to when i woke up the whole top of my head hurt it's been hurting yeah. for two days and yeah. I yeah. that dream we right. talked about Bingo. that in last Welcome. week. And, yeah. and the Pleiadian, okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna tell you a little tidbit I've never ever told anyone. No juicy bit. Alert, alert, juicy, uh, juicy. The, Pleiadian, man. <laughs> the Pleiadian did warn me that it was also with my, my transitional stages would be very painful. And they have been. I have I I'm not even gonna go into when we're standing across the, the fire. Uh the campfire over coffee after the shit hits the fan, after people end up blocking uh to montana uh if they do um in the days to come uh he told me that it would be very uncomfortable and very painful for the body changes and the and the mind and the emotional in many different ways and then i was immediately thought of the the movie uh excalibur where um morgana is talking to uh uh merlin inside merlin's magic cave and she says, teach me, you know, teach me the charm of making. And he says, even though it will burn you, she turned and looked at him and said, well, then burn me. And that was literally my response is, okay, I, I'm going to go through a hell of a lot of discomfort. But uh, I felt so strongly about what I was told and told by him that I had no choice but to go forward. Right. No matter what I had to go through to get there. And it's been entirely uncomfortable for me to come forward and talk to you guys. It's been a nightmare and it's also been a very unbelievable experience because I have so many wonderful friends around the world. And it's helped me, you know, with my children. Uh, it's helped me become a more uh, patient person. Uh, I have a whole new level of patience I never had. I no longer have the temper I used to have. I don't You've get mad. So much. I no longer so get much. mad about anything. And it's weird. I just sort of see the other side of it and go, well, it's because. He's reached the point. And I'm, I am, I am wiser. I am more comfortable. I am more at peace. And like I said, if I die tomorrow, I've done my job. 
and I, I I've achieved that place where I'm comfortable. So uh, that's it, Audrey's just saying about Marilyn. Um, that was one of the names I was toying with, but I didn't tell anybody. It's weird. I've been sitting here constantly thinking all week about Marilyn. I, I said Roger. <laughs> yeah. And that came that came from Monty Python, where they where the the, the Roman uh, Pontius Pilate or whatever he said wee wee swajo because he had this lisp in Monty Python, not in reality. As long as it's not Skippy. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Skippy. Yeah. Do you have some coconuts you can click together? You know, for the horses. Yeah, that's, that's you know? the Holy Grail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one too, though. <laughs> oh, I love the Holy Grail. Yeah. I, mean, I, I if you don't get like that humor. Where, where, where God opens up the clouds and talks to Arthur. Right. Oh, that's and funny. Eh? <laughs> I, I had a rather similar experience in my past where it actually did happen yeah. to witnesses. So um, I, I have yeah. achieved some very yeah. high levels of magic. And uh, I had some friends that watched it happen and they were uh, yeah. forever Freak changed. Out. Some for the better, some for the worse. So they right. uh, I can do some cool stuff, but anyway, I don't want to. I mean, the cool. things that you've mentioned about having the water coming out of your kneecaps. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was a freaky that's day. freaky stuff. Um, I mean, I've been told that I am not to mess with that kind of stuff. In that's this one of the five miracles Buddha. Yeah. And I'm, not and I'm working on number four. Nice. See, I told you he was at, he's reached the Buddha stage. <laughs> yep, I, I have found my enlightenment, and I have found my tranquility, and I have found my bliss, and my duality and equality. And, and the teachings of, of Buddha is to alle alleviate suffering, and you have to understand suffering, first of all. You have to understand why right. suffering occurs, and then you have to figure out how to get away from suffering. And that has a great deal to do with personal, worldly expectations, wants, and wishes. And once you go through all of that grinder phase of giving up, some of the things and and gaining other things then you achieve stages of uh chakra development and enlightenment right and i believe there was a you know a, a a stage stages i had to fight to get through but also the upgrade from being in the presence of a a, a higher race did affect me and uh right. i i have uh things i went through from that that are physical changes in the human body we won't go into that too much in detail but um, there have been notable occurrences in my life since the, uh, upgrade. And, um, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing for you guys and getting all of us together and doing what the, uh, we're doing twice a week to get the word out. Cause it, yes, it is that important. And yes, it is my job. And, thank and here you. we are, you know, ta, you know, mm -hmm. and thank right. all of you for a being here, you yeah, know, thank you and for listening. And, and and Rebecca acting on all of the Sam's ideas and bringing this channel out and I mean thank you and, sure and Jillian you've yeah. been a <clears throat> you know beginning a host from the start with Jesus and and our friend know, you know. our friend Jesus and our friend uh, Leandra and our friend Christopher and our other friends Daniel and and Robert in yeah. New Zealand and everybody I can think of and and Michelle and, you and, know, and Kate Racy and, and Andrea and Carol Ann and, and everybody I can possibly Carla think of and, and Lana and Davis in Arkansas, you name it. And Deb, you name it. Deb, 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 I'm sorry again. My condolences to my yes. uh, moderator on Skywatcher 2. We're terribly Our condolences. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it, um, this is all really, really important. And, you know, we're, we're dragging off 500 views per show. and um right. actually we're doing better than radio wasteland was doing at certain periods of time in their in their uh show history so i, I look at it as a good thing uh but i would like folks to share this with your friends at least one copy and then you know you're allowed to chalk us up as nutballs or or metaphysical uh wannabes or honey pots or you know overly ambitious folks with crazy dreams and unicorns and all of that but um no, we are really working on this hard, very hard for everyone to understand yes. that this is really happening. The planets are really here. Uh, right. We've been watching it forever. And feeling we want, it. Yeah, and, and feeling it and seeing it and knowing it. And, and 
unfortunately being uncomfortable by it all of us are mm -hmm. suffering from it yes and in our lives in our relationships in our bodies and you know even mm -hmm. our animals our, our environment are all reacting to it including climate change right so um yeah it's i wanted really to just important. add that these are these pictures are from andrea everybody just throw that out there andrea she's in yeah. new zealand well this yeah, is on the That's left nice. hand side of the sun because the light is coming from um, uh we've got a definite asteroid dead center uh it is most likely the tan asteroid because the size is correct and the wispies and the skull asteroid should be up there in the upper middle semi right there's something that looks like it because we know it's turned we know it's forward it could also be farther left i don't know but we are looking at the uh, asteroid onset off the side of yuri including the dead uh, asteroid dead center Real quick, Sam, um, um, I know we want to review the pictures as they're coming up, but I just want to address really quickly. We have a comment and a question from Facebook user, and we're definitely not ignoring those comments. And we're going yes, to get to the question. Gordon Marshall, he says he thought that we, he was being ignored because he asked yeah. about um, what's yeah, expected to happen on the 8th of April regarding the eclipse. And then so he Sam, said, why is he being ignored? Well, um, yeah. Gordon, go back to the beginning of this show. Um, and we talked about the, um, I did a, a geological report of what's gone on for the last week, earthquake-wise. Um, there have been 30 uh, aftershocks, 29 if you if you count the, the major quake, uh, or exclude the major quake, 30 if you include that. Uh, as of recent for the USGS, of course, I didn't look at the European model. They may have a different count. Uh, sometimes they do. Um uh, the New Madrid has had uh, six to ten smaller quakes. There's been a whole bunch of earthquakes in South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, etc. Uh, there, like I said, there's 61 up in Montana in the last week. So that's the whole fault line moving. The uh, uh, Atlantic Rift at the ocean, where it's spreading apart, where Africa and America and and Europe are going away from each other, because it's and they used to be a lot closer, by the way, a few million years ago. Africa used to be right next to the United States, if not attached. And in Pangaea they were, but anyway, that's millions of years ago. Um, so that movement is uh, causing the quakes to the United States eastern coast, including the New Madrid from the changes in the fault line, going all the way down to the Caribbean and Puerto Rico, as well as the uh, eastern face of North South America and the Yucatan Peninsula has also been reacting to it. So it is entirely possible that we are going to have a event through the Madrid or the East Coast of America or any other, many other fault lines during this coming eclipse. There is a level of credibility to the possibility on the 8th that where something serious is going to happen. It, it's not a high percentage, but it is in the realm of possibilities. Yeah, I just want to, um, sorry to interrupt you, Sam. Oh, no, I just no, want to, I see I was, here, and he's, Jesus is, is here, and I wanted to bring him on. So let's go ahead excellent, and excellent. add him to the crew here. Hey there, Jesus. Hello, guys. How y'all doing? Hey, how are you? Good to see hey, you. Nice how are you doing? Picks. Yeah, that's good. It's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm in a mood. I'm going to get a mood today. Hey, I had a long day. I had a long You hit the groove, man. You hit the groove. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I'm back, as they say, but it's been really interesting here, but nothing photogenic. It's been, we've been getting hit, like, with a lot of snow, and I saw it coming oh, wow. in this morning. Yeah, I was going to give you it, it a It came in, in the north. It came in from the north. Right. And then just went up above, and then just, just uh, widened out everything, and then it just stopped yeah. us. That's that it that front I was saying really, that was coming it's in. Really, it's really spotty. It stops, and then the sun comes out, and then there's all kinds of. I took a video. I'll post later of the something just blocking the sun, but it was really hard to uh, take a picture. Maybe I'll, I'll, I haven't looked through it, but I'll see what what came of it. But it was definitely something uh, blocking the sun. Of course, probably Saturn and its yellow moon 
cutting in big time. Um, and then it starts snowing again. And then it stops and it gets really warm and then it starts dumping again. Well, there's more on the way. There's yeah. more on the way. You're going to. Yeah, yeah there's a big that coming weirdness? down to Montana. It's like tonight. cold and then it gets warm yeah. like that. It was literally uh, yesterday, it was like in the 70s. And then, you no, know, and, right. and it's warm. It's not, it's not cold. It's not cold. This is dumping foam like snow. Like little yeah, beads. Because the, uh, it's an Arctic blast that is coming in directly from it, went over the top of us. And we had this well, big wind it's, thing. It's not today. cold at all. And yesterday it's not, and it's not it's cool. it's just, yeah well, well we'll have to uh, be looking out for that i have something i ran into guys that i want to uh that i want to show i think it's right Ooh. all right show and are tell. you sending me something yeah I'm, I'm gonna put it on i'm gonna put it on okay. here hopefully okay, it, cool. um, it lets me it's been telling me uh the format isn't the same, but let's see. Hey, it's the yeah. time for fun, fun stuff. Okay, there, there, there it is. It's two videos. It's a comparison, but there. Um, play this one. Do you see it on there, Rebecca? Let me see. Yes, I do. Got it. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Remember this, Sam? Woo! Uh, okay, sort of. Cool. Yeah. We talked about this um, a few shows back, right? Yeah. Um, so this is why I like using different cameras and different angles, right? So this was a this was a pretty nice camera that had like thirty times zoom or 10, 20 Dang, times zoom something thing. when I was in New Mexico. So I was able to zoom in right very well and see a lot of detail. But I ran into. Let me uh, bring this up here. I ran into the same thing because I remember that day I uh, I took as I usually do I took uh, I took pictures and video with two different cameras at the same time one time lapse and then another yeah you know in real time okay there's the other one there's the other one in wide angle and in time lapse the same thing you're seeing now it's a different video different awesome. camera so. Now you'll get a different view of what's happening. Oh, wow. this, is why I love, this, this is why I love different cameras. You see that? That's the same thing. That is the same thing as the other video, yeah. only it's different cameras. This is a wide angle, so you get a bigger view, a field of view. See the side and, it's and it's time lapsed and it's sped up, right? Uh, now the, t the side orb is starting to fade, and then the long yeah. box shadow is fading. We'll start that again and pause it, Rebecca. Yeah, right here, at the beginning. Yeah, that is so yeah. cool. That is so cool and so obvious. It's the long box cube. Yeah, I thought and so. And several starships parked in front of it. Yeah, 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 definitely for sure. But you see, you see how cool that is. This is why I love messing with cameras because you see a bigger view. You have to really widen the your view, guys. This is why. This is why I love this stuff. You know, you use two different cameras, you get two different, and you get a big picture of what's really happening. Yeah. That's the side that's orb is illuminating on the bottom of it. See that yeah. little white clip that is. Yeah, I, I agree. I orb. agree. Side orb. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back in a wee minute. Okay, Jim. I hate you. Yep. And then the trails are probably Sorry, uh, I'm a little excited here. Uh about no, I, 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 I heard, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Glad you could join yeah. us. Yeah. Go on, tell us yeah. all about it. <laughs> yeah yeah um did you see this did you see the first one we played take home yeah 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 mm -hmm. what do you what do you let's think let's go back to the first one let's go back to the first one too uh, i'm thinking i've got and, that and we know kind of thing what, what it is in form. front of so we, I know, mean, we know where very, the long box you know, it's very probable you, you can't say also i like using different cameras because people right. can't see that it's bull, that it's bullshit, right this is right. proof from different, two different cameras at the same time. There's like uh, five or six cameras up there. One There's is time lapse. Good. One is time lapse, and the other one is in real. This one is in real time. With uh, it was a pretty nice professional camera I had in New Mexico. Awesome. I, I just have to have room. enough space. I gotta. I gotta. 
good enough space. But I hear you in my mind when I'm taking pictures. I'm like, Jesus says, if I'm going to take a picture, I might as well take a video too. <laughs> and I'll do it. I just got to get some there. You can see the top it. of it. That's the long back of the long box right yes. there. Yes. Is that is that cool or what? You see that? That is so cool. <laughs> It looks yeah, like hockey really cool. stick at the other and end, if you though. if you look, you can actually see the shadow of the rest of it underneath. Yeah, and yeah. The there's, side there's, orb a big, is there. there's a big it's, part of it that isn't really that's 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 a shadow. There's a pretty it's a it's a lot bigger yeah. than you think if you really yeah. look at it. There's yeah, a big part, part of it. Of one of the faces, the top face is illuminated, <laughs> and the rest of it isn't. Yeah, yeah. And the, well, this is multiple ships parked in front of it. <clears throat> yeah, I I, I agree. Ion bleed off off the ships, and the ships are small. So uh, see that thing be... in the middle? It looks like um, I don't know, like a little oh, the, the hockey stick coming out from it. Yes, yes, that's exactly the that's the right word to describe it. Yes, <laughs> it almost right, looks like a, right uh, right a, a starfighter docking station. Yeah, I'm a big hockey fan. <laughs> that is super cool. That is super cool. Now play now again another one just real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Is back. that that loading dock thingy that we've seen? Yeah, where, that they, where they park? Where they park? Where they park the starfighters? Is that what that was? The hockey stick was? Is that what that was? Yeah, it yeah. looked like it very much, except yeah. it was spaced different than what, how we draw it. That's the only difference. Yeah, and you have to remember yeah. that you know, think three D, not two D. Right. Now we'll start this, start this one over. You see, that's the same thing, Nicole. You see, yep. in yes, a different yes. with a different camera with the wide and angle. The side orb. Is, is this slightly older? This is older. Yes, this is definitely older. Is that, I was is, saying this is, New this is New Mexico. Oh, okay, because I was going to say that uh, I wanted good. to show both because the last time that we saw we saw the one that was in real time. We didn't see this, and then I I was going through my videos. And then I remember that that day, as I usually do, I set up two cameras. I video one, and then I set up the other one to time lapse. And the, the wide angle is really the only way. Oh, I, I was amazed at how small the, the long box cube was. Now that it's Satham and it's Satham Shallow Moon are so much closer over the top of us, then now because that's where the long box cube parks generically, orbits alongside these planets. Yeah. And the ion tail, so it's sort of masked in its you know display of the uh, of the clouds that it puts off and it's kind of hidden in, in in plain sight and now it's right over the top of us and, and we got sightings all last week where it was actually way down way dropped in orbit in comparison but that could actually just be the 180 day cycle reorbit that we're now going through and recognizing it for now compared to last year's transition of where we were in the winter orbit until just recently. And now that's what the 180 day cycle is as we come into spring and we are in the summer orbit. And so we are directly even closer to the bottom of these planets more in the summer than we are in the winter. Uh, that is the Northern hemispheres, summer and winter. Hi Shelly. Yeah, no, I just want to say hi to Shelly. So good to see you Home. too. Good to see you. Hello, here. hello. Hello. I'm going to say hello, everybody. I kind of jumped in on there, but hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, no, you're fine. Oh. Hey, well, I'm um, glad you're here. All our uh, uh, regular involved anyway. Yeah. I'm glad so you made it. I was hoping when yeah. I sent you that link, if you, you know, have time. Yeah, to I, on, I got so. off. Of it's been crazy. The NCAA is here in town. So, um, yeah. It's been a busy weekend. So, really busy. March Madness. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I haven't even slept. I just got off of work. Yeah, yeah, I, I, said, I think, I, think I, I had some Starbucks before I got here. I He's in the giddy zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I've, done, I've done some research. Now he's wired. <laughs> you know what the most popular videos on YouTube are? Hmm. They get the um, most for average views. What is that? Any guesses? Doomsday Any guesses? Videos? Doomsday videos? <laughs> <clears throat> Eclipse. Um, I, I hear those uh, those those ones that people use like to sleep, like yeah, noises yeah, in the background. I, I use those. The number I one. Hear video, those are, I hear those gets hundreds of millions of views on those things. Averagely, the number one I video is I use, video. I use them sometimes. Too. Gets me out of my head and gets me to sleep. Yeah. What video? 
fart videos, recordings of people <laughs> taking their own farts. Toilet Green. humor. Toilet <laughs> humor <laughs> is <Yeah>. number one, <laughs> number one viewed per per average. If you bunch them all together in that in that genre, wow. they get more mm -hmm. per, more views. And then and then there's the don't forget the pocky chip one chip challenge and people you uh, know doing dire things to their hubbies and and let's uh, not talk it, about the two uh, and you know the fart spray <laughs> and the liquid ass and oh my god all of those videos those what? are okay the, the the fart spray kind of kind of get kind of makes me laugh i i i have I watched those I could not even say that word. There were two F words in my household when we were growing up. It was the F word, F word, and that. And you couldn't say it. You couldn't say it. So that was not allowed. That was not the kind of humor we were allowed to, you know, no. Some people are uncomfortable. Very yeah. uncomfortable. I, uh, uh, one of my favorite videos is titled, entitled Rocket Man's Fart Scene. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm not necessarily fond of them. Yeah, but, uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily fond of them, but whose video is this? This is it's mine. Really? Um, yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. Oh, wow. uh -huh. well, this okay. yeah. looks, a lot, like, this oh, looks a lot like what was going on today, but yes. I couldn't really yes. see yes. it. It was just By any chance, do you see any planets there, Rebecca? Planet is here today. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at that thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was like here yesterday, but today it's overcast. All see, this is what I mean is yeah. that now people yeah. down at the in the lower uh, in the lower elevations are getting a better view. It's been too close here, like way too much, where it just wipes out everything. You know. Right. Well, that's right. what it is here today. Is nothing but white clouds out there. Does yeah. everyone yeah. else see that yeah. purple triangle? That is crazy. That, of course, is the Saturn's yellow moon currently with whatever yeah. else is below it. And I believe long box cube and a lot of other shit. Yes. yes. Lots of stuff there. No, there was yeah. a lot going on. Asked, just, right? There's a lot going on in the skies. There's yes. nothing I could really record. That is wow. the uh, face plate. See Jesus. the line? That is the face plate of the Saturn's yellow moon. Jesus. Um, that's Jesus. below it. Wow. Is probably the ion tail. Going around mm -hmm. both of them. Wow. And blue though. behind it is Nibiru. Yeah, that's I'm Nibiru. Totally jealous. Yeah. I haven't seen much for a couple of weeks. It's been kind of boring out here. Really? Um, Man, it's been too much cloud cover. Here. Look at that. Oh my God. Wow. Yuri. That? That's Jesus. the side of Yuri, and Anatu is above your head. And Nepesity is also above us to the uh, right above us, and, and Atu is to the left above us. Jesus, wow. And the edge of hmm. Nibiru is cutting into the light, yep. and then Teru should be to the left. There's two bowls there. Like, like, what's that? There's two bowls at the right there. Whoa. Well, we have asteroids galore nice. that are very close. Oh, yes. Very, very. That is so cool. Yeah, it's brand new. Oh. What a day! It looks, what a day. It looks even, you know, it looks better on when I watch it here. You know, I'm like, yeah, it did look really good. But yesterday, I was like, ah, there's not too much to see, you know. But now that I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, there was a lot. It really yeah. kind of looks like it's the blue yeah. and green asteroid in front of the sun That's too, cool. or one of them. It's all there, and we yeah. see it week after week after week after week after week after year after year. <laughs> and, I, you know, it is the coolest oh, three, damn three, show. Three. It's the coolest damn show that ever was, and I could stare at this forever. Absolutely. Three, 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 three. Live, it says three, three, yeah. three. New Hello, Tara. Hi, Tara. Good to Did see you. Did we ever find out if it was Tara or Tara? No. No. Mm -hmm. I need to like. Yes, yes, I saw that. Um, In the last comment, it was like Sarah. Tara like Sarah, I believe. Tara, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tara, correct Good. me. Tara Forma, Earth. So era. we were right. Yes, like Tara Forma, T E R R. -A. Okay. Yes. Good. Thank you for helping because. I hate yeah, to say people's names wrong, you know. Fun. I hate that. Me too. I hear that. Uh, oh, I remember when we asked that last that. time and we never. Yeah, we never. Of course, I grew up with I, strange last names. And so I, my whole life, I've had. You know, people butcher my 
name of some sort right. or another. So yep, not, not anymore. It. It's That's easy it. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. one comment I saw. Um, uh, cause sometimes I know that it's hard to believe, but sometimes the conversation just gets so, so wrapped up. It's easy to miss the sidebar of all of the comments. And if I zoom right. in to see something, yeah. um, then I don't see the comments. So, I am so sorry we right. don't and if, any please of your do not comments, feel neglected if we do not see all. your comments right away it's not intentional well, yeah that's what you guys were talking about right before i got on um, right but i did you. see that last week she said uh tara likes sarah and she's confirmed for us yeah that's correct so that's how we say that so i have some pictures also i wanted <clears throat> to share from margaret margaret sent me some pictures awesome. nice. so and uh, where is where is Mark? Where is and that's what I was here? just thinking to myself. I don't know if I can find out, it'll take me a moment. Looks like the houses the look like they're in the northeast. <clears throat> See the yeah. color, the color on the right side that really looked like this morning. That's kind of what it looked like. Uh, the color at the bottom, or? yeah, yeah, the one on the right, yeah, the kind of like the glow, the, that the like little, that blue, aqua bluish, blue. you know, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right above yeah, the, the lights, lights, yeah. Our weather That's is how the sunrise was. It was kind of, it was kind of, it was lit up just like this, you know, um, just like a light, light green, light blue green. It was pretty, it was pretty cool. Just not much you could really take a picture of. But. The calm before the storm. <laughs> oh, look at yeah. that. Look at I, that I shadow. Dire, but we are in, we are in trouble. Not the weather sure. is just it's freaky. Just... Yeah, it was it was degrees earthquake in New York, uh, earthquake yep. in uh, uh, New Jersey. Oh, hey, uh, Jesus, there's been 30. 30? Jesus. 30, Jesus. Yeah, there's 29 aftershocks wow. so far, according to USGS, about whatever, uh, 3 o'clock when we or 2 o'clock when I looked it up. Are so those asteroids or is that debris right there yes. to the uh, right? That, of okay, these we're, we're still, we got to find out where the sun's coming from. Uh, like this is normal it's weather, but an illumination that's not normal. Yeah, it looks like it's over to the left and maybe up. Yeah, so this could entirely be very easily be uh, now time of day. It's very gray out, so I would say, okay, now we're looking up. at the ocean, uh, we're not seeing east, so the sun is, where is the sunset? If it's sunset, the sun would be shining over our left shoulder at west. Right. Uh, no, so the, entirely could possibly easily be illuminated as Atom's yellow moon. Mm -hmm. I mean, would that I, be I, the... That's kind of what I was, yeah. The drag off uh, tail and everything is that what those those you know, little uh, the, the normal clouds you uh, there are also normal clouds in this because we are at sea level so that that affects your your overhead cloud source yeah but right. i mean that that curve and then the yellow to the left i mean that's usually septum yeah. and the moon right that's yeah, what yeah. It looks right. yeah size is about right you know, the big shadow yeah. septum and then the dingy yellow because uh, it has gone so over the top of us, and I have noticed that the Saturn is actually going beyond Earth now, above us, in the latter okay. part of the day, which I didn't, I didn't, I've talked about yet because I haven't figured out how I'm going to draw that. Um, it, it, a lot has changed. We're gonna, I'm even gonna have to redraw how we see is Saturn, is Saturn's yellow moon, and then Nibiru is going to be more exposed on the right hand side in this month's drawing and then we'll have more room for uh at nana animal saru which is what i saw the other day it, it's weird we're we're we're, we're in a kind of a limbo in between the whole group of planets now where uh, where i literally need to do uh a orbital model looking at it from above and then place earth in it as well and i need to think about doing that yeah, yeah. Outview, is behind uh, you in picture. yeah outview doesn't do it justice an overview looking down upon it might actually give people more information of where we've come from and where we're going to and that's all of course plotted in my head because i've been watching it for all these years and so i know of our, our orbit rotation versus 
their orbit rotation. It's not been a perfect call, but I, I pretty much have how it occurred and where it's gone to in my head. So I, I should do a drawing of that. Yeah, I can't wait to see that because I have no idea what's going on right now. Everything's well, I've always so drawn them from out view. And um, because, you know, I have to I have to picture it in my own mind so I can draw it. And I never pondered it. I've been talking about, you know, how the the orbitation of the of the planetary Nibiru group has two arms, like two arms of a spinning octopus. And Nibiru and Isatum are on one side and Saru, Yuri, Atu, Nepesity are on another. And yet these arms curve and sort of as the whole system rotates in front of us, this curving orbit model that has been occurring since last year, the year before, where we were on the left hand side of Atu and Yuri. And now we are swinging over to the right hand side of Atu and Yuri as these planets go over the top of us. And Nepesity is now more over in the forefront and going over the top of us as well. And yet on the other arm, of Nibiru and Isatum coming in from the right hand side as we have moved from the left side of Atu and Yuri. Now we are closer to Nibiru and Isatum than we were before, and they are going over our right shoulder come mid afternoon, setting sun, nighttime, and then back again the next day, which is weird in my brain, but that's kind of what's going on. And in order to draw that, the only way I could draw it is from above, show you the transition of how Earth has moved from one side to the middle. We are in the middle and underneath of them now. And okay. that has all changed. Really uh, the, freaking cool. These, the series of photos that we're looking at were taken on the 4th of April from 7.11 p.m. to 7.19 p.m. at a uh, location of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Right. right at the shore we were looking east and then the, the setting west behind yeah. us yeah. Right. yep so, so yes you said the sun is behind or he right. i'm not sure mm -hmm. his um are. right Mar Marcus? which which Can which is kind of goes with go what back. she's this was the one well, and if we're looking at if we're looking at virginia beach we're looking at the ocean here that means we're staring mostly east because the ocean is on the east shore yeah. so and we so also see illumination it. coming from on the left hand side so the sun has to be behind us in order to do that and then not yeah. light up the grass so the grass right. is dark which means it's sunset evening and then we are looking east early on the ocean and at that time at sunset is satam's yellow moon is beyond earth now and above us so this is entirely possible that this yellow illumination and you can see the round mm. straight edge in the middle of that big ball of orange there there's a very straight rounded edge there like oh, yeah. pointed out mm -hmm. and then with that mm -hmm. side and the, the the summation of the rest of that circle in your head it's large enough mm -hmm. to be a satam's yellow moon yeah right yeah and that pattern uh, that pattern i mean it's not like we haven't seen it before we see that pattern all the time right and audrey is commenting in the chat that um we can always be putting that information on the picture when we edit our pictures before we send them into Rebecca. Um, uh, you, you could put like yeah. NE or Northeast and, and your put your name. initials on there and, and, and um, what time is, and the It date. is very helpful. It is very right. helpful. It does help. It does. It's very helpful. Yes. And, and I, often don't, I, I, don't do, I don't do it as often as I should, honestly, but yeah. it's, it's definitely an extra step. You know, I don't it think that goes over the picture. And it is very helpful. Yes, right. And for the but future, you get credit for your shot and your capture. Uh, that too. Yes. And I would say this is science. And what what is science? What we all know, science. When we do have it, there's never a fixed situation, right? Things always change. But we also work off of uh, all kinds of experiments and. And you can't do an experiment or study or learn anything if you do not have a control. And those controls really are, you know, no taking the pictures through glass. Like that should not ever be a consideration. Uh, we don't want you driving and taking pictures. That's not safe. Uh, but, you know, 
that is part of the science to actually document what time the photo is taken or the video, what direction, where you are. So where can we put this from the planet? What view are you seeing? Uh, as well as, uh, you know, and if you want credit for the picture, um, you'll never ever lose credit for the picture if you put that exactly. information. And if you um, need to, um, and I will, I, uh, we have discussed about making a little video that shows you how to find in your camera settings on your phone, if it's a tablet or a phone, cool. uh, how to do that, uh, to add a watermark. And there are apps that you can actually edit, uh, and, and add your own watermark, but you can also add just the text in, in most of your phones. You can edit the picture and edit the button that says add text and just type in your initials and like like Jillian mentioned try not if you're adding it post photo try not to cover up any of the important stuff in the sky um but yeah and and I will get those videos onto the sites uh this week for sure uh the sooner the better and that is that is very good I completely agree with all that it's uh, it's observation and uh comparison and you know it's good to have. And we do have guidelines where if, if we can't use the picture, we don't. And right. I mean, this is pretty professional, just even on a citizen basis. I mean, that's the way I well, came into this. So, uh, well, you know how many pictures that Rebecca and I and others have stared right. at over the years. Right. I mean, right. We've become right. we've become pro ams the hard it's way. Thousands. We, you know, yeah, it's not really hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands, and that's why I'm out of room because I've got ten thumb drives already. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Yeah, but, Laura, you know, I'm, so, I'm not. I'm not sure what. What do you mean to say it? And I'm not sure what you mean. Spanish, few moments of half world. It's I. Um, oh, not, maybe but, she is asking for you because you speak. Um, yeah, yeah, the, but I. Yeah, is she, are they? Are you asking me to speak Spanish what, or? This, this, yeah, I think. Asking you, yes. I think she just wants you to express, you know, in in brief in, terms, you know, we're experiencing what we're seeing, right, in Spanish, yeah. so that those you know, that are not English dominant first language would be we able do to have understand. Spanish speaking people, maybe we do. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're one of them, right? Um, so you yeah. could share. Maybe, maybe if she has a specific question, she can ask and post yeah, that. I, I, But in absolutely. the meantime. A cualquiera que si a cualquiera que no hable inglés eh, pregúntenme cosas y les podrá contestar lo que quieran. Es un sí. tema muy interesante wow. e eh, importante eso. Sí. Pero me pregunten lo que lo que puedan, lo que quieran. Well, I've considered uh, doing something for that Spanish speaking I thing. I think you should. Not, That would be yeah, a you really should. very smart move. Yeah. Really, I just I mean, got chills yeah. when he spoke. And it's Because a there is, there is, a, there is, a, there's definitely a Spanish speaking <laughs> audience with this stuff. I yes. love it. Yeah. Kara, Karen Williamson says, I'd love to learn Spanish. That's awesome. Starting yeah. a Spanish group, Tara. Now. Yeah, that's, that's Good actually idea. what I've, what I've considered doing. No, But here on the video, just yeah. you yeah, just speaking cool. now. Yeah. We can all learn Spanish. Yeah, just start, start doing it in Spanish. I could just go through all my old videos and just. Well, yeah. Just, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna consider doing that. I've commented that uh, Jesus. The only reason I, I I've never considered doing the yeah. doing one is because I work a lot and I'm a little busy. Uh, yes, it is. A, it is I a time commitment. commitment. Yeah. And I um, know that it takes you know uh, it takes time and you could do uh, some shorts. Yeah. 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 Sure. But I, but I, uh, what I'm going to start doing is making one of each next time. Yeah. It, really doesn't take that much, it doesn't take that much effort at all. You know? Sam, did you get chills when Jesus spoke? I did. Um, I got chills. So, and Spanish? I think that's validation yeah. that you should. Oh, do I, I want to learn more. I want, you know, I want him to, you know, like even just give us the Spanish word of the day. Every yeah, show, yeah, yeah, one related, new word, something related to the planets. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put one new word a week, you know, or two, or or, or, yeah. or, or, or an yeah, inflection exactly. or a statement. How to say a sentence? Right. Yes. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna add that to the shows. 
next next show Yay! I'm a little bit better now, but we're gonna have yeah, some get of an idea during the week, write it down on a piece of paper yeah. and, then, and yeah. then you know it's like when idea. I get my weather report, you give your Spanish report. Oh. You know, uh sky watching uh, runs pretty deep in my Mexican culture. I always yes. like to think that's the reason uh I love it so much because it, it was really uh you know we still use some of the some of the things that they they you know they were really big with astronomy you know the well, and, you know and also mythology and los muertos and all right. of that you know that's right. yeah i should uh i should embrace that side a little more we're gonna do it. yeah comments coming in you know, i know like there's that. a lot of agreement on that uh oh, look. Egg, yeah. egg got you know up. things mm -hmm. some shorts just you know doing some short clips and yeah. uh, yeah. could you imagine right now if you yes. told the mexican community um or the spanish community would be a better statement um about yeah. the, the 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 reaper sightings that we've seen in the skies in the last couple of months or, or the last 10 years even and oh my god that would you know that would make it go viral in a heartbeat yeah yeah there's a huge uh, there is a huge audience it's been something i have yeah. considered doing these last few weeks I mean, like, it's not nobody fair else. Nobody else is doing it. In Spanish, yeah. No, there is yeah, no, no, no. I'm gonna there start. I'll start working on that. I'll start working and, on that. And you know, I mean, because last night, you know, on the new website, we have your row created. You know, there's a row of. Well, let me show you real quick because you weren't here. Give me a second, and I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. On that row, you could, you know. Okay, I'm excited post. now. You know about yeah, all this. Oh, good, <laughs> good. Yeah. You could post some you of your um, Spanish, column, Spanish yeah. clips there, right? Absolutely. I mean, that opens it up for a whole new group of people for us. Absolutely. One second. Uh, that's why there. we need to, you know, we need a German uh, speaker and English English German speaker, and we need a we need a, a another person from another country that will come on and and join us and sister site and yeah. and. Uh, oh wow! I like this. I like this. I haven't been on it for a while. That's, I'm that's gonna awesome. clarify for Andrea that it's the Reaper, Grim Reaper sightings, not not Reefer. Hello, <laughs> well. Yeah, we. Um, no matter how you imbibe on this topic, this is not one of the topics we carry with Citizen Science. We we avoid uh, uh, common. We don't discuss alcohol. We don't. You know. We, we, you know. We try to do a few family. Uh, uh, Community, what do they call that on Facebook? Community related uh, guidelines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's yeah. your row. And oh boy, you wouldn't believe the words we shouldn't be using here, and there are a lot. Mm -hmm. nice. and we, we, you know, We're gonna get them filled up. Yeah, each row will be full. There's new movies. And even too. even once we do platform uh, elevate, we're still gonna need to have that same level of scientific reserve. And right. all, of, yes. all of our, yes. all of our yep. uh, co-hosts here are all, and I will, I will say this again and again and again. Uh, these guys have all earned their place here, and they're all top of their field uh, on Facebook. And uh, we've been uh, uh, joining forces together for well over a decade for most of us. And uh, this is not something we threw together and fell off the turnip truck yesterday over. So uh, please take this information as very collective, actual, real science from citizens mm -hmm. who are that not is. being uh, held back yeah. by uh, having to pay our children's college scholarship or our mortgage off of our 10-year job that the government warns us not to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came free from my non-disclosure agreement in 2010. And every one of these guys here that you see has earned their place here today. And, and I congratulate each of you for joining me. And thank you for listening, all of you and everyone else listening. Yes, right. yes. And that, you see my you see my smile, Rebecca. That I love I love that. See that yeah. us. That that feels like us. I remember last I don't know how many shows ago you said that you wanted to make the site a little bit more like you know us. That's, yeah, that's exactly right. Oh, yeah, I've been working that's on really it. Cool. Uh, Rocket Man um, gave me a few. Uh, he, well, we, we met a few days ago and he went over some things with me again. You know, I, I've taken, you know, the no, time yeah. to get to learn all this. But anyway, uh, I, I sit down that night and I was on there for hours going through each option on the movie website, you really? know, teaching myself wow. what does this, what 
does that. Anyway, so yeah, mm-hmm. we're going to get filled up. And yeah, you're right. It is looking more mm-hmm. like us. So yeah, and love it. I we love have it. Um, an artist. His name is Alex. And he's doing some custom work. I have not seen it yet. I don't know what's going no. on. So we have yeah, that yeah. going on, you know, so it's yeah. just going to get better awesome. and better. We're, yeah. Yeah. I, love it. I love the look of it. I love the look of it. Can you, can you hear uh, Irene's uh, uh, I can, comment yes, again? Yeah, sure, sure. it went so fast. Um, and that would be great. You can read saying. it to us. Irene, it's very important that La gente de habla hispana sepa lo que está pasando, claro que sí. Muy, muy, muy importante. Y muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Me, me encanta que te gusten mis fotos. Okay. She's saying, so, um, yeah. it's really important that the Spanish speaking side, you know. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I, I went to the little scientist room, room and I, I walked in there and I said, muy importante, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> yes, yes, that is very important. It's very important. Yes, it is. And also, she says, you know, I've also yeah. decided to come out and you know and push on that a little bit more. And this is why, uh, Jesus, did you watch the Pleiadian message video? Uh, I did. I did a couple of times actually. And how did it affect you, sir? Very. Uh, I like it. I uh, huge smile when I saw it. Did it and give honestly, you some of the answers? I, I didn't hear it at the time too. Did it? Did it give you some of the answers that we have uh, not talked about with the background history beyond I, what? I, I needed to hear that. I needed to hear that. I needed to hear that. It was. Uh, it was very inspiring to to hear that. Actually. And the and this is the reason why that that I have prompted everybody. I even talked to a lady at at Orange Street uh, Food Farm yesterday, where I buy my meat in Missoula. I go to that. So I drive all the way into Missoula to buy meat there because I know the butcher, and their meat prices are fantastic for the small. It's a hippie store too, by the way. It's cool. I've been shopping there for like fifty years. Anyway, um, I used to buy my candy bars there when I was a kid, uh, blocks away from my dad's house. Anyway, um, I, I was even telling them the the, the the importance of this video because it is this is the step. Oh, we've lost him, but. Um, this is the step forward that we are embarking on right now, right now. And um, my, I even wrote it down in my notes, kind of sort of like not even consciously wrote it down. And then I was reading my notes two days later and I nodded to myself going, yep, it is that important. And I briefly read over it at first and I had to ponder. It's like, is it time to tell everybody well yeah it is that important and that's when i immediately you know Sam, there's a lot happening like a lot of bad stuff happening right now and the 180 day cycle has just started and like if the it's shit just started so look, look everything that's happening it is very important to start getting this doing keep doing this you know well if you have seen that video it is so time it, it, it is time because things are getting pretty bad and crap goes before you, right before your face. You like shit hits yeah. the fan. You lost your roof on your house, whatever. Yeah. You know, or or, like or, or you get flooded, or you or or you know earthquakes galore, or whatever. Or if this does happen, and you have watched that video ahead of time, you will have the answer that if you pop your head up out of the gravel and the roof beams and the flying debris, or the water or whatever, and you're still alive and you're okay. That is your message right there that, guys, you're here for a reason because we're about to go through. And, and I've, I've been screaming this for months of the tribulation of this summer is going to be unbelievable. And it, every day I, I go to YouTube and I look around the world and I, I check the geology and I watch all of this and I watch all of that and I study and study. And all I'm seeing is drastically worse every day. So, people, we have to be aware that this is coming to a theater near you period we're all going to be affected so if you watch this video right now about the pleiadian message it will embark mm-hmm. you into a step that is above everyone else around you when they're panicking you will have your head because you know you are here to do this you're all ready for it that's why you're here that's why that mm-hmm. message is so damn important it's time gotta say it again it's time exactly no, and, I, uh, I'm just, I agree. Can you just elaborate a little bit more then on, like, by us doing what we are doing, like, 
how is okay. that going to play out? Are, like, what does that okay, do? Humans, humans are kept in a state of recycling. We are, we don't, we're not, we're not, okay, first of all, we are, we were not created to be anything other than what we are currently our version of humans okay this is a this is a, a line between point of view and reality where if you take a certain point of view and you understand our version of who we are the people that are talking today we are a clipped chromosome dual helix human version of a bio tool we are placed here to do exactly what we're doing now we evolve we mine gold we mine commodities we bring up the because we have a lust for this it's innate it's natural within our within our ability and our intelligence and our size and our capability to create these commodities that are needed for the other solar system that is also part of the the takeover and the commodity use rather than the free will planet that we used to be and this is part of this it's discussed in the video where there was a war and then a faction overtook ownership of planet earth and we are a direct representative of that and in order for the pleiadian message to have us grow beyond that uh box where we can break out and evolve into the federation and become a member rather than a a bio tool of short live version of a basically a clone a self-replicating bio tool the hey, other Sam, races go ahead sorry to interject but you just said that we used to be earth not we earth okay. earth was a a, a a repository for life form it's an experiment and the rock planet earth was changed on purpose and i i i can go into something you know they have the ability to do stuff that we we can't even fathom and that's the higher higher race because there's there's races even higher than the ones that we are exposed to we're dealing with the locals there's big wigs even above them there's many, many, many different beings of different levels out there. Um, Sam, including Prime J. What exactly, Sam? What, what exactly do you mean by you? You always say that you would never leave Earth. You know, isn't that what it would mean to be a, a part of the to? ascend or whatever up to the the federation oh, what, what about our what, what if our children are actually elevated by coexistence with other races okay all right therefore they would increase their their activity their travel area their ratio um it is entirely possible and their that our and, their, about, and their comfortability with them because if, I don't know, if we, we can survive each like other you. If we survive our next stage up, it, say, for instance, nothing happened. Our next stage is to actually go into space and mine asteroids. And then we can create even more commodities. So there is a possibility that we're already doing that. And we don't know it because we know that sampling has occurred for many generations of the U.S. and around the world since the 40s. We know that, that we are not we are we're an owned patented product yes and now to the other factions the ones that are not necessarily say for instance we'll call them the solar system ranchers the ranchers that own the herd of humans and so they'll upset view us, they view us as a herd and every right. cycle they call the herd and there are less of us to reform society and earth rehealing and all the new commodities and then we start the process again over and over again as we have done in the past we are not the first civilization 
We are not the first generation. This is not the first time Nibiru goes by. In the last four, uh, 300,000 years, it's been 83 cycles. Could we ever change that, Sam? And become that, is what, that is what the plan is. In the like, 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 I don't know if sovereign is the right word, but a sovereign well, plan. The idea is, is that we grow past the two helix models through enlightenment by separating ourselves from the mutation, the harmonic subductance of our species, and we rise up harmonically through enlightenment and harmonics and elevation of chakra towers and all of that, and our stellar electrical being grows where those limitations no longer limit us. And then we will evolve either this generation, the next, or the next after that, because we're starting the building blocks today. We will in the future live longer, no more, have greater powers. This is where Nostradamus talks about the enlightenment of mankind that starts in 2024, where we will become more spiritually aware and uh, cognitive abilities of extra uh, sensory perception, including being able to understand and feel all of the populace of the earth around us, all the men on planet earth. We will feel I've, each I've been, other. I've been thinking about that <laughs> Nostradamus <laughs> Since you said it a few shows ago, Sam. Exactly like the Highlander. I think that is a very, uh, very important because I've said this before. We're not people ready are, yet. People are getting absolutely oh, more comfortable with that side of, uh, of things. You know, the more spiritual, the more. Um, and on average, no, we are not ready. But there are several individuals around the planet. Oh, yes, there are people on the planet that and can do that. they are uh, here to yeah. enlighten and warn and move. Mm. The trick with, you know, we talk about proton proximity likeness identification. When you have a proton that is humming at a frequency, we'll just say 528 hertz, for instance, this is an example, my favorite one. And you get a proton that is humming at 428 hertz hertz the smaller proton upon meeting the larger proton in proximity electrical proximity whatever distance it is will elevate itself to meet the harmonic of the higher proton harmonic proximity that's elevation and that is how subatomic chemistry works that's how the hedron collider works all of that it's all linked to that same premise of proton harmonics and when I met the Pleiadian, my proton harmonics elevated. And when I met all of you guys over time, your proton harmonics are also elevating. And this is why anyone who listens to my voice and collectively connects to these videos and our connection is also connecting to the, the people of light, which is what the Pleiadian have been working for many, many years to correct and connect. And it's all already within us. They're not telling us a new story. They're just waking people up. Right. And that's my job. That's why I brought to you the binary solar system. Two stars, two sets of planets, people. People right. live on the planet. And there's more. There's, 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 much there's more. millions of races. Right, and people that own planets, like own planets, and that's not us. We don't own it. None of areas, the uh, areas of influence over star systems. Through we really think almost are all that. Like that's a dollar. It's people that do money and transfer of, of, of material, right. just like Star Wars. Sure. Go watch the movie Star Wars. There's different factions, and they buy and sell and <laughs> trade. And do this. You it's have this. I have that. We barter. It's the same thing that's going on here on Earth, just on a much, yes. much bigger scale. Exactly. Right. And that's mm -hmm. what I was going to say. I was going to say we've the, all seen most scale. of us. Right. I'm mm -hmm. sure most of us have seen uh, the end of um, the, it's Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, uh, the movie, um, you know, Men in Black. Men in Black. The end of Men in Black. When they when they are putting the locker, closing the locker, and they show the back end of the locker, 
and it opens up to like this tiny little locker and there's so many more other beings that are yes yes millions trillions times bigger than yeah. the tiny little locker they just put something in you know what i mean yeah oh, yeah. yeah and there it's kind of like that but yeah and we're not but we're dimensionally of, yeah. we're part of a small we're in the, like in the middle of many dimensions and smaller is other dimensions and larger is other dimensions we're and, very arrogant to think we are uh so big we're just one. a speck All right and right. yeah and having met three other races of uh, extraterrestrials i can absolutely absolutely tell you that there are millions of races of real real ets out there they are quite real and the planets are quite here and the question is, is whether or not um uh and and the, you know even at the the pleiadian uh the pleiadian message if we go to the the matrix uh metaphor at the beginning of of the recording um the the oracle tells neo um that she is a, a program and and then neo goes well how do i know i can trust you and she says bingo and then she asks offers him again another piece of candy mm -hmm. and she's always offered him this candy over and over hey my calendar just fell off the wall interesting mm -hmm. um <laughs> wonder what that means um right uh, she offers him a piece of candy and he doesn't take it and the point with it is, is you can believe me or not. Right. And you well, have to understand. choose. And it boils down to that. Are you going to choose magic or are you going to choose mundane? Or even just like um, the bending of the spoon. Can you bend the spoon? Is can you bend your mind enough and open it enough to embrace this because it is what's out there? Um, I, I, Irene wrote in the comments a couple of scrolls up here. Oh, uh, um, and the, about that. If I tell you this to someone, they there. will send me to the nut house. And yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, this is absolutely, absolutely 150% batshit crazy. Right. But guess what? I have spent an entire lifetime. Go ahead. You see it, you feel it. You see it, you feel it. It's out there. It calls your soul. I, I can't. It's, People it look is at a you calling. like you've got three horns coming out of your head. But guess what? You're. Mm -hmm. I don't care the trolls because truth knows its own source. You know when something is true. Um, so I, I, yeah, I don't care. Um, but um, I know that. Uh, I don't know that we addressed what Audrey had put up there. Um, yeah, the there's another question either. And it's what Sam was talking about. Uh, we've been, we've had some uh, DNA disabled, shortened clips. So we are kept in a frequency that keeps us here. That's why people are still, I mean, we still watch people okay. beat crap out of each other for entertainment. How civilized is that? Imagine uh, if you like, we're gonna go back to the planetary rancher right and you have been given a decree from higher races above you out of your solar system uh to allow some of your herd to evolve they're going to still want to continue the process of the factory planet earth which was originally set up for which is the ownership that exists so therefore they're going to continue to do that, but they're going to allow because they're forcibly allowing uh, some of us to evolve, which is why several thousand years ago, this was this whole process was started ahead of time. And it took many, many generations for us to get here. So what are they watching to see who springs out with 12 little helixes? Um, they already know. Right. And are we made, ready, Sam? As a planet, do you think that um, we're ready? As a planet, no. Uh, mm -hmm. As as small groups. Now, the yes. the premise was that after, after, after the shit hits the fan, that like minded groups will form. There will be will you will we'll have a feudalistic, you'll have a socialistic, you'll have a democratic, you'll have a committee, you'll have different groups of people all over the place, and the ones that they know about and the ones that they've already got pre marked or tagged uh they will they'll know what's going on because they do 
and uh, they will visit the people that they are know will exist because they are if they're from the future they already know this crap and because they've got lists of everything just like we do and they will approach people after the shit hits the fan when there are less of us to cause any uh, major uh, unrest because the program has to continue and the planet factory planet earth must continue to create the commodities for that other entire race and that will continue it just, um, I don't, I don't need gold for Nibiru. it just seems it just feels yes. like like you're leaving somebody behind or i, I don't know that just, yeah, and the problem oh. is is we cannot save everyone because we do try right We've been screaming, you know, otherwise I would have given my message and six months later I said, I told you so, bye. You know, because here's my thing about people, Sam, is people are great. You know, I, okay. Yeah, they are. I, I look, I, I, I get to, I get 15, 20 minutes with people individually, most of Priceless. them. Priceless. And, and let me tell you the difference. And then, and then I get them also in groups, right? And I love that about what, what I do, right? Let me tell you something. That's why I like bartending. Individually, people are amazing. Yeah. But the bigger the group, the less their, their, their individualism just kind of goes out the window. And, and then it becomes just, And you only see the jerks yes. and the leader. Exactly, exactly, and it, it, and, that, two different ones. and that's horrible. Like, like because people individually are amazing. Yeah, well, you know, they're the people. We are we're tribal. We are tribal, and you know, this is also inbred in us because we are. We now, anytime you feel personally guilty and you want to talk about original sin, original sin is our innate genetic want to gather gold. That is well, that is why we are here gold. and every and all the other commodities. Well, if you've ever if you've ever panned for gold and found it, you wouldn't believe what happens to you. Well, there's things that we do, Sam, that that seem very convenient from their point of view, and that's one of them. And that there's a lot of them. There's a lot and of here's, things. Here's the rub. Here's the rub. To add to something that to a bio to right. You know, you know that then, we have to appreciate must... absolutely absolutely we have to appreciate the fact that we exist we would not exist at all being able to talk and you know use the languages that we have and end our tribal existence and our technology it, and it's everything hard not that we to have mixed feelings though sam it's yeah exactly but this is this is part of what we have to get over in order to grow to that acceptance okay are you going to take somebody who has gone to war against you and then bring them into your po populace lovingly with full complete trust no you can't you have to only accept the people who accept you and the roles that exist which is part of enlightenment we accept those people for who they are and then you blend in or you don't because if you have dissident or 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 uh terroristic internal thought process they'll know that mm. in a heartbeat because we are children to them mm. you'll throw your hand you'll give yourself away and that's why they don't just take anybody with them and i don't i don't think i don't think it's yeah i, I think they they probably evolved to a point where it's second nature to them to kind of sense those things right yeah. it, it, it's automatic they read mm. us like like bumper stickers Right. And to, you know they would they see our flaws they see our our ineptitudes they see our our promise they see our fears um, I I can read people in that manner up to a point as well and yeah, um, I agree I don't think it's important to be focused on the why we're here even though right. it does you can, you can't blame who does, we are owned by even though, does, even though it does sting a little bit. Um, yeah, we cannot, not, blame our, we cannot blame our own. We cannot blame our own. We have to we grow do. past it. Go ahead, Nicole. Yeah, I agree. Go ahead. Um, Nicole. okay, so I'm gonna comment real something real quick, but then I have a comment in there, the section that I want to bring up to. Um, but I, um, I'm not saying to insult anyone, but I don't feel that the, the mass populace is ready for like a place where we're right. telepathic because. 
we're not ready for that because it did. I mean, like if you're empathic at all and you can feel how someone else feels physically or how someone else feels emotionally, you have to know that you are an empath. You have to know that it, it, you then have to be able to decipher who am I feeling? Is this me or is this someone else's sadness, right? But to be able to suddenly pick up a phone and feel the panic and sheer hopelessness and terror of everyone that was going through the Nice France attack was something that happened to me um and i wasn't ready for it <clears throat> I, I i had to i didn't even know what it was i and i i, I knew what to do to figure it out but and until we're all at a level that you know we're not attacking each other and we're honest and we can actually communicate with one another and be completely honest and not deceptive then 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 we're ready for it um but about the common <clears throat> right uh, but about the comment uh, David has here, <clears throat> pardon me, allergies. Uh, he says, Ricola. Sorry, uh, he <laughs> says, I saw somewhere that around 3.5 thousand years, hmm. you get a special eclipse where the firmament vanishes or thins, allowing things through a very short time. We'll find out when NASA fires the three. I'm, There's that word again, firmament. Firmament. There's that word. But what I keyed into and why I bring this up is that key number, the 3,500 years, which the, this whole yeah. cyclical thing happens every 3,654 years approximately. Yeah. See, those little, again, things, those, those, those little Easter eggs there is why it's good to see everything you know i think it's in religion it's in our history. yeah and uh, here's a biggie it's because it's open to misinterpretation over the years and it got watered down and it got so if you do read up on all that stuff you get these little parts of things wrapped up in myth or misunderstanding that, that here's makes. a biggie for you um if uh mm -hmm. Let's say, for instance, we follow examples of what this eclipse is supposed to mean, the bringing of Jesus. Well, um, remember the saying, thy kingdom come? What if Jesus is actually on these big planets where people live, okay. and that's where he's from? Well, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, there's Sam, no... I, I was, I was that, that you posted something, you shared something about um i have pictures i don't post but yeah you're right no no, no it wasn't a picture but you you posted um what was it understanding something in, in the bible mm -hmm. um you posted about the sixth seal uh, Is that it? This? uh it was like it, it was um keep going something, something like that but it was a pretty big read it was a pretty long read it was a pretty it was a pretty interesting oh, that, read. yeah it, yeah it, 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 uh, I believe that was Matthew Matthew twenty four. I think that's it. That's it. Yes, that was yeah, very that was interesting. Cool. The comparison, you know, um, that's that's exactly why I think that's interesting. Is because I was I was hooked on I I read the whole thing. I told you I took a deep what? dive into the Bible this last three weeks. I mean, yeah, I yeah. Was yeah. Walk yeah. Yes. yes, I have been done too much Bible study since high school. Um, and, uh, you're right, because uh, last time you said how the this, the Bible even shows you how to see the planet. Right, and it talks about the earthquakes and it talks about the passing, coming of yeah, heaven. Yeah, you know, you, you, how did it say? Uh, it casted he casted a stone onto Earth, you know. Right. And right. if you uh, if you don't know what you if you if you're going strictly by scripture, you would overlook that unless you knew. The kind of stuff that we we deal with. And this is why I refer to if you if you reread the Colburn Bible, for example, as well, or the Chinese texts, the bamboo texts, or the Mahabharata in India, and all of this, and you the add Mah the, the Mahabharata, the yeah. Uh, if you add the binary solar system, and then you take all these gods in Egypt, Egyptology, yeah. even you take all of these gods and you take the shape of their skulls and stuff like that for the early 
pharaohs and of early Egypt and, and all of that into account. And then the Sumerian text and add all of that in one blender, you come up with a very cohesive argument that this is the reoccurrence and the close passing of the Nibiru group of planets. And this is where our demigods live. And there are even higher gods above that. Mm -hmm. And all of these puzzle pieces fit together, including the archaeology, the crop circles, the, 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 all the carvings and the rock paintings in the Mojave Desert from the Navajo all the way through the Incans. And, and, you, you know, and all, of the, all of it comes into this big thing. And yet modern day science never adds the second solar system binary. Which eighty three? Why did they do that? Why did they cut because, it out? Because Sam, it Samba, okay, do you think that's deception or is it just bad science? Because I think the church removed it. I think I think Rome removed it. You I know, mean, it's funny because I was just seeing a video about uh, how much uh, scrolls and and old manuscripts and stuff the the, the Roman Church has. Um, yeah, they probably got everything from mile, Alexandria as well. You got a 33 and, mile long tunnel. Yeah, and they keep it because they don't want alternative alternative views, you know. Okay, you and mean, now let it now let it if I had one wish was okay. Was, now let us discuss also what the I would have die in there reading everything. I can only imagine okay. what's they in talk there. about the rise of the antichrist, okay. correct? Yeah. Which is the opening of the sixth seal begins the predominant walk through of the Antichrist. That's the part that modern religion is in in the deep south is leaving out because they're just waiting for Jesus and they don't want to hear the part in the middle. No. Okay, the this is the dawning of the Antichrist as of the eighth. Okay, now the Christ is not a man. The Antichrist is not a man. It is a breakdown of the office of the Church of Rome. Because the figurehead for the office of head office church figurehead is the Christ, not the Messiah, the Christ. So the Antichrist means the destruction of the legitimacy of Rome. Interesting. And that can also be by an individual. By his acts, you could call Hitler an antichrist because he's going against everything that we believe in in the modern formation of of uh, honoring the, the fellow man and all of that. So you can take an act of a man and call him an antichrist of the past, but the actual ending of the Christ, the anti, the the the, the sublimation of the Christ means the breakup of the legitimacy of the office of the of the head of Rome. And I, I've screamed that for years, and because they use the term antichrist, not anti-God or anti-Messiah or anti-Savior, I have and always that the whole story is a form of deception. It is a form of lying, right? And the church has become that which it sought to root out, and it only right. started collecting tithing in 1444 to build St. John's, and it swore it would end that. Once the Which basilica was finished, and they never stopped, and now they're one of the richest entities on the planet, mm. who have well, way too yeah. much power over millions. Yeah, well, you know the Mormons ain't too. Uh, yeah, you know, the you know. Mormons, you name it, they're all they're all little. And neither was um, Mother Teresa. We we know oh, from yeah, what they say about her. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ellen Bates and, and stuff. You know, and the dissolution of the Templar it. Knights on Friday the 13th and all of that was caused because uh, part of Rome found out what the Templar secret was and they wished to wipe out, which is the culmination of the end of the church once the people who realized what the Templar secrets were all about would know that the crucifixion was inaccurate and resurrection was inaccurate. And, and I hate to go try, there. Excuse mm -hmm. me? If you go try to look into anything uh, about the Knights Templar currently, you still find a lot of 
discoloration on it that they are evil like, that they're mean that they're 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 terrible like, they they're painted to be something that they're not like the like the nazi symbol that is actually a much ancient much much more ancient symbol but the swastika was never it never belonged to the nazis yeah, they took it from, from a, from an, an indigenous time. tribe symbol mm -hmm. Centuries of centuries, if not thousands of years older than than where the where the yeah. Germans got this is the Second Reich or the Third Reich they call it. So a and, lot of stuff uh, inverted. And the Reichs, of course, that information too. Now there there that was gathered from some of the traditional information that we know about, but unfortunately it was pardon the expression, but it was bastardized into a um, into a a, a, a fascist okay. tool. And yet there was there was part of the, the master race scenario in in early legend that they played upon. And they took that and they, they used it for the wrong. Now, um, if you go and that comes also from there was a great deal of the uh, the original northern Germanic tribes where Rome crushed those beautiful religions that those folks had, the Vikings, etc., the Norways, the Swedes, the Danes, the Poles. Uh, including the Jews, um, and even the Roma factions of Eastern Europe, and all of those religions were crushed. Uh, right. And of course, that also had to go all the way with Genghis Khan, and you name it, back and forth between the Rome being in Constantinople, and then in Germany, and then in Spain, back and forth, and all of that was messed with by rich people trying to rewrite the Bible and history to suit their needs to curb away the information of our past. And to hide and to usurp all the gold and the treasure and the land and everything else. And to hone us into a state of fear of the church and fear of our, our Lord, fear of our abilities. And only the church can save us. So we have to go to church on Sunday and bring them our money. And then, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, they put their thumb on us. And they have control mm -hmm. over it. And this is why if you go back into the 1600s. And the early Salem witch trials, do you know where that began? It began in Holland. And that had to do with because the Dutch had a sect of people. Uh, and this is where the rocket scientists come from, ladies and gentlemen. Right. That they were trying to weed out ahead of history. Project Paperclip. And all of that. And that was, that was a, an, an intentional calling right. of the herd that they also did in indigenous brown people who have religious abilities right. as well and I mean, they weren't allowed to practice their special religions or, right. or beliefs or practices practice. either and they, mm -hmm. they tried to weed out, weed out the tribal tribal shamans in their religions etc right and these are all knowledge avenues that, that many of them around the world still know including the, Hopi, in their the navajo and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, Dakota. around the world. And the, yeah, the Tibetans and, and the Taoists and the Hindus. And the Moors. The I mean, my God, the Moors, uh, Arab science was millennia ahead of everyone, and almost that's been destroyed as well. Right. So, uh, you know, and and then, you know, the, the, the Library of Alexandria was destroyed by Rome. For the purposes of controlling, keeping knowledge, all that information, right. keeping right. that from getting to us. The, the real power is information. That that, that is and real. A lot of the information from the last cycle, from the previous cycle of man, they had tools in the in the mm -hmm. in the you know seventeen hundred BC, fifteen hundred BC that we'd never heard of now because it's all been removed and gotten rid of. And look at all the obelisks. And look at you know Egyptian lore and Samaria and, and See, there's money. There there's like money. 120 obelisks in ancient Egypt, and they took all of them. There's like less than 20 remaining in the country of Egypt. They are all displaced around the entire planet. Essentially, they stole them all from Egypt. Yep. Sorry, Jesus, go on. And the British are responsible for most of that. Oh, yeah, they auctioned off a whole collection of mummified cats, and the buyer turned them all into fertilizer. 
That's just nuts, man. Oh, they were selling mummies for many, many years in the 20s and 30s. Oh, they were man. actually putting them in medicines, too, where it's like ground up mummy dust, and it's good for what ails you. I'm not kidding you. No, they have they just, no respect for ancient culture, anything, nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah, we robbed. We robbed all the countries of the world. I mean, we as in we're as in modern man, today. white men, right? And we're still we're still seeing black market uh, ancient relics being sold on the black market. They're turning up. Oh, this was stolen from here. But um, yeah, no um, there was actually no. sanctioned grave robbing in in Egypt uh, after the first um, the the later into the dynasties um it was a country like government sanctioned they like the grave robbers would be like people that yeah. the country was paying to well, who, wouldn't believe you know, the who knew of, where they were the buried Britain and germany all the all the major powers throughout earth or you know earth history have gathered huge piles of gold they don't even talk about i mean unbelievable amounts Sure, and and I saw a report on what they thought that we had. There's a, my lot of, there's a lot of sites too in Egypt that are not allowed to the public, completely right. blocked. Right, to right. The yeah, well, because they would be, because some of them actually know that people aren't ready for this information, and look how kooky they would right. get. I mean, look at the Miami, look at the Miami sighting alone. How nuts people went in 18 different directions on that alone, and we still don't even know if it was real or not. And but look how look how. Know. But it would have well, been different, was... Sammy. Would it would have been different though if they would have, if we would be taught a lot of this stuff early on. Yeah. You know, right, well, but we're not. That's why said everybody we evolved, and, and knew that Nibiru was coming. If if everybody was told in 2010 Nibiru was coming. Well, exactly. Well, exactly. And you see that all the time, Sam. That that if how did they said something. We would be a completely different planet, you know. Uh, we wouldn't be so caught up in petty shit, you know. We we'd be in petty We're stuff. We to be that way, though, right? You get that, though, right? You get that every TV, every so it's tell a lie, right? And every they call it programming for a reason. Absolutely. They're the programming. Fact that there's, the fact that there's people yeah. and. Unfortunately, there's some in my personal circle, of course, that we all have them, that everything that they perceive about the world comes That's from a TV. Right, right, that right. right, bothers, right. That bothers me so much. Agreed. I can't get people to watch like an hour or an hour and a half long documentary, not even one of the Thunderbolt um, project videos, because they know. tell me, oh, gosh, um, Gee, I don't know if I have that amount of time. Well, you go and watch your blockbuster movies at the theater. You watch two hours worth of that. That's that's fiction. Here, here's 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 real yeah, real gonna, information. I don't, I don't know if I have time. More, it's way more. Yeah, I, I've had a lot of people. I think I've, I've had people go. God, that's over three minutes. I don't want to watch that. It's over three minutes yes. long. Yes, like, I what? can't even get people to read books. Okay, fine. Here, here. How, oh, it's not in short Instagram or TikTok form. Oh, now, give oh, me sorry. the skinny. What's it mean? What's it mean? They, it's instant gratification which error. Is, which is sad. This, is, the, 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 this, is my, the, this is my fear, son. Is that is that because watching the skies take a takes a little bit of time and patience? It does. Yeah. It, 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 it's an uphill battle because most people find it's the sky. Changing very boring you know wow i don't know how <laughs> and it's anything but boring now anything but Absolutely. you don't even have to Absolutely. look at it and and try to make a shape in your mind or something fit your imagination because there's a uh there's an asterisk right there there's a square right there there's a rectangle there's a there's there's so much stuff in the sky right now. Jesus, were you here when we were talking about the mystery schools and the esoteric information and knowledge, or did you come in after that? I I probably I I, I only started come in after actually that. maybe ten minutes before I came on today. Okay, sorry. Well, you missed. Just to, I'll just re recap it real quickly. Um, uh, there is something called mystery schools, and it's really still very kind of hidden but what mystery schools are is schools from ancient times or older times that would teach select 
people or groups higher knowledge and information. And wow, this really? information is a cult, meaning hidden. It's esoteric, meaning like inside, not really? exoteric on the outside. And, yeah. And you would, only you some think that though, that somebody has to carry that information and, and keep it going somehow. Wow. Where, well, where did they you do. See? They do. They do. And it's been yeah, hidden always... from most of us mundane people or, or the, the masses, but like, um, tarot, pe people are told that, and even Sam mentioned it recently, that if you pick up a tarot deck, it's not going to work. You have to be given the tarot yeah, deck. That, 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 I did hear you, somebody that does not it. resonate with me at all. My tarot decks work. I buy all of the ones that I prefer to use, and they mm. work for me. It's all I good. That is a form of now it, it can hold true but is it a placebo effect well i I, that found, also, I have found i have found that I the deck i was given i have i have several decks and i have right. actually seen the deck done. lie to me yeah and it was one yeah, they that will, i they will. and right yeah, and for sure. my main deck has always been unfathomably accurate and I, okay. and that's why, and I, it was given to me, and I, that, that was part of how I was taught. That be, and you right. had to do, because you have to with your deck, you have to follow the rules. And if you mix up your cards in the order of your cards, once, you have made your deck inaccurate. And I have always followed the tradition of completely keeping it free of exterior forces by keeping them wrapped with the crystal and everything. Sure. And the only time anyone ever cuts the deck. Is as they do the Celtic cross, they grab it with the left hand and break it into three columns with the left hand. Mm -hmm. That's the only time anyone ever touches my deck. Yeah. Period. So and, the, and I don't mix them other than but by, by the normal by law shuffle, the way you're supposed to for the for the read, and I follow it always, including the only time a card ever rotates is in the Celtic cross top center. I what totally may agree occur in the that. present. And that's how you were taught and everything. Um, and I kind of just, I've always been um, a rebel and just gone in and done what I find. If it's something I want to do or learn, I do it and learn it. And um, I yes, think, yeah, we, I all, I think we all have a thing. Yeah, and you have to be careful in everything. But that, yeah. again, is one form of keeping people afraid of using tarot. Well, well if you oh, don't okay. have reverence for the magic, the magic isn't going to. Then, it's like it's like if yes. I charge people, if I charge people money for their tarot card readings, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to give them a good reading. Agreed. That's why I yeah. don't charge money for it. I do it free. Right. There's, I mean, there's ethics. Absolutely. Um, but I find that the you can only be given your tarot deck and it works is just another form of keeping us yeah, out be. of the loop of information. No, it is. Could be. It is. Um, in, in my opinion. And, and, and well, I, I have a deck I was going to mail and, and I haven't mailed it off point. yet. But, you know, I'll say something. Um, my dad, my father, and I said this in one of the last shows. My dad is always, my father was always very, like, like, like. He had this respect and also fear of it. So he, I never messed with any of that stuff because he always made it look like it was something. Um, very much. You know, just is, you can do damage with it to both your own self karma energy whatever i mean let's face it but you never explored that. i've, been, I've that never explored any of that so the so so it's, almost, it's a good thing because you don't want to impeach your soul as sam kind of talks about um right. you don't want to do things wrong you don't want to step outside of the ethics and if you're not aware of how to handle or yield the samurai sword chances are you're not going to pick that thing up because you know how sharp it is right um yeah. so there it's great to have a healthy fear of it and and not somewhere to tread lightly or without knowledge at all but i do find that a lot of the stuff out there is 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 put out there so that we keep our noses where they belong i.e out of the higher realms of truth and information well, that, well, that's and we what happened to me. 
That's that's what I'm saying. You're that's kind of what happened so to you're, me. You're in, what you're in the space that you're in, Jesus, and you're one of the top people that people are learning from right now. So don't limit yourself. That's what I'm going to say. You missed that part too. Don't limit yourself. Think um, uh, uh, hit your, uh, shoot for the moon, but no, you're going to shoot for like Uranus because you'll at Which least moon? land on the moon, but shoot further. For I sat in the yellow moon and, and land on the Biru, right? But uh, so don't limit yourself and you're already in it the way I see it. This is a highly activating platform. There's information Absolutely. and esoteric hidden occult knowledge that's being, this is its own little mystery school, okay? Um, so welcome to class. Uh, we're all here and as we level up and as we, uh, the people, you're bringing people with you, Jesus. This is activating information. You gather this, you get this. You're already here. What is going to happen to you? I'm not too sure. I asked Sam about that. He's the far seen one. But um, I, I find that most of us are divinely protected because we're here for this. So you're because here because here. Your, your soul on a higher oversoul basis has been here, done this before. You know what you're doing. That's why we're here now. So you're going to be okay. Yeah, I, I'm... Yeah, I, I love that. Hey, you That's just beat diabetes. You beat diabetes back into submission. Hello. He did. He did. Yeah. Right. You know look the, at that smile. You know, look at that it, smile. It, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the last six years since I've known this, so much has happened and so much positive things have happened that I have no choice but to do think something has definitely been, been looking out. For sure. Yeah, it's the old soul doing the driving, and you're just along for the ride. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's all been part of the journey. And this is all part of what this is, you know, because we have genetic memory inside us. We have the building blocks of our DNA, and the only way it's disconnected is by you not listening. Because it is connected. And this is part of what the 2010 Ascension, and it's discussed in that video as well, where all of a sudden... We were, and I, 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 I remember the day. I will to the day I die. I will remember that day that it hit me. I was standing there doing the dishes, and all of a sudden it was just like somebody opened a door, and I went to the drive-in for a, you know, for a mini series of three movies in a row, all within a, about a twenty-second period, and I was just bombarded by all of the connections. I, I in my own mind, I finished my paper, and all the way to the point of finding the cosmos and i mean everything in between and i can't describe that to you other than realization that you know we are a compound we're a connective chemistry equation in a smaller part of a larger dimension to a larger dimension to a larger dimension to a larger dimension and then i reached all the way out as far as my brain could go and i found a level of elation so you and had a neo moment where you're like oh I know Kung Fu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of, yeah. In, in a manner of speaking, yeah, that was all of a sudden I just, I, I connected with so much. But it kind of but it kind of happens that way. Like a lot of the things that I learned over this time, some of it was practice, of course, but then there was along the way, and it happens, still happens often where something... Well, and, and something that i didn't know just kind of comes to me and it's like right okay, and that's why i'm always telling you to trust you and, and you just know you know you know and that's mm -hmm. it that yeah. just comes to you this and is it this is that time thing this is that thing where we're all going to grow now into that that uh finer ability and and for me it's gotten to the point where like i'm i'm standing on the side of a stage watching a play with the people and the events around me. And it's like I've got the script in my hand and I know it's coming. And then yeah, I watch it happen. And then I just sit there <laughs> and smile and go, yep, okay, we're going on according to plan. And I, I'm not uncomfortable by it, although I didn't expect the third act. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. You know, All that right. kind of thing. Well, you know, in the play. And, you know, speaking in general. Um <laughs> Not, well, not, we thought not, you knew something you were going to tell us now. No, no, That's no, hard we're, for us not to ask. Well, we, well, we are. Look what the sun is doing. 
Uh, we're, you know, the, we're we're at the second half of the of the play. We've already had intermission. And now, you know, do you know this? Do you know this morning? I was the craziest uh, sunrise. So I yeah, saw. Yeah, it's beautiful out there. It's beautiful. I, but the, the moon is very very close to the sun, right? Right now, um, in, the, in the east, uh, as it's coming up, and then you can see. So the sun's coming up to the left, and then the moon to the right, and then you see where it's shining in relation to the sun. You know, so you had the 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 light, the lit up uh, side of the moon, right directly down. You know, right on the I'd say like a ninety degree side. You know, six. Oh, to like nine. a half moon. Yeah, yeah. You know, because the sun was right below the horizon and the moon was up here. You know, so you could see this cool. little corner of it. Um, and it's what I want to what I wanted to bring up to people is that's the reason. You know, that's that's why we uh, we have the moon shine and the moon the moon phases the way they are in relation to the sun and Earth. You know, um, more proof that that's that's the way it's supposed to be, but. You know, right now it was it was the coolest thing to see that this morning. Um, well, if the uh, if the eclipse is going to take place by the moon within the next two days, they should. Yeah, be yeah, the that's, same exactly, area. that's exactly what I thought. It would make sense that it's pretty close. You know, it could be entirely normal, and then this would be a counted e eclipse throughout time, laid out history, laid out in the Bible and uh, Nostradamus and Revelations and Edgar Casey and all of the above, and or it could be a planet cutting in. We don't know yet. Uh, we'll have to wait to see what happens. Well, the, so, the moon, yeah, does, seem, the moon really does, cool. does seem to be in conjunction very much from what I saw this morning yeah, yeah, with, I, with, yeah. with the sun. I like it, but I do feel from what I saw after things cleared up for a little bit, there is a lot going on above, like a lot. It's just really hard for me to see anything right now because it's just so damn close that it's just creating a lot of weather yeah that's a lot true. of yeah i had uh we we had a lot of rain the last has days. a great view I, I bet chris has great view because they're way down there so they've been getting a great view for us like nicole me and you sam that are a higher elevation we're getting a really up too close we're yep. seeing more weather than than anything yeah. we could take a picture of you know, and we, you know, a good portion of the country is about to be bounced back to winter again, and it'll be very interesting. Uh, us, it, it's supposed to. We're supposed to get some more. Yeah. How's your yeah. weather, Jillian? Oh, it was wet and rain. It's been raining for six days, and then suddenly, <clears throat> half past one, it just stopped. It completely stopped. The sky went blue when I went outside with the with the laundry trolley and came back after I was done. I shut the door on the laundry and carried on with the other stuff. And when I looked at it again, it was back again. That all that weather, all that cloud and wind like crazy. Yeah, the jet stream but moved it, over the top of you from a different area. It was coming down the, from Iceland prior to that, but now it's coming literally from Canada. I thought they said something about us being caught in two different two different well yeah this the 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 north uh the north sea activity is, is different than, there you go with the robot thing the, uh, southwest of, of england the uk and ireland we heard the yeah we didn't hear much yeah i heard about we this didn't hear any of that we just heard ireland mm -hmm. yeah Oh wow! Westy, sorry. Doing um, the robot thing, Sam. Uh, yeah, weather was coming in from uh, from I I Iceland prior uh, last week, and then this week um, is coming in from Canada, and then sweeping up through uh, uh, Ireland and and the UK. So your your weather direct the your, the jet stream has changed, and so you're getting jet stream flow right now. Yeah, it's 16 degrees, man. It was really warm. And then before that, it had been something ridiculous, like six or five or something. Yeah, you're getting Canadian Four. air, uh, Arctic air. And then now it's, I don't know what it's doing now. All I know is that it was quite warm. So when I went to the park, I went out in my flip-flops and my socks and kind of forgot. 
that I was in flip flops and socks because I meant to put on the Wellingtons to go to the field because the field's waterlogged. It just rained so much that Theo was in water up to his belly. He's completely, he had like mud tied on his belly button. So yeah, mm. <laughs> he had to be washed. Yeah. <laughs> Now he loves it. He's discovered frisbees, so um, mm. you can throw oh, yeah. a frisbee and he runs, and then he runs right past it. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, he'll be uh, he'll be entertained from now on. Yeah, but I, I couldn't believe it. It's the first time I ever threw him a frisbee, and he 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 raced after it twice, leaped up in the air like a like a goat thing, grabbed it, came back, but he did it only twice, and then he was like, right, well, that's done. Thank you. That's off yeah. mouth. Mm -hmm. No worries. Okay. Well, is that us? Comments. What's that? I can't hmm? believe it's five hours. Look at that. Yep. Yes. I can't either. I can't either. It really because has gone by quickly. It did. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's heading for 12 o'clock, and I will be going to work again tomorrow. So. Yep. Okay. Were you, were you off Maybe today, Julia? No. no, I'm not. Mm -mm. Laund mm -hmm. I've been, I was in the laundry today, so, yeah, busy, busy. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then yeah, go to bed, tired. Tired. I'm tired. I've been up all night. I just got I'm home, out. and I uh, I better go. I'm, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm running on fumes right now. I can yeah. understand. Well, I, I wanted to stop and say hi, you know. And, uh, you I'm know. glad you did. Yeah, we always visit for a while, so it's yeah, cool. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But, yes, um, absolutely. I'm going to restart this and see what I missed because it uh, mm -hmm. seems like it was uh, some interesting stuff with the, with the website, you know. Yeah, yeah. I want to be able to do something on there as well, get like a space and move into it and do I'm gonna have to actually sit down and watch a few movies. Yeah, yeah. there's some there I have not seen, so I got. I've actually seen Halo. I haven't seen that one yet. Mm -hmm. I would highly recommend Jewels. Um, J U L E S. I started it's watching on, that one day. Yeah, it is so cute. It's very refreshing, lighthearted. It's not you know like Jupiter ascending kind of topic. So, um, but still very appropriate. So, I like Jupiter Ascending oh. very much. It was a good, good. I did too. I'm just saying that it, it's like good reference to Draco. Uh, you know, I don't know. I can't. I, I can't make up my mind about Jupiter Ascending. So it's well, like, the only thing I wasn't it? a fan of was him rolling around on like it looks like he's on roller skates. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Do you know what so really I gave me a buzz about it was <laughs> the girl that was she was a cleaner, so that really like uh, yeah, yeah that, that was in her thing. like real life, right? But you know, like and then she's Jetsu. actually a queen of uh, you know I know, but they look like I just kept seeing roller skates. <laughs> I mean, you know, it just looks like he's on roller skates, and it just, yeah, like, I don't think they'll do that, that a second time for CGI, but you know, a little cheesy for my taste. But what yeah. what did you think yeah. about it, Jesus? <laughs> I thought it was a little cheesy. Okay. I, 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 I thought it was. I no no. I, I thought it was just a little over the top. You know, it's just I that when it comes to, when it comes to sci-fi movies, I, I I like there's there's some stuff like that is good, and then there's stuff that's just like really like corny. Yeah, there's some stuff that's corny, but other stuff that's beautiful and makes you think. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and, and that's kind of how I felt about Jupiter Sunday. Um, I think it could have been better. I think it could have been better, but it was a good way to put like yeah. I was impressed with how they brought that topic to life because well, the, I yeah, mean the, it makes the, it very the easy. Of, oh, I, I agree. I agree. The yeah, stock, I the whatever they called it, the I don't know, the roses, the fluid, whatever they the life force human juice, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, yeah. I found that part quite creepy because there was no, that I same element in the new Avatar movie, only they were milking it out of the poor whales, and it was at the whale's that, pineal gland. That was creepy. The, but I mean, but it makes you goes on now, right? Yeah, well, I was gonna say it, it makes you really realize that money. That there's there's money rich, and then there's okay. power rich, like real, like that that kind of stuff, like. 
I think like on here on Earth, right? we're still, uh, we're still like, like small potatoes right? with the money. But there's yep. oh, yeah. there you know, there things you know. out there where, where people ain't even worried about money. They're worried about, you know. They own star systems, Jesus. They yeah. Own yeah, but star you know what? Do you know what? We ultimately, have to... we're talking about all these movies, and the one thing that just, I just keep thinking about is that Pleiadian message about how when a scene Earth had this incredible, overwhelming feeling of love and protectiveness and wanting to mm. make sure Earth was uh, that they're justified, like done right by, you know, we've it been through yeah. so much us and the planet and the animal beings. And this is our home. This is where we are rolled into one. It, it just feels Wrong beautiful connected. and right but we're more than just that and that's what other beings are, are attracted to because we're such a hybrid mix we're really genuinely unique in what we are and what we can give Correct. and we do deserve our chance to 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 become even more you know mm -hmm. i mean what's that going to be it's only going to be limited by how limited our minds can get you know if you believe you can go out there and see and do and experience it all. Why it not? Has a lot to do with it, yeah. And yeah. don't limit yourself. Seriously, don't no. limit yourself. You're the only one who limits yourself. Yes. Yeah. So, I say this in my videos all the time, guys. We have to think bigger. Like, yeah, we really way, do. Way, way, way bigger. bigger. What we and see, we down are. Here, everyday life, what is presented to us. That's just the really spec. Uh, tip we of didn't the even eye. understand about yeah. energy and and that we are light beings, like genuine carrier carrying light, and that the they say that that, that central sun pierced through everything, and it, it's light codes and and downloads and. Yeah, we actually I do generate a certain amount of light ourselves, our chakra. Absolutely, uh, yeah, because uh, we're light we are beings. on. The, generates the color that we are the stage we currently are on and that's part of how some people can identify you or the higher races can mm -hmm. identify you by your your aura because we right. and the human eyes don't see things as well as yeah. animals do mm -hmm. and and we, we we've, been, we've been created to exist like we are for a reason so there are limitations that are mm -hmm. placed on us and that is what you would call therefore the original sin is that we are we are manipulated for a reason, and that reason is why we are here. And once you step past that reason into the, the light, your harmonic starts to change. And once your harmonic changes, you go through the stages. Sometimes they're uncomfortable, but then afterwards they're good. And then you elevate, and then you get higher, and you get smarter, you get wiser, you get calmer. You actually can even get younger in some cases. People can mm -hmm. sell people. If you think to yourself out there, it's time for me to self-heal and just remind yourself a couple of times a day to do that. And then you will you can you can turn on the forces inside that are beyond us that we're reaching for now. Okay. It is happening. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. I see that Irene says Irene Bencamo says her inner child is smiling. Yeah. There you go. That's yep. what you do. You, you know, feed the inner child a cookie, hmm. and yes. you know, be happy. And, and that's why you have to get through it. And you have to, you have to rise above the negatives and the fears and the hopelessness and the shit that we're being involved in. And and the Bible refers to that as the birthing pains. And we have to, we have to go through the trials and the tribulations prior to the transitions, so that we have cleared the shelves, so we have room for the new things. And then we're all, then you have to learn to use it by A, trusting yourself, and then B, listening. You have to listen to what you're being told because uh, right. it's the old you and the earth talking to you. And if you listen, including the birds and the chirps and the crickets and everything in the wind and, and the traffic and the people around you, before you know it, you're in a larger world. Absolutely. Including the one where we have another group of planets and another star here right now. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Time to think bigger, guys. Uh, all right, guys. You guys have a good okay. evening. Good night, sir. Yeah, night, night, night. I don't know what time it is there. <laughs> <laughs>
It's <laughs> five o'clock, and I five have been working. What I've been time o'clock? Five. It's five o'clock. Well, it's great to have well, had you. Haven't been going to bed yet? You'll be like driving, I've or been out, I've if been you're tired, you'll be eating and going to sleep. Yeah. yeah. I've been at work since yeah. eight last night. I, I, I don't know. Mm. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He he works overnight, so he's like awake yeah, and day and night. So. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes it gets me a little. A little exactly. loopy, but, well, but how all good right. Is that? How good night. Thank yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, we'll see you Tuesday. Yeah, we'll see you Tuesday. Bye. Bye-bye, Jesus. Bye. See you later. Yeah, I bet he is exhausted. I'm sure. Worked all night sure. and all day, so. I mean, how does that not mess up or or take you out of your natural circadian? And he's driving and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so, you know, that's yeah. Yeah. that's the, exhausting uh, itself. Right. Cicada bugs that are about to go. We forgot to talk about them. Oh, my God. They're going to be all no, over. Oh, yeah. Oh, and them other the bugs that we've seen in the Middle I, East. All I, those nasty beetle-looking things. I wonder I where in still. the U.S. Like, you know. Uh, uh, literally, literally, literally. Uh, the Mississippi. Yeah. Good, I, okay. Iowa down. Iowa straight south. Oh. Yeah. You said so is there anybody oh, that yeah, the 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 Missouri. The, the bugs. Yeah, you, the two you broods that too. are going to be coming out together at the same time, those are the ones yep. east of the Mississippi. Is there two, two kinds coming out? There will be billions of them. Yeah, two kinds. Uh huh. And um, yeah, like Colorado has, uh, I want to say, what what did we look up? 29 different species just in Colorado. But the ones mm -hmm. that are, uh, the news is talking about the big two, the two large broods coming out at the same time. Those are the east of the Mississippi ones, like Sam has mentioned, all those places. As long as they don't sting and things like close that. To the Mississippi not, and all like close to the Mississippi, those, but yet east of the Mississippi as well would be predominant. But there are some on the west of the Mississippi going all the way literally from Iowa down. Right. Just not the same. What is it? That, They're that all coming out even, now. I know. What is it? Is it the eclipse? Exactly. No, it's, it's, the, um, it's the annual it's time. time. It's just time. Uh, two of Okay. Yeah, two of them emerge every 13 years. Um, the other one emerges every 17 years. And those are two that they're talking about are going to be like a large brood coming out. Um, uh -huh. uh, because they, they breed and they like they grow and form under the ground. And then they come out after they're done growing and everything. Um, but they look like they, they're not like mosquitoes. Audrey asked if they were like mosquitoes. They look like... How can they stay under the ground alive for so long? They look like very big beetle-winged cockroaches. Grow under it. And they, really to me, round, um, they look like a, a regular house fly, kind of, but like a hundred times bigger. They're, they're about this... They're about that big, and and they're I mean they're like a small mouse or something. They're not mm -hmm. small, and they make a lot mm -hmm. of noise. And okay, I'm sure you how long do they live? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, what, what happens when billions just come out? Then what? You know, for how long? Then, then they mate, and then yeah. they go down and lay there or crawl back in the ground. And they or, make or, more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. And I think it's all summer long that they're emerging and, you know, growing. I, I don't know. Oh, they how come out in waves, long. like, don't they? Right. Uh, Let me see. As they're ready, kind of deal. And why it's kind of like when we had the silkworms. <laughs> Let's see. Well, you know, and that, that is one of the plagues listed in, in, uh, yeah, it during the you know the opening of the seal, then one of the earthquakes and plagues and you know volcanoes. What do and they all call it? Pestilence or something? Eh? Right. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. We've already had that. Yeah, that was the, the, the virus. Yeah. You know. And, yeah. and there will uh, be more, and there's others. There's new ones now that they're not talking about again. Like I, we talked about a, a bacterial virus that is out in the hospitals, and it's not being discussed. But it is, no. but it isn't. Mm. And uh, I would, anytime anyone ever goes to the doctor's office or gets a blood pressure cuff ever put on you, immediately go home and shower. Please do, because I ha I have experienced, like, I just, I'm never usually sick, and I was just sick for, like, a week. Um, and it was a week following uh, a doctor's office visit. So, yep. listen. Oh, nasty. I've got to go to the hospital on mm. Tuesday. Yeah, um, I would, touch. I, you know, 
I, I where, seriously, where I would get an M95, a real, a real microbacterial that you mask. Breathe through. The moment you go in there, uh, do not. I mean, wear an absolute. Go by top of the line M95 mask. That's the only one that actually filters out bacteria, mm -hmm. microbacteria. It's the only one rated for it. Do not wear a fake mask because a fake mask only stops your breath going out, not you breathing in. And if you do th that and you go to the doctor, then you'll be okay. But immediately, the moment, and I would wear gloves. I wouldn't touch any countertops. Yeah. I would be careful where you sit. Uh, right. Everything, it, because the, it, everybody we know that goes to the doctors or the hospitals is coming back sick. Right, and that's twice for me. Like, every 90 days I have to go in and, that, that you know, like... Yeah, it's getting and more. That's part of the new thing is they're talking about this fungal virus that's actually a fungus, but and a virus. I don't want to mess Look with that. Rebecca's face as well. It's like, and I, I believe that's what we lost <laughs> our dear friend. Uh, 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 it's like or, beetles uh, virus. It's like, oh yeah, beetles no. and pestilence. But it's true. No. This is like, this well, there's is all sorts happening all around climate us. Change. Climate change is going to bring all kinds of new bugs and animals and things that we didn't have here that weren't here before and are going to move up to us. I mean, there's sharks in the ocean in, in New York Harbor right now, you know, right. great white. Um, and they, they are aren't supposed to be there. Right. And if you look around, chances Climate are you have out a lot earlier than you should yeah. um, or different kinds of bugs. Uh, there's even been birds migrating. Like there was, I don't know exactly specifically what bird it was, but it's usually not in our area at all. And it was, right. everyone it's, was it's, all abuzz. The birds. Migration patterns are changing because everything's yeah, changed. Yeah, so, yeah, we're not in so, Kansas anymore and our, and our oldest. Yeah, they even, in, they in even rewrote the, the, the seasonal planting diagram right. for Farmer's Almanac right. showing that our, mm -hmm. our, our, our areas, you know, planting our sections, well, yeah, they've all changed. So they've right. completely rewritten it, and they didn't do that before. And we're gonna we're gonna right. be in for a hell of a year, uh, heat wise and water wise. You're either gonna scorch, or you're gonna drown. You're gonna scorch probably, especially in the U.S. Because uh, like where we were hitting yesterday, we were 70 degrees. I went to pick up the kids after school, 70 some 73 degrees, and the sun is coming in on my. I, I had just had some black pants on, but. It's usually not that bad, but like it was hurting to have the sun, <laughs> you know, without my window, like tinted window rolled up, like just to have the raw sun hitting on my leg. And this is at like almost four o'clock in the afternoon. This is burning hot on the like just pants, right. close skin on skin, yeah. it's burning hot feeling. It's not That's comfortable that to go. larger home. star. Yeah, it's yeah, because not even through the clouds today, today, I could see that they were still doing the candy striper thing behind the clouds. And that's just that. insane to think they were still busy doing that. So obviously they were trying to keep out the radiation or whatever, you know. The heat. Lock the heat, lock the light. The heat, the drying out my, um, I have the sun that shines on my windows on the east. And I have a, a line of aspen trees and where the sun hits the windows and that heat and reflection from the window has been beaming on two of these aspen trees. It's killed them. It's dried them out. It's like they've yeah. almost, you know, that I, I'm, I'm glad and I'm lucky probably that they have not just spontaneously combusted one day in the hot sun with the freaking like a microscope, you know, focusing yeah. the sun, you know what I mean? Yeah, but that, that, can do that. You can do that. You yeah. can do that with a with a uh, uh, a Ziploc baggie full of water. And a Ziploc oh baggie word. full of water. If you hang it from, <laughs> I learned in Arizona, it flies are bad out there. So you can actually hang baggies of uh, Ziploc baggies of water from your deck, and it scares flies away. Like it'll, <laughs> it'll keep flies away. To, uh, you know. Well, that's interesting. But, yeah, I'll be there yeah. hanging out with little Ziploc baggies. <laughs> oh, what, what is all that? Oh, we're keeping the flies away. Okay, I guess it's a lot more attractive than a fly strip. And who wants to be like, who wants to die stuck to something? Not sure. being able to move, right? I am going to go to the little scientist room again. Okay, okay. Sam.
Yeah. Um, I wanted to I, tell you um, that Apophis, the asteroid, was named for Apep. Uh, yeah, Apep, that snake thing. Apep is what was known at, in, in what they call it in ancient Egyptian, right? But Apophis is the same as Apep. And so the actual named asteroid is called Apophis, but it was named for Apep. Apep, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, we've all been doing our homework. Tara, We're all good girls Tara, and boys. Tara said you're supposed to put a penny in that bag of water, and I would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I've always seen too. Have you heard that? Nicole? No, mm -hmm. I did not heard that. Uh -uh. Put a penny in it too. Yeah. Okay. Try that. I mean, it's just a penny, right? So I never, never yeah. walk over a penny or a nickel. If you see a penny on the ground, don't think, oh, it's just a penny. Who needs a penny? Pick it up. Oh, they because kept saying to me uh, at work, oh, never cross someone going up and down the stairs. Never cross anyone on the stairs. I'm like, well, if geez, these people here are all superstitious. If you pass over, well, it, it kind of, it's true for us. Like if you pass a coin on the street thinking, oh, I don't need it. It's well, it could be a spirit talking to you, sending you a little so like look at the date on it, or B, it could if you tell the universe, I'm not gonna pick that up because I don't need it, you're telling the universe don't send me any any more funds. So you know, perhaps pick up those pennies or pick up those coins because then you're I telling me everything was a magic penny or a magic stone and I always felt compelled that, yes. if I saw a stone or one got stuck in my shoe. They were magic, and I had to keep them. Well, why not, right? Weird. I mean, I, I was know, a weird yeah. baby. Sorry, I was a weird baby. I don't think <laughs> that's weird. I mean, you know, it's just what messages are we giving out? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Well, yeah. this little girlie's got to go to sleep soon, so. Well, good night, Jillian. Good night, mm -hmm. Jillian. Good night, peoplesses. I don't want to miss night. anything. That's the thing. This is my night. I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> No, uh, we haven't done a lot of work on this show. We talk more metaphysical than anything else tonight. We're well, meant to do that sometimes, aren't we? It's more like an esoteric yes. mm -hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Fill yeah. our spirit up as well as our brains with the... There you go. Citizen science. Exactly. Citizen science. Yeah, we, after all, all of us have, have spent many, many years learning other things besides Nibiru and the planets and Good Once in a while, we get a little gossipy and share that stuff, and 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 not only that, we also have to blame all those nice, wonderful people out there in the comments section who were asking us questions like that tonight. So, yeah, yeah. so it's their fault. We lead each other along, like we learn from each other, don't we? So. That's the idea. Yes, we learn. From, we're not past the buck people. So, teachers is what we need to know on the <laughs> night. So there you go. All right, go to bed, Jillian. <laughs> yes, Sam. And thank you for my letter. I wish it would come. Yeah, yeah. It, well, you know, they're, sw they're swimming it over as you speak. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And yeah, paddling it in the boat. Yeah. It's Maybe it's in the same one my cat sand got lost in because I got. You ought to get it in a, a day or two. Of, yeah. It's usually about a week. Am well, a thing off Amazon saying, We're very sorry. There's a problem with your cat sand this time. It doesn't have the right address. Okay, yeah. it's done 24 times I've got that stuff off them. And this time, they just got the wrong address. How's that possible? Mm. They hired a new employee that week? Um, you know, the people that I talked to in the USPS when I went over Christmas, when I was trying to get the stuff to Sam, I got a hold of a lady that called pronounced Butte, Montana, Butty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Butty. So yeah, well, a lot of people know. haven't heard of Butte, Montana. This rather unique town. It's a copper mine from hell. What a town! Holy cow! But Love Butte. Butte. I've never heard that. Yeah, well, um, it's spelled B-U-T-T-E. Oh, well, I know, and but I've never called it Butte. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's well, you know. Sounds look, like look, look like a, a Butte sandwich. Of uh, some folks that are a little younger than we are. I'm a well, little concerned. Still, Yes, I am concerned, especially when they give me that horrified look when I hand them some change. I've counted out, and they look at me, and oh, then yeah. they ask, is is this it? Well, yeah, I, I don't I know. To, I count it. I, I had to uh, <laughs> teach a clerk at, at, at Lowe's how to hand out change for a $50 bill the other day. 
oh and gosh. being the manager Make in me, you know, because I've run hotels and bars and restaurants, I, 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 I said, okay, now I want you to take the time and count the change back to me. But what this is yeah. where you do, you start at the change, you start with the coins, and then that way you meet your first dollar, and then you hand me the rest of that and count it out to me personally as the customer and yourself at the same mm -hmm. time so that you make right. sure you're handing me the proper change rather than short right. me or short you in your till for your job. And this kid was like, wow, okay, cool. And I was like, you mean nobody ever taught you that before? Because no, they're used to the machine telling them how much to give. Yes. I was always told and taught, well, you can't use a calculator in real life, so you can't use one in school. <laughs> so, well, in bartending, you know, in bartending and when a customer hands you money you do not walk up and ring it up and stick it in the drawer you walk up and lay it on the dr drawer top uh, in front okay. of you or something then ring it up that way you're looking at the bill you felt the bill you paid attention to what the customer has mm -hmm. handed you you then ring it up you then start with your change count your change and then put that customer's bill in the drawer after you've removed yours because then you have gone through the, the equation in your head in front of you, knowing exactly if you lose count in the middle of the count, you know exactly what the customer gave you because it's still in front of you. Mm -hmm. I learned that bartending because there's always That's these guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, you see the main I gave you a 20. No, you gave me a 10 and it's right there sitting. I haven't put it away yet. Well, you did yeah, that clever. Customer. Oh, I guess that. Oh, so I, you know, it's, it, you know, it's, you know, I, I've worked at, you know, fast food restaurants. I've worked at hotels. I've worked in bar. I've, you know, done it. So it's you done that. Got the t-shirt. You, mm -hmm. you just learn. There's, there's a program and process. Same thing with science. There's a program and a process, and you have to go through those. And if you don't, if you don't follow your management skills, then you fail. And you got shit right. that you don't see, and you let this go, and you let that go, and you whoops, did I? Oh, I did. I did. I miss that because. And, and not many places will employ you much longer if you continually keep coming up with a short drawer oh, yeah, or yeah. Short funds in yeah, your drawer. Yeah, money, you're you're gone. I mean, yeah. Well, if you can't I, count, they're not going to keep you, are they? I was supposed to get a dollar and a penny back, and um, she gave me, she wanted to give me a $10 bill and a penny back, and I... Mm, thank you. I appreciate being paid, but... Uh, Honest thank you. people yeah. can't you, well, take you don't dare that. take it, because, you know, the moment so you sorry. drive out of the parking lot, if you take that $10 much. bill and you drive out of the parking lot, somebody's going to run into your car. You know karma's going to get you right away. Well, yeah, which is why you don't step away. You give it back and let them know oh, it was a dollar and a penny, not a $10 and a penny. Yeah. No. Well, unfortunately, school uh, has changed and they've cut funding and yes. they, they're cramming them in elderly, ancient facilities that are decaying and toxic. And but, uh, who wants to go and teach where you have who wants to take the job it's one of the lowest paying salaries that you can i get that they get you know the 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 summers off and that they have some pretty cool hours but they get the worst pay our sports figures and teachers should reverse their pays i think and, and look at the the their our arcane system of tenure and who run the you know vice principal principal and all of right. that and you can have, you know, no uh, uh, cordial behavior between the, those in power and those who are working and trying to do sure. education. And that happens a lot where the people who are in charge have no educational skills and don't know sociology among people either. And good business sense. They're just somehow, why do they pick the weirdest damn principles? Anyway, <laughs> I, I had an argument with them. Vice principal when I, I was in fourth grade. So anyway, I had one that had um, a like elephantitis of two fingers or whatever. I was getting in trouble for having pitched school, but they only caught me when they realized that someone else that they came in looking for wasn't there. So it was like, hey, <laughs> you know, oh, uh, but built by association, horrible, horrible. I mean, oh, the yeah, only like, that wasn't in school after. Uh, 
three months, so it's not like they noticed yeah. me. <laughs> Jillian, go to bed. Taken... Yeah. Nah, you're blinking. Look at your bed. eyes. Go to bed. I your know. eyes are She looks sleepy. Night. Yeah. <laughs> not gonna miss anything. Well, you can watch the show later. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch you guys when I go to bed now. There you go. Yeah. Just remember five yeah, hours, 20 we'll see minutes. You. Okay. Night and night, people. Good night. Good night. Thanks for being Bye. here. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Night. Hopefully, I'll see you Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Night night. Bye-bye. Yeah. Night. night. Trying night. to leave. Bye. I can help. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, the button, button. I know. I was like, I hate to boot her, but you know. Yeah, you know, she, likes, she doesn't want to. She does not want to quit because she's like, you I know, know. Hard I trying don't to be blame with her. Too bad. She's done. And we are part of her life, and and hopefully, yeah. hopefully, out there, all you people, uh, Irene and Andrea and and Tara and uh, Tara and everybody, hopefully, we're part of your life as well, and we become. Um, where you guys get used to us and our personas and our personalities, like you know, like favorite DJs on MTV, and uh, and or characters of the from, or the Tri Channel. I was I was pointing that out to uh, I don't oh yeah I, I, I told that to Leandra the other day about the Tri Channel. I think it was the what it's a bunch of Irish tri folks. Channel. It's called yeah uh -huh. it's it's on YouTube. It's the Tri Tri Network. T R Y. Okay. And there are a yeah. bunch of Irish folks, and they try all kinds of things from hot peppers to different drinks to alcoholic beverages to pizzas mm. to American food to uh, fast buy items on American television. You name it. They, they're they're a group of people, and they have an, an interviewer, and then they put the two at a time, and you get to see how they interact with whatever they're trying. And it, I I watch a lot of it. I've not heard you mention that one yet. The Tri Channel. Yeah, the Tri Channel. Yeah. Yeah. I watch yeah. a lot of YouTube. A lot of yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Well, regular well, you know, you TV. Gotta, you got to get used to people. You know, all the all the different cultures, and you know, I, I watch a lot yeah. of people. People watching right. can be thing, can be entertaining, can be educational. Um, but entertaining is always fun. Well, right. you know, I, I'm a hermit with, with, uh, internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. So you're saying you're looking for the end of the internet on a regular basis? Uh, well, uh, um, uh, they, uh, my internet may be messed up or our internet may be messed up on the 8th. If, if shit hits yeah. the fan and all, you know, and everything falls apart and we get massive, crazy, you know, biblical earthquakes of the new Madrid fault line and this country gets dumped into some sort of, you know, Armageddon or, you know, knock back to caveman era uh, uh, examples. Um, and we can't talk anymore. We don't know. I mean, this could happen at any time. I mean, we kept calling and asking for some sort of major yeah. event to get people to look up, but. I think we went overboard. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Careful what you wish for, you know. And I'm, I, I'm concerned. I'm, I'm enticed. Yeah. I'm, I'm inspired. I'm thrilled. I mean, I'm yeah. exuberated. And there's, you know, this level of anticipation. Like, is there really something coming? And biblically, according to all of these religions, you know, you know, herd, herd mentality and all. If all these people are expecting something to happen. And this level of, of herd mentality is calling for something. I mean, that's powerful shit. So ooh, here we go. And I can feel it. I can feel everybody's edgy and weird. And it's just like, wow. Yes. I mean, yes. You know, I've noticed I, I'm enjoying my mood, but it's different. I it's, hear it's that. Kind of, A lot of it, it, the word almost reticent. On. Where you feel, but they're hesitant, but it, you feel an energy level that's sort of caught in mid-flight. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. There's something mm, happening. I've seen it, too. Something I've been witnessing it you. in other situations around me. Like so. the Vietnam War. Uh, that song uh, that they've now attributed to the Vietnam War where... Uh, I can't remember the band name, but anyway, yeah, it, the, during the Vietnam War, there was a real, there was a bright feeling, but it was also edgy. 
Uh, people were, we were in the 70s and things started getting better economy wise and people started actually living because of the war. Because <laughs> wartime economies actually do better. And then I, I remember in the 70s and, and stuff, they were saying, you know, you're going to end up in Nam and all of that. But, um, and my older brothers were registered for the draft and all of that. So there was an edgy, you know, something's about to happen. And yet people were trying to remain as, as confident and, and comfortable as possible. Uh, I, uh, and the religious community, oh my goodness, they're going off hook, line, and sinkler over this, you know, here we go, opening of the sixth seal, and, and the new Madrid, and like that television reporter said, the, the, uh, the eclipse earthquake, because he attached the two, because obviously yeah. he'd watched some information leading to that in his area, and he absorbed that media and didn't even realize that he was subconsciously saying eclipse See earthquake don't you i truly believe because we have seen evidence that these you know major newscasters are reading scripts because they they all say the same that right. same, they'll say it down to the same word word so you're, you're word. saying he was handed yeah. that information you think yeah. that they're yeah well look you know they have been putting yeah. out uh, uh emergency alerts and warning people they to have? buy it for groceries and and be I close just, to home and they've yeah. given the kids the days off in school and you know maybe there is going to be some sort of a tectonic uh geologic event from a full solar lunar or solar eclipse and uh it's entirely possible and again look what happened in new jersey yesterday and we've had 30 uh, i can go back and look again maybe they've upgraded it um but we've seen earthquake in some strange spots all over the planet right now and there are large ones as well and let me go in here and do that real quick and adjust it to the last seven days magnitude all in above new jersey and list only the quakes in the map and we're looking at 35. okay there have been five uh quakes 1.9, 1.8, 1.7, 1.9, and a 2.5. Uh, oh, there's more. There's more than five today. 1.9, 1.7. But then I was telling you, yeah, there's been five since the update. But um, today okay. there have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to nine quakes today, aftershocks alone. And it's all in the same area. In the same spot where so something in or something right there is going on is that, that is New, York, a cluster so New, jersey. Uh, New jersey white house station new jersey gladstone mm -hmm. gladstone oh boy. uh califon califon gladstone bedminster white house station bedminster bedminster gladstone was the 3.8 uh, that was yesterday and there were 30, uh, well, 19 as of 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And today there are 35 as of now. And I, I cannot see a win. Okay, the auto update was uh, 1733 UTC. Okay. All right, that's enough of that. Hmm. So there have been 35 in that same spot. So the, with the movement is still continuing yeah and it, it, that is extremely rare for that area and so there's more coming it is right. unusual isn't it you don't i i've never seen you know all those videos like we no and not in that area there is, uh, there is not a generically geologically never. active occasion going on in there since 1817 something 1780 and they had they had a six pointer and they had a five pointer in that area which are were more to the north and that that whole area is uh geologically folding and it has many different layers to minute um tectonic fracturing that are not listed by just by calling it that one fracture zone and of course it does lead all the way down to north carolina and south carolina as well in that same fracture zone and well, you know, you know what? I'm going back there. I'm going to check the number of the new Madrid. 
which is what we, you know, what brought us here in the first place. Let's have a look at that real fast because there is activity in Texas and, oh, and in Oklahoma. Uh, you had an earthquake oh, in Oklahoma yesterday and it was a 3.0. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to increase the bandwidth of Does it go say where the Black epicenter w. was? Um, it was probably Oklahoma City, middle of the state. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, seven days, all magnitude in your area. Okay, there have been many. Okay, let's go into the Missouri thing. All right, let's. I found only. this. They said this is okay. Uh, so only six previous. in in uh, Missouri, in Marston uh, and Sandberg, Sandberg and Marston, Missouri, uh, Missouri, which is right at the Arkansas Missouri Tennessee border. Okay, go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, I, I was just a picture I found yesterday or about um, a previous time when there was a total eclipse and this was, you know, a capture. People were, oh, okay. wow. you know, trying to get in the path of totality, you know, and they crammed together on the highway. I don't know what year it was. No, I went in 1979 so, for one. And by the okay. cars, this looks like the 1979 Maybe, yeah. one. And, uh, yeah, I, I went and skipped school and got in trouble for it, too. And, and we went out and watched the eclipse with our eclipse glasses and saw it. <laughs> cool. I got I detention. Bet, I, for it. I just wonder if this is why they're calling out the National Guard, because it could be like this times 20 yeah. or oh, something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. um, I think the weather report has quelled a whole bunch of that because literally uh, Texas through Oklahoma, the corner of El uh, the eastern southeastern corner of Oklahoma is going to be cloudy and right. including possible um, parts of Missouri as well. So and they were talking how supposedly the cloud coverage would be clear literally in Indiana and all of that in Illinois. And, and so we'll see. See what happens. Let us hope. I know. Uh, there's going to be really nasty weather coming in right before then, so or and after. So, huh. I've been watching all the weather and doing, you know, doing my homework thing because, as as you know, as source provides, we have somebody writing in uh, Arabic, and I would have to translate that real quick. Copy, go to translate. And go to auto setting once. Okay. Auto detect in Arabic. Guy. It says, do you remember what I told you? There will be a big earthquake in America and I will be sure that it will happen very soon. Thank you. Um, yeah. Huh. Yep. Well, you know, I, I too yeah. am waiting for a volcanic activity in the United States. I'm also waiting for the Juan de Fuco plate and the tectonic plate running all the way with the San Andreas to do some, it's been busy. Uh, the weight, the new weight on the state of California from all the rain and water and lake that they haven't had for many, many years uh, is now going to affect that. And then there's been massive uh, uh, offshore underwater volcanic activity off the coast of uh, Vancouver Island and off the coast of, of Oregon. So there are lots of stuff going on. And of course, uh, St. Helens and Rainier and um, uh, et cetera have been um, rumbling and doing stuff, watching them too. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, you know, I, uh, it, it, this is in Arabic. And I imagine um, this gentleman, I'm going to assume it's a gentleman. I apologize if it's not um, <laughs> warning us because, yes, this is in their text as well, calling for a great event to happen within two days you guys here we go and i you know i, I want to wake up on the ninth and laugh but uh i do too i want to be on uh have our next show on tuesday or show 51 mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah mm -hmm. so let's hope for the best but you know like you know get do you know buy a little extra food today tomorrow uh just right. keep it in mind that you know, something cool could happen or something bad could happen like, you don't want that but do you think if okay well okay so it could happen it, something crazy could happen 
anytime that day. It right. doesn't have to be just during totality, right? Yeah, it could happen、oh, today.、Right. It could happen tomorrow. Anytime. I get it. Well, you got to look at all the weather. I mean, look what's been happening in China, France, and, and you know,、yeah. all around the world. These people are losing their homes, an entire village at a time or a city at a time. And what's going on in China? Oh, God, for the last couple of weeks, Christ, since December. I mean, China has been getting hit over and over and over again with these major storms. And there's no, there's no、yeah. news coming out of Russia, so we can't, we can't cross reference Russia. Although I'm pretty sure that's exactly what's going on, you know, Siberia, et cetera. And there's a big a volcano、video. that went off in Kamchatka and it's really big. And that's、yeah. uh, in the northern islands、uh, north of Japan, up in Kamchatka. Look it up on your map.、Uh, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things going on that are really, you know, and、uh, New Zealand's been hopping up again,、uh, this, the subduction plate around New Zealand. And let's not forget the Christchurch earthquake that happened in New Zealand only a few years ago. And a lot of people suffered from that. And then, you know, there was a 7.2 or something in, in Java this last week, and fives and sixes everywhere around the world. And let's not forget what Greece and Sicily and Italy and all of that whole area are going through. They're having seismic activity that's really、uh, it's highly suspect. So、uh, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I was gonna say, I have a video to share if you want to take a peek at that. Yeah, please do. I, I gotta go get another Coke、events. anyway. I'm, I'm dry here. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Let's get that. Everything you just mentioned is probably in this video. <laughs> probably. It's busy. Now, now there's yeah, something、right、here, y'all. Look how pink and red that sky is. Look at that. Look at that. This was sent to me by these two guys over here, y'all. This is in Seattle, Washington at five o'clock in the morning, y'all. See, that is the same light that was here a few weeks ago in Florida, only this is a lot more pronounced. This is a lot more pronounced. Look at this shit. The sky's red.、Uh, currently five o'clock in the morning. Now, we've been seeing this all over the world, y'all. We've been seeing this in Canada, Philadelphia, more in Seattle. The last time was in Seattle, Florida. This has been everywhere. Obviously,、uh, yeah. like I said, something、Thanks、big is here because we see all these changes in the sky on the ground. There. Yeah. Now, the planets are now going beyond Earth. So everybody said, well, why can't we see them? Well, at night, we're facing away from where they used to be generically over the last few years. And now that Atu is past Earth at night, we are getting to see her purple illumination of her face. And、this is why we're seeing it all around the world, is because these planets are above us and going beyond us at night. And now we're seeing facial illumination. You may continue. Okay. That's pretty, pretty vivid. Down in the water, in the animals, and even in people. There's a lot of things happening with people. People are feeling all types of ways because these are huge electromagnetic entities and they are pulling and pushing on our energies, y'all. So, yes, it's、Planet. going to affect us. These are bigger than Earth. Electromagnetic entities, planet. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been messaging him. I mean, you know, we communicate, him and I. Cool, cool.、Uh, mm-hmm. This is, the,、uh, this is the, the, the big Iceland volcano. There's two of them currently burping. There's one to the left or, yeah, to the right of it. And the, the thing keeps falling in. It's very cute. Big now. And more of the gorilla hail. Yeah, that now Saudi Arabia turned to flooding. Really bad flooding all over Saudi Arabia. Wow, that looks like ring illumination. Man. Wow. Which is what? Well, a object wants to have illumination. And this cloud、oh, here、gosh. is just bright. That would be the, probably the red asteroid. See the shape? I'm going to back it up a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. See the flat, see the flat face? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, the one、dude. flat face with little sister behind it. Right now? That's. 
That We've is not seen that, that I remember. Illuminated at night. Holy shit. What a capture. I don't know what's going on, guys. It's a fucking night sky. That is behind here. it. It's, it's just oh. bright. That is the red asteroid and little sister. And you can go to the monthly site drawing. We have never seen an April forecast for this many storms. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this. The experts at Colorado State are calling for 23 yeah, main storms. Earlier, 23. That's nine more than average. 11 will become hurricanes yeah. and five will reach Twice, category three, three times or higher, normal. becoming major hurricanes. The numbers are a little shocking, but they reflect the warnings for a very active season that we've been sharing with you. Some <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, these are these sideways intense storms with very, very high rates of, of wind speed that are uh, part of the jet stream issues, part of the passing planet and asteroid issues that can occur. We we do not have, you know, we, our normal weather is gone. We're in trouble. Yeah. High winds used to be 35 miles an hour. Now they're 90. Violet. Yeah, it is. It's like a hurricane, is. but it's. And you this know. is why I keep telling everybody if you have a roof, you are lucky. Right. Yes. Uh, snow in the desert. There's the tornado. God. Oh my God. Thank God it ain't in my house. Something to do. I don't think that's real. Go ahead. Oh, man, look at that. Back blow to the left. What is it blasting on? What is it? <clears throat> what is it? What? What is that coronal mass ejection hitting right there? Right, right, right. I just recorded that, you all. Hang on. Are you saying there's something there stopping it, Sam? See that dark area in the upper left? I do. See it hit something and yeah. knocked back. Hmm. Right. Now that you mention it, yeah, the upper left. Now remember, of we think that our star is currently below and to the right of the bigger star. So if it, if it was the side and they're filtering it out, right. then it would be to the upper left of our star. And we were expecting, now remember when the, the second star and the our star got proximity we, they did the back glow cmes of 2012 so it is expected as they are separating that our star would be reacting and sending out back glow cmes to the other star as well currently upon separation as well so that is a very good example that you see it go way way out and it's reaching it and it's something and backs away which would be the surface of another larger object right Thing. And they're filtering it out. Because nothing ever leaves NASA without being redacted. Ever. Right, right. Of course. Right. 
Yeah. It does look like something's bouncing off. When the wind just kicked up, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if it had any rotation. And, you know, even the, even the legends in the Bible tell us that the bodies in space that are currently here and all of this is coming to fruition this year right now. And so this is, you know, it's all boiled down to, and I, you know, I don't want to sound like I did in 2013, like, oh, God, we're in deep shit, because I really, when we first, you know, saw the first close passes of the asteroids, I thought for sure we were done. And many years later, you know, 11 years later, we were in the I've really been a type of person that... On March 27th, impacting several cities in the region, dust storms with visibility less than one kilometers were reported in the northern and eastern parts of Bautu City, as well as the central and northern and areas. And that's dust that comes from the, um, 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 I know the name of their desert. Uh, reducing visibility to a very nasty desert. These adverse weather conditions severely disrupted transportation. Gobi, you know, the Gobi Desert. Which is also happening to China. They, they, they've lost their industry for making things has fallen apart this year. There's mass oh, unemployment. Really? Yeah, there's mass really? unemployment going on. They have so many, many companies around things? the world have backed out and pulled away. Tire companies, you name it. Uh, manufacturing companies left and right. And then they've also had a very large, fraudulent uh collapse of their housing market which is most of what their economy was based on and that will affect ours it's just a matter of time and the only reason that our economy hasn't gone bad from it so far is because we are at the top of the economies around the world right now after recovery from uh, the virus we have the best economy in the, on the entire planet right now <laughs> So yeah, we and we added three hundred and thirty some new thousand jobs last month alone, or the last uh, recorded period. Right. Yeah, and yeah, there's massive I'm surprised fires. Surprised to hear in that because there's so many people on TikTok talking about how they can't score a an interview. Even you know, we're getting two and three uh, interviews. Uh, they're having a really on. bad time. There's a whole a whole industry of of graduated students this year that yeah. haven't even got the least remote prospect of getting a job it kind of right. happened to us uh, years ago too uh here in the united states where all these people couldn't even get a job and i've been through a few of those you know a couple of recessionary periods you know the 70s and the 80s and then and oh by the way yeah the trumpets were going off over israel again and everybody who's religious in that area yeah. was freaking out yeah I would too if I heard that. It sounds like a Godzilla or something. Big giant trap, you know. Right, right. Giant sailing ship. Yeah, Taiwan had a biggie. Look at how hard and how long they end up shaking. And that was only just like a week ago. April 2024. Oh, A non-pinned foundation, but a good foundation because the building's still intact, except for pancaking the first floor. Welcome to Building on Sand. Yeah, they had flash flooding all over Saudi Arabia, camels being washed down the thing, landslides around the world everywhere. Germany had issues, France had issues, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, you name it.
I don't know if I'd stand there or not. Yeah, yeah, uh, you'd be, be breathing dust before you know I'm it. I might be choking in a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would be. I would not be standing there. I I went through Mount St. Helens and ended up cleaning up a lot of that stuff because I worked for the Parks Department at the time, and um, not not a fun right. task. No. No, gosh, no. Volcanic ash, of course, is far worse than dirt and dust because it's much finer. So NASA is going to shoot three rockets at the eclipse. Yeah, you heard me right. NASA is launching rockets at the solar eclipse. Let me tell you, I thought this was BS. I'm not kidding. Until I read it from several sources, including NASA. Yeah, so now they're going to shoot rockets at a solar eclipse. Let me kind of give you my ideas of this. A solar eclipse is when the moon gets between the sun and the earth, blocking out part or most of the sun. And that's what makes the shadow over the earth, like you can see here on the map. So my question is, what is NASA shooting the rockets at? Are they shooting rockets at the shadow? Because that makes no sense. How can you launch rockets at a shadow? Are they shooting rockets at the moon? Because that's what makes the eclipse, the moon being between the sun and the earth. Or are they just shooting rockets at the earlier. sun? Temperature is it just the sun studies. saying they're shooting rockets at the eclipse the just doesn't make sense to, to me? What, what are they aiming for? Well, I guess we'll all find out in less than a mm -hmm. week. Shabadoo, Bushkies. Shabadoo. Mm -hmm. That's it. I love his energy level. Yeah. Shabadoo. Yeah. And, and only he gets Shabadoo. away with Shabadoo. that. Shabadoo? Shabadoo. Shabadoo. What does that mean? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, a lot of people Shabadoo. have tried the cheese hat before. <clears throat> before and Yeah, you know, it works for him. Give, and he it, works, he works it, well. Uh -huh. It does yes. work for him. Yeah. You remember who he is, so, you know, it's like. I know. It sets him apart. I was never, I was always a Vikings fan. I was never a Wisconsin fan, you know. Right. Oh, well. Right. Is yeah, that, I, is that, I love football, football. Is that, um, oh, cheese said, okay, football. See, that's what I was going to ask. What does that pertain to? Oh, yeah. it's, oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, that would be for the uh, Green Bay Packers, right? Wisconsin Chiefs. Has. Probably, oh, yes. I see. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, I am, um, <clears throat> there was only the one request for the slide, so I put together some oh, pictures yeah. for you. Okay. Did you send them to me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. They're all Perfect. ready. Buddy. Thanks. Let's see. You are very welcome. I, Just some see. interesting right. stuff. Right. Um, the colors. Let's see here. Uh, what was the last one that who who was that for? Uh, there was one that um, I did the one I think that was Margaret's pictures. This Margaret. Morning, this, okay. Yeah. And then this one's titled Colorado, April 2024. Uh, these are yours. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, the second yeah. message from the Facebook user, the second message from the Facebook user in Arabic says, you have a sign before the event at 3 p.m. Well, the, the event will um, be sooner for me where I'm located. Standard? And, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, it'll be noon for me before it happens. All right. It'll be one forty-five for me. When, right. when the eclipse happens. Uh -huh. Right. And, and, and around right. Ohio or uh, so uh, the New, 3 PM Pennsylvania, November it'll be the time about? zone change. will be all, it'll be forward by that time by, by Eastern standard time, perhaps. Gotcha. So this is just what uh, the skies in Colorado look like this week. Um, the last few Boy, days. Boy, look how just... dark that is up at top there. Yeah. Okay, looking at the see. light on the trees. If you're looking at the left picture, that's 5.18 p.m. The sun is... Behind us, I think. Behind us, yep. And that would mean that we're staring in the upper right corner of the left picture would be at to above overhead at looking to the northwest if we are if the sun is behind us at that hour oh excuse me looking uh take that back we're looking if the sun is behind us at 5 p.m we are looking to the 
southeast. Blah, blah, blah. Wow, and where I got that from. Um, um, okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm all spun. Yeah, I said anything. It's a great picture. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely feeling the fact that we were working on our sixth hour. Um, okay, I'll yeah, look at the, the right hand picture and the sunlight is. Oh, oops, I lost it. Oh, gone. I bet. So, Sorry. Oh, mm -hmm. on, yeah. yeah. Um, I believe what we're looking at here, because the illumination is to the left. And yes. this is what? What's the time on this? Uh, for, 6 47 p.m. Okay. So we are looking at uh, is Satsum's yellow moon in the upper right. We're part. looking northwest. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. yellow moon, definitely. Yellow and then a satin partially behind it on the middle right, and then of course Nibiru is farther over to the right, but in this, but just the edge of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other one I was wondering if that was the red asteroid, because um, we're looking. I don't north. see it per se on the left picture. I, I see that more over as normal clouds. With a really, yeah. really dark background in the background. I mean, some of the smaller exactly. stuff in the upper part of the picture may be planetary clouds, but I think this is just a normal cloud um, okay. left picture. Yeah. I am getting dingy. <laughs> and you're using you're one eye to look. I you know, do also um, see some some shadowing too. You know, there's some a darker blue towards the top. Yeah, yeah there's right. definitely a planet up mm -hmm. at the top. You know, there's always going to be yeah, darker blue. Totally. The sky is supposed to be generically one light blue color, pretty right. much all the way above right. us. That hasn't been that way for you know over a decade. Sky blue, known as sky blue. That's what that color right. should be. Right. I should be sky blue, not dark. And anybody that walks out their door, and you do it the parking lot 360, if you see dark, dark areas in the sky, you are pretty much most likely looking at a planet. Mm. High, high percentage probability. That one on the right is so good. Look at that. That looks to um, me like the edge of Uri. Yes. And the Dan Asteroid group sticking out with all sorts of stuff on the I mean, left. It's so perfect. It. Yeah. Man. And if you can see, there's actually is a little bit of tan on the yeah. optic dead center on the right. <clears throat> yeah, that, that tan really does come through. Hence the, the tan name. does come through. Let me show and you something. I call the Dan Asteroid. Because I was just looking at a Gosh. different picture and I shared it. While Imagine we've been that. It. Imagine it looks like its name. <laughs> it looks like it's man. Okay. But There's here's so another. Things. You know, that's what I'm thinking when I see your picture, Nicole. Is yeah. This and this one on the right is not one I've seen till today. You know, I saw that. Mm. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's round. So it look just like it. Well, yeah. these are the yeah. side of Yuri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I saw I see Nicole's here on the right, and it's like that's the same. Yep, that's the and side of your as well with the with the yeah. Salamander asteroid group hanging off. That's, that's what that perfect. sort of like mm -hmm. it's almost like Pinocchio's nose, but um, if you were to add the eye mm -hmm. and the and the jaw, and then the little nose is the center. But it's and that's at nine p.m. Oh. and that's looking selfish. At 9 p.m. And yeah. see the illuminated on the right hand picture, see the illuminated white area right next to the lettering and the two trees. Yeah, yeah right above the lettering. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a Seru. That's that little thin line of clouds <laughs> on the side of Seru. Water! <laughs> Just trying to get Seru at some point. Yeah. And see how highly illuminated it is? Yeah, very. I wasn't sure if it was a craft or something. Cause well, it's we know so Sarah's cool. behind. And the more I look at that little tiny thin wispy cloud that runs across her mm -hmm. face at the bottom southern hemisphere of her planet, it's always there. You know, even right. going back to 2011 and 12, it's always there. And it's sort of like her, her upper prelim princess crown before this massive, very intense base cloud that illuminates crazy. And that's what's always bright yellow or orange and looks like a super cell from hell. Then if you, once you get underneath it, you find out it's got a hollow core-like nepesity, but it's way thicker. And nepesity has three rings, and Seru has just this massive thick core. It's just this rounded, massive, very smooth, one deep core base cloud underneath the planet. But that, that cloud was around the southern hemisphere of Seru. 
got you. Uh, the one on the left, um, it, the sun is up uh, over the cloud to the left side. Um, yeah, it's up yeah, above um, the cloud. You may have and, an asteroid in there. It could be the spiral, but I wouldn't. I would generically call this normal clouds. Do you see the top part of this where there's like a little dark circle and then there's like little gun turret looking thingies sticking off out off there? I watched that as it was moving and it was like, I think it's some kind of ship, but it's like, like it was like some kind of like tubing that was going around it and down and. Well, there are yeah. a ton of craft up there. And remember that. It, the, yes. The, uh, we haven't, we have not seen the space tube which is slightly on the right-hand side of the sun, close to the sun, middle to middle downward, off in the distance usually. It's way far in the back, uh, farther back than the long box. Um, we haven't seen that in a month or two, and I'm kind of wondering. So, um, you know, yeah, those really finite dots that look like triangles or, or whatever that don't quite fit into the picture, and yet they really stand out. I would chalk those up as ships nearby, one of the cubes. Right. Right, and then there the are thing that looks so like, many of them up there, and we've seen so there are many. A ton. There's a yeah, ton. Every day, ton, we get ton, reports ton, every, ton. Day, every day at Montana like Skywalk. More, we get and more, every day, and more, every day. There's, but the thing on the right that looks like a cannon. <laughs> that was a lot. We're looking at towards the southwest. We're looking west southwest. The sun is going down. It's behind us over there to the right behind these clouds. Um, so we're looking towards the sun, but this thing was just like, whoa, there was all this structure inside of it. And that's why it's there. Yeah. I, I don't have nothing on that one much. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's really? interesting. You know, I mean, you know, I would, you know, it, the square, the, the small stuff is really okay. Now the, the one on the right. See those three or four or five white blips in the middle of the yeah. cloud? Yeah, right, white. Those, those really look like Star Destroyers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. And we've seen for. enough um, of them that we recognize them. When they're that white blippy and they, they're they shaped very simple, you know, the conning towers and then the thinner tip in mm -hmm. the front, and they're going this direction and that direction and everything. And Okay, now, now with that in mind, I look over to the left picture. You may have a few in there as well, but there right. are other. Yeah. There is a shitload, and they're way out there in a yes. little tiny things. Yeah. But, um, um, I mean, Jillian captured them. We've got, you know, pictures going back years that the they're left, there. The left side. What I'm trying to show in this picture, if you kind of blow it up, is um, there's like that square thingy all the way to the left. The middle one is really bright, white, thick, opaque. And then the one to the right, it's kind of like a, a star -ish shape, like a rectangle star -ish shape. That one is like coming into our atmosphere, I want to say, I'm asking, because it's kind of like not totally there. It's blurry, but the one next to it is like that one's fully come in, but it's like it's almost feathery while well, it's coming in. the one in the middle in, could be normal, a normal cloud, and, you know, we and, then it, and the rest of it, the lighter gray, uh, or lighter blue could be uh, upper atmosphere, and then the ones in the upper area are probably exterior atmosphere because they look completely different and fluffy. Now that I've got the picture blown up, and there's some stuff also underneath the whole right. series of one, two, three clouds as well. Yeah, I watched that look them very, coming. very distant, uh, extra atmospheric yeah. as well. So, like the white one in the middle looked just like the white, the, the smeary feathery one on the right, uh -huh. to the right of it. It looked just like that. And then like it came in to full view, like, yeah, they like it maybe the light. came in closer. Or, yeah, you or have the light it probably make more, makes more difference to you having seen it. And that's why you took a photograph of it. Um, yeah, you got. We we have to. You know, we have to keep watching because there is so much going on, and I, you know, mm -hmm. I can't call unless I watch it for a minute. But um, got it. Got I see it. a lot of really very possible, and I hate to go there, but um, you know, we are doing a little bit of a, a reach here on these shows, and so I would say that you probably have some star destroyers in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It does look like, and it reminds me of 
Jillian's pictures, you know, yeah, and the little, dots and they're elongated. Yeah. They're not, they're not Clouds central are, don't do that. stars or anything like this. And, and you can, right. and you know, we've seen enough pictures over the last decade that we're, you know, kind of good at judging the difference between what right. we're seeing and what we know is out there and what's, what's average and what's normal and what's not normal. This is yes. a really good example. Uh, the cloud yeah. in front dead center on the bottom is a normal cloud. The cloud above and the it one is not further back. That's that fat. That's that feathery thingy I'm telling you about. Like, it's not really there. It's there, but it's not there. That like, is the that is you watch it. atmospheric or extra atmospheric because you can tell the difference in the right. intensity of the cloud and the makeup of the cloud. Yeah, the texture is you. Right, right. Often it's say, feathery yeah. and see through and sort of you know it's like a bird feather instead of a cotton ball. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. It is not as opaque as the right. normal cloud. <laughs> so you can, that's mm -hmm. a great example of the two. And this is this. 12 p.m. High noon. This is high noon. 12 p.m. <laughs> Yesterday. Okay. Looking to the east and the sun is not right over my head. No, and it's behind you. Partially, I'm looking at this shadow on the ground up next to the sign. Uh, this reminds me of an axis tipped nepesity, but yeah, I mean, I usually don't see this kind of sights and in my that sky. Is not the sun in the upper bit. in the upper above the sign there. Yeah, that's the sun. That's, that's the, the sun. sun. That's the sun. Okay, well, why am I seeing the shadow weird then? Wow. Oh uh, wow. Okay. Uh, we're looking where at noon. We're looking east. Wow, and that's exactly where I was thinking that the sun was being very, very weird in that place. Yeah. At noon. I talked yeah. about that in the last couple of weeks where I, and that's now you just verified that it's there still. The sun is in the wrong place for that to be at noon in right. Colorado. And I, I don't edit my pictures. This is my uh, watermark that I have programmed into my well, phone. Computerized, so and now we know it's accurate. So, ladies and gentlemen. The yeah. sun is not. Mm. Go back to that one, Rebecca. Yeah, the These sun are all right is around directly well, overhead in Colorado mm -hmm. at it high noon. Right That's where the term high noon comes from. Right, should be that right overhead. Totally in the wrong place. And you know what? Not where if, it if our be. star is leaving. I mean, uh, the other star. If the larger star is leaving, it okay, will leave fine. to the right. Because it came in from the northeast. And then gotcha. our star and our clock and all of our and our planet tipped. And so if the two were separating. And the next question is, is this star out illuminating our smaller star? Which we believe is to blow it and to the right in the five o'clock position. Which would be really screwy. Meaning that our orbit and everything is wrong. Which it's is really why this... Screwy. If you look at the moon's schedule recently, it's been coming up at like 5 a.m. And then by 10 a.m. it's setting and it's just hovering above the horizon and then it's gone. <laughs> Strange. And it's yeah, not I, I, I had, I had seen it in, way over. I was a little freaked out that it, and this is what I was talking about. This is, the spring placement of the sun was wrong and, and it bothered go. me and I couldn't really prove it and this really answers this and i promise that is you not in supposed to be in the east southeast sky no, at high noon it's supposed no, to be over our heads i don't mix up my directions living on the western oh, or i don't doubt, i don't living, doubt your account. living east of the western slope in colorado the mountains will always be on your west um oh. you know so 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 right. and i'm almost I know how directions but yeah this is this is looking east yeah wow and this is a time stamp from my phone that sun is in the wrong place so bad it's unbelievable totally and if you and if you if you discount that yeah. ladies and gentlemen who are listening to our show holy christ it, it this is this is so wrong that it should be monumental and catastrophic to you Right. Because that is yeah. it's supposed to be due before all of this crap started, the year 2000, at high noon, 
the sun was over the top of our heads and our nice. sun arc is off our oh, planets are tipped when all the planets tipped when the second star got here and look at the right. size of that when i was growing up our core our star in montana and colorado was the size of a quarter this is tiny, the size, tiny little thing. This, is the size, this is the size of a 50 cent piece it is way yes. bigger this is the second star it is outshining our star and i this think sam what warm. you're uh why what he's meaning by that if you were to hold a 50 cent piece up at long arm's length uh, yep. up in the sky that's the size of the second star and if you were to hold a, a quarter you said then that yep. would be the size of ours our normal natural sun plus it would be a yellow sun not a white sun right at least it wouldn't look like it's white because i always go, my you know a winter without sun. snow being you know 50, right. 60 degrees all summer all all winter long all in the mid east and the midwest and oh wow and and here in colorado mm -hmm. we, we usually get at least around a foot of snow or more every march and it's one of our snowiest months and uh, we didn't get much at all no, i mean we had a get, storm we didn't get it. but we didn't get what we normally get or now, we are not handing water out to the missouri or to the columbia this year from montana because we did not get the snow we have a sprinkling over the over the mountains right now right in arizona and california and a lot of people uh pull from the colorado river which who right. knows but yeah there's a few of the same time pictures in this set so we'll have to see what the next one looks like all right yeah um uh, sunbathing will be impossible soon i wouldn't sunbathe now no uh no, i think you're no, gonna no 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 been a lot of rapid cancers that have come out recently uh, no, I, or are being diagnosed as I, I wear fat. long sleeve shirts a well a hat and uh, of course i don't agree with sunscreen because of the toxins that you're putting into your skin metal uh, to block it which is what they're putting in the skies uh, but, uh, yeah I would, avoid, I would avoid you know if you have uh tinted windows in your car keep your window rolled up i wouldn't like you said you know you shine it on your lap with your window down in your car and it hurts so i mean i had a uh, i got the privilege to drive around in a, a convertible for just a little while um gosh, over five six years ago and to have the 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 top down was too much it was too hot to have it on your skin not to mention burning but it did not feel pleasant to have the sun on your skin so it's not even comfortable to have no, a, a, a convertible now um yeah. and i know i'm a mile high closer to the sun but ask your convertible owner friends if they are feeling that same are you feeling that are you feeling the sun oh. burning you yeah last even week i went out and did the parking lot 360 in three different parking lots and that few minutes half hour 45 minutes that i was outside i came home knowing i felt sunburnt right. you get that weird body feeling where you feel like you know you know you've been out yeah, in the sun hydrated. and i was wearing you know a coat and everything and i felt like oh god i know i've been in the sun and that yeah, was just and with, and you know you visit the parking lot yeah okay, Andrea said, behind us yeah, here yeah. this is this is at two and some asteroids i think that's There's what i see too it, to me it looked like that mm -hmm. okay good thank I you i yeah. didn't want to grind the brain too quickly i know yeah. you see that perfect angle and we know that it's... we know that they are moving behind beyond earth now and why we're seeing these repetitive patterns mm -hmm. away from the sun now which is so cool yeah dark dark blue no sky blue more of a navy blue in and when there they go farther away we'll see their facial uh, appearance with more ease right now everything that's close to earth is blue what's the very white line just hovering above um the, the other little white line above the horizon um where the sky is almost light blue uh, is that another planet is that separation what is, is that an atmosphere layer uh -huh. On the right side um, um it, it could be planetary separation line Got it. um 
Okay, attitude, the only thing on the right hand side of attitude would be Yuri, but it's not that big to be that kind of a straight line. So we're gonna call that as a normal horizontal cloud. Okay. Where the the just above the middle of the picture you can see the bottom of Atu Atu's moon. Yeah, that darker blue. Lightly there's tipped a darker axis. blue, darker blue. Yeah, slightly tipped axis to the left. And uh -huh. then, of course, white facial clouding going all the way up to the right middle. Got it. That's the edge of Atu. And then Atu's moon is a big dark circle in front, which has the, the white clouds and the little dots around it. I've been and pulling course, more apps that mm -hmm. you can actually mm -hmm. twist the pictures mm -hmm. and overlay pictures. And it's, I mean, but once you start twisting things, mm -hmm. I don't know. But um, I'm trying to find some better apps that will, and editing mm -hmm. software. Um, like what Rebecca uses that um, that I can actually match the pictures up and everything. Um, it's 1133 in the west. Uh, that's tiny little mountains down at the very bottom are our Rocky Mountains. All the way over there. Okay. Is that? Wow, they're tiny compared to the planet. Uh, you got to look for the I mean, snow edge. Yeah. yeah. No, Those are even... our I thought that was clouds. Purple, purple mountain majesty. That that's the Rocky yes. Mountains. And look how time. So, the one thing I noticed that was different about the mountains. And when you when you move away from the mountains, you always miss them. And Arizona has hills. Doesn't really have the kind of mountains. It's got the four peaks and the superstitions, but it's nothing like the Rocky Mountains. And here they're dwarfed by these planets. Uh, but the other thing is that. Growing up as a kid, they just, they always towered and you never, it never looked like there was anything behind them. It never looked like that. Right. Now, I feel yeah, like we, I'm on the ball and I'm looking at the mountains and there's, it's so bright out that I can see obviously that there's stuff behind them, but they really used to look like, like that was the end of the world. Not, not, it wasn't obviously, but right, because, because we have forgotten what the old sky used to look like. Oh, God, I didn't. There's so much yeah. more stuff over us now that we're just they, yes. we automatically accept it as oh clouds. Oh but yeah, it's that's not. normal. It's not it's at not. all. And I did throw another um, jetliner comparison with uh, the clouds photo in in that one slide, but we don't need to get there. We're still in the middle of this and everything. But I also right. saw that um, what you know like looks like perfect triangles there and then there's a circle in the middle of this um the crux of this dark blue shape square there's a circle in the middle of it on this photo and this is looking east northeast i mean it's 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 looking north but definitely more east than north and this is at 11 30 a.m a.m so yeah we yeah just, this yeah. is along that same and that little shiny part up there that's the sun okay the flare coming in yeah well, well this again would be at two at two's moon with uh the object cluster group red asteroid coming in in the upper middle on the left and, middle left that's the down it. angled or orbiting asteroid underneath at two at two's moon got and of course, it okay a so little point on the bottom you know, at that early part in the day. And then as the day goes progressively on where you're doing the five o'clock ones, it goes beyond you and over the top of you. And on the bottom right of the picture, it's going that weird gray that you always talk about. Mm -hmm. It's a shadowing. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath the bottom of the, the uh, which would be the beginning of a snail foot on the bottom of that too. And that's that yeah. gray area. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it does have a tipped axis as well in this shot. Right. Kind of reminds me of this one, that drawing. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's from 2020. Wow. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, that's the cool thing. But I they've, use got, it often. they've got back to the size where we can reuse those pictures because they've gotten smaller than what they were even a year ago which is cool, but now they're like so over the top of us, they're all blending right. together and it's becoming almost impossible to figure out what you're looking at it, unless you look uh -huh. at it for a long enough time. And it gets, it's confusing. It's like before it's it was so much easier. Yeah, it's even hard to match the drawings up. 
Um, same area. You're just looking a little further to the left or your left. So you're looking more north here than east. And this is at 12.19 p.m. Okay. And that would be uh, Attu's moon in the front center to right. And then the blue dark area, of course, is Attu. And then the stuff behind it. So the skull asteroid should be just off picture to the upper left. Okay. That's where the skull sits between Atu and Yuri, which is, of course, behind Atu in this shot. And that would be the far bottom left will be Yuri. With a little bit of the light blue sticking out from underneath it. Yuri is behind in this shot. Got it. Hmm. Yeah, crazy stuff. Right. There is so much up there, I could just scream. Yeah. And, I, you know, sure enough. And I, 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 you wow. know, not that I want everybody yeah. to quick go dig a deep hole and crawl into it. That's a good but, one. But, um, I mean, that crossed my mind. Like, what, you know, if people did know, what would they do? <sighs> well, I think people would handle it different than society or the masses would. 708 right because too many people too we already know too many people would run to the tv to turn the news on and they'll do whatever the news instructs them to do so we already know right you know the outcome uh to, to pardon pardon me for doing this but i just it just crossed my mind twice so i gotta say it and while marjorie taylor green would tell you it's a sign from god <laughs> hmm she, um, that's what her was quote was over over the earthquakes in uh, Jersey oh, yesterday. She's a Republican. I know that. Uh, I she's she's, uh, she's unfortunately very uneducated uh, business owner, soccer mom that uh, is a QAnon follower. So, uh huh. Who she is? Is she uh, in our group or? No, she's a congresswoman. <laughs> Oh, sorry. House okay. representative, and unfortunate. She's a rather unfortunate influence on the on the ju right. judicial process that's occurring in the House of uh, Representatives of the United States government right now. She has we way are... too much power and too much influence, and she's a nut job. Anyway, yeah, we are looking south in that last photo at seven something p.m. This one seven thirty, and what the um, it's just right of the light post here. But there was this incredible object that was all crazy, and I couldn't find my best picture of it. Okay, what but, um, um, This one, this photo is looking east at 722 7 p.m. So we're looking east, and the sunset is behind us. And just to the right of this light post um, with the, uh, the walk that... The traffic lights on it and everything um just above the buildings there is a i want to say it's an asteroid i wasn't too sure but it was just incredible the way it was just changing size, and everything size the spiral asteroid but um yeah and was, i am looked, to tell you that is nibiru in the background it looked like it was all like a medusa head kind of thing it's the way right. it looked Right, yeah, and, and uh, facial markings of uh, the spiral asteroid look like that because there's actually two objects there as well, and they, and they, they said spiral. one was smaller than the other, and they co-orbit. Are there a right. bunch of those? I see a lot of that where there's well, a lot of these asteroids have all kinds of little smaller ones next to them. We just okay. haven't documented them because. Um, for the longest time, they were so small that we were just chalking them up as debris, and that's why we, you know, what we called it the object cluster group. And then it became object cluster groups, plural, like three or four of them now. And then um, we were watching the big three, and then we thought the big three were part of this and they that, and then they turned out they weren't because there was even more. And that was part of the whole argument between James, and we started uh giving him examples of, of asteroids and he couldn't deal with that part and etc because uh, he was focusing on the planets and how dare I go into uh, asteroids but um, because they are electrically attached and they don't go on a single orbit they're always on the, the planets they're not in Earth's orbit it's a completely different orbit so um, 
God, I, I'm tempted to say in the east, in the east. Behind us in the east, this literally has to be a very large Nibiru at that time at 7 p.m. But would it be in the east over the top of us right now? Or is this a satum over the top of our heads in the east? Um, the next few pictures or the rest of the slides, um, I believe, go through the progression of the night sky. And there's other. Good night, Irene. Good night, nice to have Irene. You with us Good night, Irene. Thank you. Yeah, we're not far behind you, Irene. <laughs> yeah, not at all. But thanks, thanks um, for being here with us. Yeah, the rest we'll, of the book. We'll see you probably Tuesday night, hopefully. Okay, Tuesday night, seven o'clock our time, my time. Would you be eight o'clock today's Tuesday? I don't know why. Yeah, right. I know. I had to stop and think about it every time. I I have started mixing my Tuesdays and Saturdays up and I can't keep track of them yeah. anymore. It's like, wow, what day is it? All right. Experimental is talking that she sees what looks like nepicity in the north sky. And what I've been seeing lately is actually the fingers of Nibiru in the north sky. And that does look a whole bunch at, of yeah, at, at uh, yeah, this time so. of day. It would be Nibiru yeah. would be in the North Sky right now, and then on, a, on their next show, the North, I'll do a comparison. North. I'll compare the two. We'll, we'll talk about the difference between Nibiru and overhead in the North and West by North would be a Saturn, but in the background of all the North from the Northwest all the way to the East should be Nibiru. Yeah, but it does beyond look very very weird similar. Weird, it's actually going past but us, but different. Yeah. Which we are in the second half of the of you know of the whole thing here, and and eventually when they go farther away, we should see them highly illuminated, just like we're seeing Saru right now because she's coming in from the left hand side, but then being facially illuminated underneath because they're rising up, and that's why we're seeing a very very bold illuminated bottom of Saru right now. So any day if... now, once Nibiru mm. is far enough away, we should be able to see her far easier. Now it's so big, it just covers one end of the sky to the other, and you don't differentiate the illumination. See those clouds, how they're perfectly like curved. That's like, why I was you know, wondering. And then the blue above it, it, darker than the blue below it. Yeah. yeah. I was wondering if that was a planet outline because they're just yeah. too perfectly shaped. They show you where they are, they, they identify themselves. Yeah, this is um, 6.50 p.m. looking west uh, just before sundown. And this kind of also has that, you know, Imaru around it, um, behind it kind of look mm -hmm. to right. it. You. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Yeah. And what blows me away is how, how murky it actually is. Yeah. And the murkiness yeah. is not in the air in the picture. If you your blacks are your blacks at the, at the horizon here, and your trees are stark, but the murky yeah, is in the sky. Yeah, it was clear, um, and that murkiness was yeah over by the horizon. Uh, this is nighttime, nine oh three p.m. This is just it's looking just of over. The best I've ever seen it. The north, um, so we're looking to the north. And yeah, you can see a little bit of, I want to say that's the Big Dipper constellation there. We are actually seeing stars in that. Wow. We do. I wanted to mention that. Um, I see Orion. I'll see the Big Dipper. Uh, but when I try to look any further, too much further to the west, then pretty much the, the only thing that's really there over the west is whether it's... Um, it's a planet, it's, a, it's either Venus or it's Mercury, it could be Jupiter. I know that a bunch of them are going to be in the sky around the time of the um, eclipse and everything, but there's only like a planet that will show up if you're looking west, northwest. Um, and I really think it's only um, the few major constellations. Uh, and, and there is a lot of light pollution and everything, but even where I'm at, I used to see so much more than what I actually right. usually do. And you'll notice that as they move through the sky, where you see one constellation and the constellations do move, yes, but they it'll disappear and then it'll reappear a little bit later on after whatever is blocking the view of it is not blocking that view anymore. 
So it's really good to watch at night too, because you can see it. Yeah, I, I, I unfortunately do have a light pollution issue from Missoula. It's really, really bright. Some of us really do, and it sucks. But yeah. Uh, this is 7.36 p.m., same night. There's that same lamp post. So now we're just more oriented looking south. Southeast versus... I mean, it's really more south than anything else. Yeah, probably Atu Atu's moon again. Right. I it's believe is what I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. Not here. There's lots of stuff in there. Yeah, there, there is. is. It's like stacked. Little slur in there. Um, Color. Yes. I'm spinning in circles. How about you? Now, this is looking again to the west. You can actually see those Rocky Mountains there. Oh, gosh. Um, I just I wasn't sure if we were seeing any kind of um, mm -hmm. what, we, what we were looking at here, but there was all kinds well, of things. There is a lighter illumination in the background on the left-hand side again, and that could very easily be the bottom of Saru, and where we, we'd be staring at the bottom of Nepesity and Saru again, just like we were talking about in Jesus's capture from the other day. As you can see, two different colors. And the, the, the lighter to light blue-green at the bottom, it could easily be the illuminated bottom of Saru. I and I believe we're looking at the core base cloud in the blue, light blue area at the top of the picture from the top half up, as in the bottom of Nepesity. Cool. Which is exactly what Jesus captured the other day. This See the orange at the horizon here, even though the sunset is elsewhere? That would be the illumination of that orangish base cloud of Sarah we see all the time as well. Depending on which direction we're looking at. I you know I don't know, but um, um we're reminder. looking west. We are looking west yeah. in this photo. And this is at seven thirty PM. The sun had set two minutes prior to this photo. There's stuff, but not much visible because there is clouds, of course, earth clouds as well. And again, there's the Rocky Mountain, still looking west. Um, but yeah, there's that light, light blue. So like, yeah, you know, again, that uh, yeah, I would say again, these uh, the central purpley area in the middle of the picture is literally those three asteroids that orbit under the bottom of Nepesity. So we're so staring at Nepesti with Saru in the upper, in the the lower horizontal area in the lower left. So Nepesti is then overhead at this point in time because the last um, few pictures. Well, at sunset it would be because usually she's going to be behind us overhead on. Okay, if in the early okay. part of the day, if you're staring at you know uh, morning through pretty much noon, she's over the top of us on the right hand side, where okay. same time period. Uh, at two is over the top us on the left hand side if you were to you know to punch straight up above you straight above you yuri is still on the far left of the sun all day long but then moved over the top of us more as the transition of the day comes to sunset it goes all the way around and then nibiru and his satum are always on the right except for come lately uh satham's yellow moon has been cutting off an edge of the top edge of the sun now that may have quit i i haven't been able to verify it yet but i have much suspicions because she is seemingly going even farther over the top of us by the p.m now so it's all changing quickly and so i, I gotta be on top of it yeah for sure and okay. having not had clear skies yeah. for a week uh i you know yeah, that's not good when we don't have the clear skies Hey, we've been getting rain, thank God. It's like, oh, yes, yes, yes. Because, you know, that's, that's ground moisture we haven't had for many, many years here in Montana. We dried out really bad. Now we seemingly, we have, you know, kicked our drought out the window, let's hope. Well, we do have some comments in the um, section about the stars. I know that uh, so Andrea Adams had asked, I wondered why the same. I wondered the same thing. Why can we still see the star, stars? Uh, T. Racy said, "Some nights you can see anything. Other nights, after twelve thirty one a.m., you may be able. You might be lucky to catch the stars." Yeah, it's been pretty um, rare. It's been intermittent, but rare. 
and you'll see them if there's some if there's something blocking them you won't see them if you wait a little bit um chances are they will re-emerge they may have moved to where they're supposed to move but everything's still a little bit off if you get out one of your mobile um mobile planetariums um on your phone uh you'll see that uh even with the gps and geosynchronization and all of that you're still not going to be able to exactly match up where like Orion's belt is to where your phone says it should be because we're not exactly like Sam says, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. We haven't been for a long time. So things just aren't where they're supposed to be. And people take it for granted and they listen to what, you know, their apps tell them and then they believe it and then they go, oh, okay, I, you know, I got my answer. And and even, you know, the lady on that, that video we were showing a couple of weeks ago where she's saying the sun and the moon are not right. Um, and, the, and your picture even shows that because you do have a high noon picture in Colorado and it's in the southeast sky, which is completely not right. Um, and it's a time stamp. Oh, it's all wrong. All wrong. Yeah, time stamp mm -hmm. proves it, you know. And, and God, if, if you don't listen to anything else, we say that one should be a biggie. And right. uh, where our star is and where it always was and where it's always supposed to be, it no longer is. Hasn't been there for a little while. And it's crazy that we don't notice. 2011, it changed. More people don't notice that. Like, oh, not high noon. High noon, like, for if you're, if you're in your 40s, you know what high noon is, was. It's no longer that. Please go check for yourself. You'll find mm -hmm. high noon isn't what high noon. We never see been. that anymore. Never. No, the arc no, of the sun, used to, the sun would come up in the east and it would set in the west and it would yes. go straight over yeah. the top of you in the mm -hmm. middle of the day. And that's how you knew that you didn't want to be out you at that time. time like that. You tried, and you go in at 11 o'clock and you come out at one and you don't water mm -hmm. because you burn your grass. If you do, if you water 11 o'clock right. in the morning, or one o'clock in the afternoon. Because the high noon will turn your grass. I don't know. I mean, and there's a lot of people that don't wait. They they wait to turn their little sprinklers back on. They're all blown out in Colorado right now. But we've been having 60s since February. Possibly, maybe want to start watering your yards. Yeah, we. I had a person out in my yard today, or across from me, mowing their lawn. And I was like, what? Yeah, wow. I've seen that. There's. Thanks. I mean, it's just dead grass yeah. to mow right now. But, but. I mean, there is green grass. I mean, we needed yeah. ours mode too. We had uh, ours yeah, mode. yeah. yeah. it was snow. crazy looking. Yeah. Okay. It's only yeah. April I mean, here in Montana. We, you know, we don't get flowers until May. Oh, it looks very yeah, spring here. Too. Very springtime here. Yeah. Uh, my tulips are already starting up. I've got you know mm -hmm. green tulips uh, growing yeah. everywhere, and it's like, wow, that's early. What? So. What are the flowers that that are the first ones out? Is it a crocus? Um, Maybe. but they first, like they're the first ones to emerge after spring, right? And well, my exactly. tulips, are I already really have yes. those tulips are spring days. flowers also. And, and I it have, was before I have the snow. Wow. But yeah. We're supposed to have snow for a while yet here in Colorado. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's, it's a fight between do I water? And cause mm -hmm. like, I can feel my yard screaming, like, I need if water. You have to pay you for it, don't, if you have to pay for it, don't water uh yeah um but yeah so i, I don't you know can, most you can just go uh climate change blame climate change yeah. blame climate change but don't blame what they blame or don't blame the normal reason for climate change there's something much more, more unless you live with an hmo and you know or, or your housing whatever those people are um, where you oh, have to, oh, the planned unit developments and yeah, uh, yeah. You have to ways. water. If you have to water, then water. But if you don't have to water, don't water. Right. Those look yeah. Like uh, yeah. I, I was curious, Sam, what you thought of these pictures. Yeah, those look like diesel um, puffs when somebody starts a, a, a yeah. caterpillar or uh, a big diesel engine. Kind of, it looks kind Mount of Mount like Etna. That. This is smoke rings from Mount Etna. From wow. Mount Etna. Wow. wow. That's cool. Uh -huh. Well, guess what she's up to? Uh, getting active? <laughs> yeah. Well, she is she's very active. Been. Mount Etna has been spewing for quite a while, uh, for yeah. quite a few years now again. Right. Uh, I yeah. did not realize I, those were puffs from Mount Etna. Wow. I do think that there's some kind of 
uh, uptick in her activity recently, though. She's oh, been yeah. In you know, I, I, we talked about that a couple of shows ago where literally in <laughs> Italy and Sicily and in Greece right now, they've got some unbelievable activity. And that many smoke rings means it's going blurp, blurp, blurp. That means gases right. are coming up. Uh huh. Mm hmm. And they're deep and oily. That's why they're making like diesel puff rings. And when you mm. when 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 the release of gas come out because that's the pressurization of the magma magma dome, the gas boil out of the rock, and then if they're coming out, that is a very strong sign that Etna is going to really step up operations here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Iceland had one eruption five hours yeah, ago. I've been watching every day. Event. Yeah, they they've got two current open fissure. Mm -hmm. uh, Volcanoes. And the other one's sealed up, but the main ones are still pumping out at, at a reduced rate. And I don't think it's actually reached the sea yet. I think it's been pooling. That's the site of Uri for sure. Yeah. This is what I this is from Audrey. A friend of Audrey's took this. Um, and that's what I told her also. Here's a your drawing to kind of yep. look at that. And there it yep. is in real life. Yuri. Okay, so we have Yuri, That's and then I have two more. Go asteroid behind the tree. <clears throat> two twigs in the tree. Look in the upper right corner. This one's from Robert. Is that the skull I asteroid? Believe. It has literally come into center view, and that's what blew me. Oh, that literally looks like a, a docking station. Right. Yeah, there's a lot that's of. He those. thought too. He thought it was a craft. He didn't know what. That looks like a fighter craft docking station for how thin it is, and they parked their little things in one, two, three, four, five along both sides of it. Like we've got the drawing of it, but um, yeah, we do somewhere. <laughs> that literally looks like a fighter craft docking station with no craft and with no fight. Well, maybe one or two parked in there. Mm -hmm. They're all out in the I sense. see one, two, three, four on the one side, but empty slots everywhere else and i saw that on a on a star wars cartoon and then i saw it by eye in 2019 and i saw it offload out of the cube and i just about hmm. anyway right that's a cool picture yep and then that's i have this one one last picture ready and it's from melanie she sent this to us a little earlier wow. and it's your classic light pinch you know, planets yeah, boy, all around. A lot of going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mrs. O. That's Carol Burnett show years ago. Um, yeah, that is, uh, it's so much light pinch going on. It's hard to tell anything other than the Texas cube. Like what's not it's part of the party. Of, <laughs> of the sun. Because you can see the box right there. Yeah. Definitely see that. And that's focaling out at the side pinch, which you can see in the blue shaft mm -hmm. lighting. And it's pinching and the light is bursting out in between and then coming, going to the side angle. And that's where you see the Texas cube and probably the side edges of two different planets. I was going to say, you could definitely see the cube at the nine o'clock yeah. position. Yeah. Like right there, right there. Head on. It's so yeah. obvious. Mm -hmm. Boom. Right there. And, and people, mm -hmm. ET is here in yeah, in, in mass. We're not talking about 10 guys see... and a little disc ship. We're talking about thousands mm -hmm. of ships. Right. Right. I was going to say, usually when you see a cube on the left side, somewhere to the right of the sun, you're going to see the long box cube. When you see one, usually yeah. they're both the other. present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know that... Um, I know that we use the word obvious a lot and it can be frustrating to folks that are still trying to learn and that that's definitely not the intention. Uh, it's just that um, Sam and Rebecca and, and Jesus and Chris and everyone who says obvious, <laughs> they've really been able to see these things for so long that the, um, it does once you become very well trained at being able to spot it it does become very, very obvious, but it, it can be difficult to see. Right. And, and, and it's not at all a slight to anyone who's still learning. I admit that I am still trying to nail down all of the faces of all of these objects because there's so many faces that they show. 
but there's a lot of helpful information out there. Like uh, just like Rebecca said, if you see one on the the left side of the sun, chances are you're going to see the long box on the right side of that sun um, because that Texas cube will be on the other and we've side. We've got a lot of sightings um, in the last few weeks where they were both yeah. visible at the same shot. And there's so. also um, a document that she has posted that tells you um, there's like four or five, maybe six bullet points of, of basic information where the planets are, what colors mm -hmm. they are, what kind yeah. of body they are. Uh, and that's super helpful. Print it out. Um, and I, I, I have not spent a ton of time posting in the various Facebook groups lately. I have tons of pictures. I just haven't been able to post it, but I did post one and it was really cute. I had one of the, um, maybe a newer member, maybe not, but I had someone comment under my photo. I might, it might've been a video that I should go ahead and print out the site drawing and hold it up to the sky and look for those shapes and those. That, those that works uh, too. Yeah. Pictures. If you can do it, if you and have if a you printer at home. Yes, do. It, if you can actually like print it on a transparent sheet yeah even better I but, think paper, um, yeah. but i do think that that message is getting out there to compare your photos to the drawings mm -hmm. um and yeah like rebecca does she's able to find things that it might be a 2020 drawing but you can match it up today to something you know out there um right. but definitely stay current with the drawings look at the current drawings but if you don't can't match it up maybe look through some of the others because I mean, you're bound to find some drawing that's going to. You also have to remember that the angles of where you live are different than than the out drawing, right. and and they're they're right. the planets that are on the left are on the left, the planets that are on the right are on the right. They may be at slightly different angles to where I draw the sun in, not by much, but they they do sometimes fluctuate. But depending on if you're in Germany or if you're in Australia, then they're going to be different angles. Right, absolutely. Right. I noticed that too. And Andrea was asking if she could remote view me. Of course, anyone can remote view anyone in the, in the universe. You don't have to really ask permission. It's not like it's an invasion. Um, oh, you're just you using your mind to look deeper, which anyone can do. You just you just right. try, and then the trick is you're going to get a flash of information. You have to you'll get you know all these ideas that'll cross your mind, and then whether or not you picked through. The right ones is is how you and then of course you have a hard time getting a, a summation of how accurate you are unless you actually ask and i know that, that audrey's popping that question audrey's popping the question back in about harrington and i did hear you answer earlier that you feel that he copied yeah, or I, I heard in a radio program or, by by dr deagle uh, one time, and then he was talking about um, Harrington using a paper, uh, and then he sort of described my paper, and the, uh, my paper was prior to all of that of the SETI Alpha Group and everything else. So it goes with possibility that they they had used um, some of my information. So there you and go. And Dr. Harrington that. did not meet with any. He was, you know, the SETI Alpha Group, and that had to do with going down to Australia because that's where they were going to view the, the occurrences yeah. coming up from below which is where they came from, which is why they went down there. But they had all had uh, rather, un all the people had uh, rather untimely deaths. And there were many different oh. stories around each one of their deaths as well. So they, there was a sort of like, sure. you know, uh, information, misinformation, stoop. So. Wow. And I know that um, we're wrapping up here, but um, since you mentioned SETI, it brings up a question. Uh, have you ever followed or familiar with Dr. Stephen Greer, his work to, um, yeah, I watch a bunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Steady is of course, search for extraterrestrial, uh, life right. and, and all that. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, I don't uh, yeah. And yeah, I, I, you know, I watch just about everybody out there and unfortunately I probably watch way too much of Neil deGrasse Tyson and I want to scream mm -hmm. every time he talks. And yeah, I even I watched go. Bill Nye the Science Guy today. So uh, you're, tough. <laughs> you're tough. If you can watch, if you can watch, yeah. them, you're tough. I can't. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. I can't. I, I, I can actually so. watch some Beekman's World and really get entertained. And, and we need, we need, do need to watch Beekman's World. We definitely love the man. 
Of course, it's an, an mm -hmm. 80s thing, you know, if you missed it. It was a good show. Real good little child teaching science show. And I just like the actors. The 80s you know. were good. The 80s were good. A little mix of, of <laughs> education and then a minor amount of adult humor. So it was like added in. And it, it was, of course, mostly over children's heads, but that was good. That was okay. They got away with it. And it weren't oh, no myth. Broad, but yeah, I love Beekman's world. Anyway, I digress completely off topic. Quite all right. Yeah. I don't think I ever. So I I'm going to probably end up doing show or I don't not. smell I don't it, know. but I think I was in the kitchen. I don't know what they're doing tonight. Yeah. It's well, I past their dinner. Probably hungry. Yeah. Probably. Well, we can. Probably. I, I, we can. I think we're at a point where we can wrap things yeah. up. Yeah, we're I almost mean, at we seven hours. Seven show. Yeah, seven, seven hours. Oh my gosh. Which is normal seven for seven us. Minutes. We act like that's a long time or something. It's not. Normal. It's normal. Eh, it's not. It's normal. So this is my little our... puggy that was I know in the emergency I can tell room on the... Easter. Oh all better now. So she's better. I know she's better. She's she, well, she obviously ate something but sharp good. and then ended up with an in intestinal hole the pancreatitis with... again. Cute pancreatitis. Oh my word, poor baby. But no cabbage. She's better. Yeah, and she, she's the guttural sound that you heard before that you know is keeps the ohm sound going. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. She's precious. I just want to let everybody know. Thank you for your prayers. Her. Thank you. Thank you. She, I love her. She's my baby. Right. Right. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, but well, a great show and awesome I work know, on the I website, know. and um, I, I am excited to see what will come of it, of it all yeah, that well, we're gonna, working on. And, and more of the old stuff back too. We need we need to bring some yeah, of the old stuff I, back when people get to look at the planets themselves when the early years. And I was going to ask, did we get that disclosure played today? Sorry, I don't know if you've already no, we didn't played do the that disclosure or if you today. did. Oh, no. That's part uh, of what we, what we have to make know, a new I'm beginning. I need to start putting that into the, into the intro. Just I'll, right at the intro. If you time. would like, I can just go ahead and like put a little thing that like bullet points, like things that you might want to include in the show. If you want, I can do that for yeah. you. If not, no worries. That'd be but, nice. Um, but yeah, and then I was going to ask, I I know that we still have the people, um, we still have some viewers that feel they're being ignored in comment section. I don't know if anyone else can highlight comments outside of you or if you can assign someone to do that, but perhaps we mm -hmm. bring someone in or s designate somebody, maybe it's a round robin rotating situation, but if, if you can assign that. that out then um it could be someone's task we do, we do fall off topic so hard when we do that though if we, if we focus, and I, i'm true. not trying to you know down the comments section um but right. if we if we do too much right. focusing on that rebecca getting distracted from the stuff the material that right. she's gathered and that throws her off i'm pretty right. sure i'm a corrector right. incorrect I'm wondering, well, we won't know fun. until we switch over to the stream labs, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to switch platforms yeah. and, and services for this. I'm curious, you know, what our options what will happens. be for that then, because I know more, I, he'll be able to set it up to where more than just me can do things. Sure. That makes sense. Got it. Like you yeah. and Jesus will also have um, steering wheels where you can, you know, do good, things good. as well so we'll figure that out because right. i don't want anybody to get left out it is a lot to keep up with no. you know all the comments are just sure are constantly moving by yeah but and i and no no one we don't want to leave you anyone just ask it again. Again. at all yeah we don't want you left yes, out yes yes is this thing on just say or it again use yeah. emojis or something to kind of draw attention yeah. to it and if you don't notice chances are someone in the chat's going to notice and they may even repost it and thank you friend yeah i i try to read um, them right. throughout the show but when i go to blowing things sure. up and when i enlarge them then i can't see the the, the right you have to shrink everything back down and then yeah, i got to go absolutely. back and catch up to all the stuff i've missed but i do read i right. do read as much as i can Absolutely. And don't forget, it sounds like we're going to be readjusting the time of the Saturday show back 
to right. an hour later, whereas we had moved it an hour earlier. So um, it was at uh, coming on at 1 p.m. Central Standard this today, and it's going to be 2 p.m. next week, right, Rebecca? Next Saturday, right, right, 2 p.m. Central Saturdays, okay, so next and Saturday, then the Tuesday night show will be the Central. same, seven o'clock Tuesday. And no I'm anticipating yeah. that we will all be here Tuesday night as usual. Yes. So we'll see. Uh, well, and alive <laughs> and no words right. for the wear. No words for the wear. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, oh, yeah. That's right. Monday. Yeah. Or, because yeah, between Monday. now and then is the the great eclipse. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And it's I know. Okay. Still, yeah, right. It doesn't matter. You, yeah, stay safe, you everybody. Show, yeah. you Watch up. your weather. Watch yeah. your weather. Right. Pay attention sure because there's be a lot of nasty aware. weather out there. You know, if you have a home radio and a local radio station, turn it on. Listen to it in the kitchen. Uh, it's important. Right. 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 Go back to the or old-fashioned ways. Just be weather aware. Or be get aware. an app on your phone that has your local weather announcements yeah. or warning. Mm -hmm. That would be also smart. And they Here, also thinking, have you know, those um, solar bricks or uh, extra, extra battery packs, right? Right, the phones right. and so, so just, just in case be, be prepared you know all right we are we're hitting right now we're gonna just about hit seven hours here wow 25 seconds and so it's a good um, show i, yeah, I feel like it went a little, little I, we covered some usual. excellent topics yes a little, little off did. topic so. normal yeah no Even problem size yeah. and i get yeah, to go right. play star wars i know it's star the game time. star wars time mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, and I game, can go make time. some videos on how to do a watermark on iPod or iPhones and Androids. So. Ooh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. We All right, just hit guys. 11. Well, so, good night, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Good night, good night, guys. Thank you for being here. I'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.